Mr. Underscore Chicken Underscore Nuggets Underscore Just Redeemed Pope Champ of the Day. Yippee.
Honey Paws gifted a tier 1 subscription to Mofaka Zero. Hello. Hello, everyone. Ella, 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 You will head. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you guys ready for the off kai stream? Are you guys ready to see your setup? What? Post off Kai. Post off Kai yeah, stream. You will switch to the next screen. In five, a four, a three, two, one. Let's go. What is that shadow and Sonic kissing you? Welcome! Hello, everyone! <clears throat> Welcome, Hello. everyone! <laughs> Hello. I will start off by saying thank you so much to the gift of uh, Pog Jam of the day, Mr. Chicken Nuggets. Oh my God, you're the Pog Jam. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah, congratulations, Pog Champer. Yeah. Pog, Where you can only benefit is to get bragging rights. <laughs> and then thank you for Tethers for the me subscribe for 10 months. Thank you, Honey Paws for the, uh, for the gifted subs for 10 people. Thank you, Nayu for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Nayu for the two gifted subs. Thank you, Sleepy Ladies for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Paws for the one gifted sub. Everyone is trying to fight for first place. Oh no, my uh, top gifter thing is resetting, isn't starting out right now. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm here joined with Fakro Kenning. Fakro Ken. What was that noise? Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll ignore that noise. You're not muted in this one, right? She, you guys are. She's perfectly audible. Avi, don't look now, but there's a pretty girl next. Don't freak out! <laughs> Thank you for the warning, good child. I will be seeing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually catch that. Of course, I'm looking at her model, and, and Fakko is audible. Okay, good, good. I let her know that she was audible. I was just more of a volume control on the next screens, switching screens. I can get real close to the microphone. It's been a hot minute. Hello. Eat the microphone. Um, 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 um. I missed all the and Avkai. I'm so sorry. I missed you too, Cockfather. I'm surprised. Avi was talking to everybody that had a pulse. <laughs> How could you miss her? <laughs> oh my god, it was really bad. I couldn't stop yapping. I, I, I've been telling, uh, Avi, Avi, I've been telling everybody that I've unlocked something <laughs> in you. Taking you to Ofkai, I have like unlocked some form of a beast from within you. <laughs> Deep within you. So, so something really did open up inside of me. It, it was um because like the the one embarrassing moment that happened. That was the lowest I could go in the convention. That was the lowest. Not even at the convention. Freaking honey paws is like our wasp. You're lying. Everybody doesn't believe it. Everybody does not believe it. But she uh, yeah. she she lost her shame after a certain point. <laughs> It was so funny. You were there for the for the moment, the lowest moment, and that was the only lowest moment. And then after that was Wonderwall, second lowest moment. Wonderwall, Wonderwall. Shame, never heard of the shame, the restaurant incident. Yeah, but we wanted to someone. we want to start from the very beginning though, right? We'll get yeah, there. We'll get there. We'll There's get so many anywhere. moments. Nadia, thank you for the two gifted subs. You guys are so nice. Uh, my thing <laughs> isn't updating to see who's first in uh, gifted subs right now. But we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. Um, I couldn't organize the picture in time the last two days. I went without internet. 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 It, it, it uh -huh. shitted itself. And, and I will just manually pull up every single... They could see. Fuck! It's okay. It's okay. Thank you for telling me that. Thank you for telling me that because I was gonna put on someone's shade. <laughs> oh my In god, what? 
Uh, my um, fucking Windows browser was sharing, but luckily it was nothing bad. Just a sad attempt at the presentation I did. <laughs> I'm Kai 20. Hold on, let me pull it up um slide so. I'm Kai 2024. Yippee! That's it. <laughs> I made a sad attempt, and that was it. She doesn't give us her full attention. <laughs> Who? You? Me. Because uh, Twitch was opened up because I was going to see who was the um, top gifter right now. Um, because my OBS isn't telling me. Um, but then they were like, we can see it, we can see it. I was like, ah! It happens. All right. How do we want to start this out? I'll um, dump it down. You, your day technically started first. So talk about like when you woke up and things like that. Because you were on... <gasps> a plane and yeah. you woke up like three like i we were both nervous packers right yeah uh i didn't go to sleep till what what time did i go to sleep 12, I, don't, I don't think i went one, to sleep until like two i want to say two o'clock Cool. Might have been when I went to sleep. Yeah. I think you mentioned that number. Have a good lurk, chicken. Thank you so much. Nayo, I don't know if I've already <laughs> thanked you for getting the two community self, but thank you again. Take care, chicken, for sure. Ted, Ted, teach your moment. <laughs> oh and my I'd... god. Huh? I didn't want to message you. I wanted to message you because I was nervous packing, but I didn't want to message you because I wasn't sure if you'd be trying to sleep because I knew that you got up earlier than me. But apparently, you just didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my <laughs> flight, um, Pudding, thank, uh, thank their heart, Pudding, who wasn't able to make it with us in the off Kai this year, um, bought me um, a ticket to undisclosed air flight, uh, airline with their bonus points and were was able to give me a ride there um, at a big, big airport, huge airport, actually, the one of the biggest ones. Uh, so, however, unfortunately, the earliest, uh, not unfortunately, the cheapest flight, um, was gonna be set at around, uh, 6 a.m. around that time. 6 a.m., 6.30, 6.45, whatever Call number your mind wants to think up of. Um, I, months. my dad, <laughs> months my dad, ever since I was a little girl and we went back and forth in Mexico, has taught me that I needed to be in the airport hours earlier, um, and Two that hours. I'm going to bring my passport, too, even though I am domestic traveling. Sorry, what were you gonna say? two two hours two hours ahead yeah two hours ahead at least minimum three hours preferably uh, <laughs> which to becca was very unheard of unheard of as long as it wasn't spirit i don't even remember what it was um uh, that's how good i forgot was this your first flight no um i've traveled to mexico before um but that's what my dad instilled in me um so putting Oh, yeah, yeah, So I was like, I'm going to go to sleep at 8 because I think I saw a friend that same day at McDonald's. Uh, we were going to... I don't remember why. We were we were just seeing each other, saying our farewells because they knew I was leaving for um, three days straight or four or five Thursday. Um, and so I went to my house, but my little sister also knew that I was going to um, dip for a while. So she wanted to play with me. And I was like, okay, my bedtime was going to be at 8. I had my melatonin gummies ready, but you know what? I'll, I'll play with you until 9. So then we played until 9. I, I couldn't go to sleep. It was uh, 4 a.m. And I knew it was too late. And then I was like, I'll take this time to uh, uh, start packing that. <laughs> no, it was 2 a.m. It was 2 a.m. And then I was like, I'm going to use this time to pack because I was too busy stressed about packing that now it's too late to think about the stress of packing. And so I started packing. And then you, you were up at 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I was. Well, I went to sleep around 2 a.m., but I was really tired oh. because I think I started thinking about packing around... Uh, for uh, like six 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 in the afternoon i think and i kept kind of gathering things i felt like a little squirrel just kind of gathering things into a pile of what i think i would want to bring and not actually packing so by by the end of the night i had like a bunch of things put together and but a bunch of things charging but like nothing actually was in the bag yet and i was like uh 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, because like once it's in the back, then you'll be you'll be able to physically know whether something was too much, huh? Yeah. And then like arguing which one of these things you're gonna let go. The 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 spare toothbrush or the toilet paper or pajamas. <laughs> it was scary. Yeah, no, I felt the same way. She isn't scared of possibly <laughs> sleeping on the cod floor. I was like, oh, I was crazy for staying up. Becca had the fortunate, uh, not luck, fortunate uh, sight, see, in insight to uh, have a later day flight. Mine was the earliest, and I was used oh. to waking up early. But if I, I have no control over my flights, oh. work managed that. Oh. Work dictated my flight. I had no control over that. Damn. So would you have, <laughs> have uh, taken an earlier flight if it was up to you? Uh, yeah, if it was up to me, I probably would have gone earlier. I like I like maximizing the the amount of time that I am at a, a travel area yeah. to get my money's worth. But sure. since it's since it was work related, it was like up to them. Uh, but one thing that I did do was like in, in my squirreling was like make sure I I revamped my food stock and wares and things like that. That's that was kind of funny. Details. Yeah. <laughs> because like uh when I when I got up and I was doing the like going to the airport and all this other stuff, Avi was like messaging a little bit. I'm like, oh you're still awake and all this other stuff. I'm like, well I'm just getting on my plane. She's like, oh like just now like Ugh, sort of thing. <laughs> and like I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. And, and I tried to get, so I, I had Delta, so I was supposed to have internet, but for whatever reason, I couldn't connect to the internet on Delta, so I had no connection the entire flight. And, like, the moment I landed and I got reception again, I turned on my phone, and, like, almost immediately, <laughs> I ha I was, like, bombed with a bunch of messages from Avi. That's so see you! I'm hungry! I'm so hungry! I'm, I'm starving! I need food right now! All in all caps. And I'm just like imagining myself if you've ever taken care of like baby birds and you shove them in a cardboard box and you like open the lid and they see light shine through and all you hear is <laughs> Oh my god! The noise isn't even picking up! Oh, so hi, Slimes. Oh. This is my friend. I stole her from Ofkai. We just, just kidding. No, we've been longtime oh. friends. She was the reason I've been able to go to Ofkai. So we're talking about her experience. But yes, for She's sure, like a, it was a like baby birds. cat. <laughs> what? Am, am, am I peeking? Do I turn off my noise cancellation? Do you want to? Do you want to? Can. This, uh, what are you? What, turn off my uh, voice inhibitors. How crunchy is that? You can hear my my AC. Is that crunchy? It is pretty crunchy, but that's okay. Ooh, uh, crunch. crunch. The audio standard. track for both of us are separate. Is it hot where you live too? Uh, when I have my computer set up on. Oh, true. I forgot you mentioned that before. We have talked about this on these, but you can't bring straight cats home. But she's so good, <laughs> and she's my wife. I already, I already married her. But yeah, she was like literally baby bird screaming at me. Like I couldn't even message anybody else that I had landed. I was literally like, where are you at? Let's meet here. Uh, she was just like, do I get food? There's no food around. I love security. Oh, no. Wait, before that instance, though. Yeah. Um, before that instance, uh, we had decided when she got the tickets so this was way before like days before even doing the flight and travel yeah. we had already established that she was gonna wait for me at the airport so that we can go to the event because <laughs> i was the one that had access to the badges yeah. and the hotel room so she wouldn't have any place to hold up until i arrived and she had to wait what was that like three hours or whatever yeah. Oh Friggin, I'm boarding my plane. I'm literally getting on, and she's messaging me like, "Okay, I'll see you at the vet. I'm gonna get take the bus over there." And I'm like, "Wait, where are you going?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I thought you were waiting for me at the airport." And she's like, "Oh, I guess that makes sense. I don't have access to anywhere. I'll go make my way back." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay." I was in such delusional <coughs> brain mode because I didn't sleep and I needed to keep moving because if I stopped, I would have died. I would have just fainted and collapsed on the air flight floor. Um, so to explain the, the, the backtracking from Becca's story, 
Sleep? What is sleep? Oh god, Kitten had it like probably the worst I've talked to so far. Her brain was fried. <laughs> it was insane. I feel so bad that this was our first travel experience and I was an idiot to not ask Becca beforehand. Like, hey, when does your plane start? When does it land? Because, um, first of all, when I was at uh, my uh, departing airport, I actually was sat was sitting down. I got some coffee mm -hmm. and cookie bag for myself. Um, mm -hmm. nothing was really available because it was five in the morning that was could be considered food. Um, mm -hmm. so I sat down and I overheard a conversation with six group of people and I noticed that they were talking about anime girls and they were talking about convention stories and I was just like, holy shit, what are the fucking chances that on this Thursday morning, like fucking 5 a.m. flight, I was going to see someone that was talking about Afkai. Six people! And, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Six people! And I was just sitting next to them. This would be the perfect time to warm up, uh, from the Afkai, uh, conversation, talking and blabbering, and speak to them. And then I went on my phone and I texted like three people. Hi, give me your courage. I can't talk to them. I want to talk to these people really bad. Please give me your strength. Lend me your strength, Becca. Lend me your strength, IRL friend. Lend me your strength, Pudding. They don't know I'm an anime girl online. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, Milk. Our feast bus suffering from colony collapse and just wandering into nothingness. It really was. I was just wandering. Sorry. You just realized Becca is a professional con woman. She is. She is professional. I am level one baby. Becca, it was so smart to do this thing and that thing and that thing. And I was just like, I showed up with some clothes. Maybe my toothbrush <laughs> is there. Fresh Forgot my floss. So in terms of packing, Avi only, only had a backpack, I think. He only had a backpack. Yeah, a backpack time. and my... uh. What cross bag? I used Life 360. I wasn't able to hook Avi up with some Life 360. We talked about it, and then like we never had time to like sit down and actually <laughs> hook her up to Life 360. Even then, I don't think it's I don't think it's accurate enough for me to be able to use it within the con area. Next yeah. time, I'm literally gonna set her up with an air tag. Yeah, I'm gonna literally. I'm air tagging her next time. Yeah, I'm next time. I'm thinking I'm gonna have a balloon in my hat. Yeah, an air tag would actually get me to like, uh, freaking Marco Polo, her exact direction and things yeah. like that. <laughs> I'll be funk doing this. <laughs> I'll be funk doing that. No. Um, what was I gonna say? What else? Yeah, yeah. So I was really shy. Um, unfortunately, they're boarding in the first group. I was the very last group to board, and I was like, I'm never gonna see you guys again. These nerdy guys. One of them was <laughs> totally like. Uh, uh, decorated with Enna shit, like from oh. Niji Sanji. Yeah, so I, I like if I didn't know that they were actually talking about the con, I knew then when I saw that dude. Freaking Rianari is calling me out that an air tag would be useful for me too. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, Listen, yeah, because the motorcycle I, thing. I, right? I was the responsible one here. Uh, I was the responsible one, and even chat can can verify with me. They, I, I had chat babysit <laughs> Avi for one of the days. I was, I was usually found within some area. <laughs> yeah, a uh, small boss was sometimes difficult to see. Yeah, uh, kind cuddly was a freak of nature height. Um, first of all, it starts with six foot. Um, and when I went up, to, oh no, that's that's jumping ahead really hard, far in the story. Okay, let's continue. So. <laughs> I oh, boarded yeah. Oh, yeah. I boarded last, they boarded first, and I was really sad, like, oh, I'm gonna miss my opportunity to the <laughs> con goers outside of the convention. But the thing is, they had luggage stuff to deal with. So even when we arrived, um, they um, went to the baggage claim area and then went back up. During that time, even though I was one of the very last people to get out of the plane too, very back area, just so I can have a window view. It was the only seat left with that uh, thing by Lucky Stars. Uh, and I came out, despite all that, I ran into those group and I felt really bad because I felt like I was stalking them. <laughs> But I was like, okay, Avi, they're walking out. You're never going to see them again. Never going to talk to them in the convention again. 
go say something. So I went up to the last person trailing behind the sixth group member, my victim. I felt like the, you know how like oh predators God. when they- You, uh, you literally a low-key stalker energy, right? <laughs> When you know how like predators they seek out the la the 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 what that's most behind. Yeah. <laughs> they have. It's also because I'm like five one, so my legs don't really work very fast. So I went up to the last person I see in the group closest to me, and I was like, uh, "Are you guys going to Opcai? I can't help but over here." <laughs> and, and they were like, "Yeah," because like four of them are dudes, I two of them are girls. Um. Um, and I wanted to talk to the girls one too, but the guys were the closest one. So, yeah, we're going to off guys. I was like, oh my god, that's so crazy. I'm there just to help my friend with vending. What about you guys? Um, to meet VTubers? Yeah, of course. And so I was yapping, yapping, trying to come, uh, muster up a conversation. We didn't have VTubers in common, but I tried my darndest. But then I noticed that I was walking past the restaurants I would have loved to stop by. And then the next thing I knew, <laughs> I was near a sign that said, do not enter as yes. I was exiting that one. And I was like, oh, did so I leave distracted. security? She, she followed them out of security? <laughs> yeah. To the place I was hoping to spend hours of my time with while waiting for Becca in, which had food, places to rest, charging ports, and all of that jazz. Uh... Bro she turned it. Yeah. Oh my god, bro turned it. Didn't even see the five foot one till he lost till he looked down. Yeah, my voice was really quiet. Believe it or not, Becca. <laughs> no, that's a lie, guys. She's not quiet at all. <laughs> so Absolutely not. <laughs> like, she has streamer voice 24-7. <laughs> no, I, I, for real? I've never heard this wasp be quiet. <sighs> Even was... when, yeah. like, anywhere we went, I could hear Avi. Yeah. Oh my god. I had to, like, leave physically to thicker walls so you could not hear me anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's the mute button? Where's the mute button? <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. See, nobody's saying you're quiet here. Yeah, sorry, I'm loud. I'm Latina. Uh, honey process, that was a joke. She really did follow them. Yeah, that's the only reason why I stopped and noticed my surroundings when I made past the security. Because they were, you know, trying to leave the con. And it would be kind of whack for me to stay there when they were ordering their lift, going on the hotel bus, whatever they needed to do. So I was like, I should probably stop following at them at this point before, before she would, it becomes She would have hopped in their, their lift if they had offered. If they had offered her, she would have just been like, oh yeah, sure, gone on the lift, followed them to whatever hotel. She totally would have. If, if I met them, like, when I was leaving the con, I was not the same person coming in as I was leaving <laughs> out. But, but, sorry, my bottle's off. But for sure, I had a, an impulse control problem. <laughs> She she had a she had a reawakening she had an awakening this convention but yeah so we we eventually was able to meet up uh, catching forward we met up and the first thing I do is I give her some some snackies I give her some granola bars and things like that I'm like here eat this because I don't know when we'll be able to eat I'm like I'm piled up to the nines with snacks and she's like oh thank you she ate them all in that one sitting she ate them all uh, yeah and. And on top of that, the first thing she tells me is, My God, I lost my hat. I lost my sweater. I lost my earbuds. Like, all in the same sentence. And I'm staring at her, and I'm looking at her. I'm like, how? What do you have on you? She, she literally only had a backpack on. She's like, I lost my sweater. I lost my hat. I lost my earbuds. And then the, the kicker to all of it was like, okay, well, let's go. I stand up and she's like, yeah, she stands up, starts walking away. I look down because as she stands up, she just drops, casually drops her passport on the floor. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, you probably don't want to lose that either. Oh my God, I forgot about that. My passport did fall out of my pocket and Becca was the one that saw it fall down <laughs> too. My goodness. I'll be pleased. Jesus Christ, woman. We stay losing. Also, thank you to everyone who enjoyed. This is my oh Jesus Christ. Uh, this is my cat. She won't live for long. No. Um. 
This is my cat wife, Becco. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm so sorry if I won't be able to see your chats. Most of all, we are recounting our days at Off Climate now. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah. Oh, that was she it. almost lost her passport if I wasn't there, guys. If I wasn't there, she straight up would have just walked away. She actually got like a good three feet away before I stopped her. It was so insane. And I got to see firsthand Becca's like packaging. You had your luggage in there. You have a duffel bag with you, which I didn't know mm. about. This woman carries a duffel bag, the heaviest one with her. And her, no, the luggage was actually heaviest, but not because there was shit inside them, but because of the IRL setup that was inside of it. I didn't get to see yet at that point. Oh, the IRL setup was in the duffel bag. Oh, it was? Oh, never mind. Sorry, so, I got that mixed up. So this was actually something that the uh, like and any any Uber driver or Lyft driver that like we have, they they always go for the suitcase first because they assume the suitcase is the heavier one. But I literally carry an empty suitcase with me when I travel to conventions. <laughs> I carry an empty suitcase and I pack everything in my uh, personal bag, my personal carry on. Uh, so that means that I'm literally struggle bussing with like the weight of the world on this side duffel bag yeah. strapped to me. Yeah. And and so when they get to the duffel bag and they try to carry that and it's just like literally a bajillion pounds and they're struggling. <laughs> they don't expect it because I'm carrying it quite casually. Yeah. This tiny little girl. And, and they're just like at one point one of the drivers is like what's the deal with this? Like what's the deal with this bag setup? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I, I usually carry an empty bag just in case, you know, when traveling back and buying things. But the reality is I force everything onto my personal carry on because uh, sometimes the, the wheel bags, they get checked. Right. And sometimes I don't I don't trust bags being like I try to avoid mm -hmm. bags being checked if possible. Not TSA. We fucking hate TSA. Yeah. So like I carry everything in my carry on that way. If the care if the check bag gets lost, I still have like all of my important stuff with me. But that just means I struggle. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Poor Becca, dude, but for sure. Um, way better for you to do the carry on thing. I'm saying for sure a lot. I'm getting so mis um, nervous. Becca's murder bag. Yeah, her duffel yeah. bag. I could clobber somebody with it. She really could. But then you'd break your shit, so you don't. But you could. I like I like that everybody's now wondering how you function in public spaces, but they haven't even heard the meat of it. It gets worse. Oh, Things get worse. Oh, it gets so much worse. Becca oh. just handing it to someone, then they fall out from their way. No, literally, if that shit were to, if their duffel bag were to mistakenly fall into like their foot or something, that shit would be broken. They would be <coughs> unable to do the Uber driving. It gets worse. How? <laughs> it gets worse. Trust me, it gets worse on different levels. Maybe not the most extreme levels, but it gets worse. It gets there, there's a transcendence bad. that happens. We haven't come across the transcendence. Uh, uh, this is still Thursday, by the way. <laughs> This is still Thursday. This is still day zero, guys. We we are still at the airport. We're getting off. We took the <sighs> Uber. We went to we went to the Off Kai Hotel because I couldn't do check in until three o'clock, right? Uh, yeah. So we, all right, we arrive. I uh, start talking to all of the staff. I'm like, where do I get my badges? Where do I get my information? Where are we being held up? Like, where's the booth going to be? And they're still trying to set up themselves. Uh, convention setup is always like crazy and hectic because everybody's trying to figure out where things are and uh, the convention staff are usually at the mercy of the hotel staff so like if they're behind on things it's usually because the hotel isn't ready for them uh, so like luckily though we arrived roughly around the time where they were ready to receive us in the area so we were able to kind of like dump all of our stuff in the area um, and just kind of peruse it was kind of like a free for all while while people were doing setup. Eventually got the badge. Eventually got the items. And uh, I taught Avi how to do setup, how to do a booth setup at a convention. So yeah! it was light though, nothing too complex. Just one of those big ten foot banners and a small little guy. Oh my god! Uh, 
So she got to build a booth, guys. She got to build a booth. I did, and it was so cool. <coughs> and there was numbers, and I knew how to how to connect one pole with another pole labeled <laughs> one. It was literally like, dude, this shit's so fun. Um, what else? For sure, the hardest part was when it all gets connected, and you're trying to connect the pieces nine to ten, but the other pieces were like about to fall off if you're not careful. <laughs> But you know that 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 wasn't a lot of energy. That didn't require a lot of brain powers. I'm sure. I'm glad I was able to help for sure. And it was nice talking to the other people around the area too. Um, very oh, yeah. nice. One of the guys. All was, the staff was yeah. super friendly. One of them yeah. was aggressively friendly. I loved. I love that dude. I forgot his name though. Which one? The, the guy when you uh, reported that I've never went to Jollibee was like, you never went to Jollibee. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The staff was like, oh my god. Yeah, you don't need good. to take her. Oh, uh, yeah. So that was like one of the missions that was implanted onto us, the side missions, hopefully by the end of the trip, implanted into it. That's how I see kind of the conventions being given little side quests and all that. But for sure, that planted in our mind. We need to at least go to Jolly Beach together before the end of the trip. But little did I know myself as someone who's never vended and with Becca with her high vending experience, I didn't know how little free time we'd have. <laughs> I was so naive. We were a little understaffed, to say the least. Uh, we we were just amount. We we were just amount, like because we weren't selling anything. We weren't selling anything, just promoting something, mm -hmm. you know, just being booth babes and all. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> booth babes. Booth babes. We, 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 stood we there were and booth babes. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, so Abby, sure. she has. She's such a trooper. She's actually a really good booth babe. Ah! You know. She's she's a really good booth babe for anybody that wants to draw the fan art of that. I I, <laughs> I work customer service, but the difference was I actually liked what we were promoting and seeing so. Okay, no, we're still on day Thursday, but like yeah, yeah, no. yeah for sure, for sure. We'll talk about the booth babing thing later, but um. What are we talking about? Even though we had like the lightest setup, which was amazing for our first experience. First of all, Offkai last year was a small con, which we were able to just wander around, which was a very good experience. But last year, for sure, the attendees multiplied, uh, were going to multiply. We even heard like, you know, tickets sold out. So I didn't know what to prepare for, but for sure we had the <coughs> easiest setup, but it was still really, really busy. Um, uh -oh. I think I think the the thing was just getting things together because I had to receive packages from the front desk. I had to receive packages from my helper ah. guy. Uh, that that's and I had to go get badges. So it was a lot of running around back and forth trying to figure out if people were ready to receive things or yeah. get things to me. Um, and also, what didn't help was the the place we were setting up at was in the tent next to the pool area and they didn't have the ac set up mm -mm. so it was kind of hot too it was it was kind of hot and sweaty uh because they didn't turn on the ac mm -mm. there was <laughs> yeah for sure that was really rough the no ac day oh god bless those guys at the ddr set up the people with like more <laughs> elaborate shit and and all that stuff hot blue space yeah it's the funny title right uh <clears throat> I remember when I used to build this for work. Oh, I didn't know that, Sarah. A much needed break from the sun after it's done. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure like with a more elaborate shit, which <laughs> is worth it in the end. But I'm sure it was really tough during that with the especially with our no AC shit with people that still have yeah. to physically be in there in their space. It was rough. I can't imagine doing the, the single day setup. So I know Void only had a single day setup uh, like because because the vendor hall the the one outside of the vendor rooms i think they alternated every day i think they were slightly different every day maybe mm -hmm. the rotating vendors so they had to break down at the end of the day and then new vendors would come in and set up before the convention would open um so that that was those setups for those i don't know if you noticed did you notice that they changed I did, unfortunately, and I missed out on the one vendor I'm like, I'm going to come back for, maybe uh -huh. tomorrow, and they were gone! Yeah. I had to order it online now, but for sure, it was the, hi, hello, my Oshi is blank. Oh. And, and one of them was Gavis Battle, and that was the one I wanted to get, but I was like, too, like you know, for sure, uh, Friday, or Thursday, Friday. It was Friday, they set up on Friday. I was like, no, I'm going to go help out back. Oh, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Um, mm. yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But it's okay. No, no, nothing like eh, so bad. No, I, I didn't know that until later. And now I learned my lesson for sure. 
Yeah. So basically, after getting everything set up, doing a lot of running around, trying to chase for information and things, uh, we had basically, Avi was awake since never going to sleep. Uh, had two granola bars or something. Uh, we barely had a little bit of water. We had like half a bottle of water. Uh, and it was what? Around three, four o'clock. Uh, and we had not had like a decent meal. I actually had not. I had maybe a... I had a slim fast in the morning when I woke up before the airport. So we had not eaten all day. We The booth was all finished and set up. Uh, I had put things, stored things in the back. And we're like, okay, we're pretty much done unless they need anything else from us. I tried asking, I'm like, do they need anything else? Do they need, are they okay with things? Everything situated? Don't okay, let's the fact go. That we had to go back and forth between people. Yeah, I had to go back and forth trying to figure out, well, that was mainly the badges, trying yeah. to figure out where the badges were because they had a spot for the vendor badges, but. We didn't do the pickup at the vendor badges. Yeah. We went up to the con ops and they told us that they should be elsewhere. And then eventually we had to go back to the con ops because uh, they were at the con ops. Yeah. <laughs> so there was, it was a lot of like trying to figure out where we were and everybody was still setting up. And uh, like all of Face Connect had like three different booths. So they were still setting up and running around, uh, especially with a lot of like electrical setups. Uh, really elaborate things. I said hi to Kevin very briefly, uh, but he was also very busy. They were there. So like day zero was Thursday, but they were allowed to be there Wednesday to do setup and they were still not finished. Oh. So it was it was a lot of a lot of setup for them. Yeah, for the Face uh, Connect team for sure. Yeah. They own and the con, dude. They own the con. <laughs> They're everywhere. They were <gasps> everywhere. They had that huge poster that you, you took a picture of. <gasps> that could be the first thing we should show them. That, okay, okay. That this I... is like day one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sure, day sure. one, day one. Um, also, some guy. Uh, could you get a <laughs> message from, if you scroll down up a little bit, from some guy. Hold on, did I just miss it? You had to line up for stuff early to get locked out. Uh, learned that the hard way. Yeah, Locked so out of where of the uh, badges and stuff. But that was for like the oh. attendees. But I was gonna say like some guy uh, was actually I think the first viewer that came up to me to say hi. So I'm so happy. I think it's you. If I'm, oh, if I'm incorrect, this would be really embarrassing. But I think it was you, some guy. Hello. All right, you guys are ready for the first uh, off guy picture. Hold on, okay, let me see. Sure. Uh, yeah, we were in the gaming. We were in the gaming tent. I'm answering Ultra Squid. Yeah, yeah. Because it was so far out, you know? The gaming tent was like, you had to go down a hallway, to go down another hallway, to go past another hallway that has no signage whatsoever. Then you go outside next to the pool to go into the tent area. Yeah, we were in the gaming hall. Yes, we were in the gaming hall around that area, but for sure. Uh, okay, here, eh, I'm gonna switch screens so we can talk about it now that it's uh, photo time. Did you cover the picture? Yes, this is the covered picture. I oh, should. All right, don't worry. It's the one I sent for the remixed one. All right. Uh, but yes, it was nice. I got to see uh, some guy, but for sure, if you want to say it wrong, we're doing it chronologically ordered, but I remember <laughs> you. Don't think I forgot. Oh my god, I'm so honored that the first person I saw was the lurker and he was oh my god. I remember everyone. I, I tried my best to remember as much people as I could from the con. Um <coughs> There it was, Becco <laughs> and the face connect the uh poster that wasn't hung up yet. Which oh my god, I'm kinda glad the guy that was supposed to hung up didn't see this. Lord knows what he would have said to us if he saw this the generous I mean not the generous the but you know the shame the display. Yeah. I didn't realize I am literally doing the Yum You are, you are, oh my god. Cat nap so cat the Yamcha. It is literally the Yamcha pose. But look at it. It is Abby. literally the Yamcha pose. I'm I was trying to do a I'm hugging Tenma. Tenma's supposed to be right there and and yeah. If you guys don't know the Yamcha pose, I'm going to pull it up right now for you. Oh my god, that's so fucking Abby funny. Abby only has a photographic memory when it's people to yap about. You know, as as 
uh, Space Cadet and like forgetful <laughs> as Avi is, like as scatterbrained as she is, I will say she has a surprisingly very amazing photographic memory. <sighs> she remembers people almost instantly, uh, <sighs> just based off of like glancing at them, like like looking at people and then just like remembering <laughs> and like you try to describe and she's like I don't know who that is sort of thing uh which is weird a weird oxymoron right she's so bad and scatterbrained for just about existing right <laughs> existing like i i would say just about anything else but literally existing she's so bad and scatterbrained it's really bad so bad yeah really but, but in terms of meeting people she is so good at that for me I, I, it's probably a side effect from having like a scar in my eye, right? So like I tr I, I don't really uh, have a really good retention for people's faces. Uh, so like unless we talk multiple, multiple times and I get to see your face multiple, multiple, multiple times, uh, I have a hard time remembering things beyond like the color of your clothes or mm -hmm. the color of your hair. I don't, I, I don't see the details. Maybe. Yeah, it's a maybe. I don't see the details of your face uh, because it's like. The, the, I have to really focus hard and I don't want to stare that hard yeah. <laughs> on the first encounter. You know, I don't want to be rude and stare really hard at you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. She forgets when she blinks. Okay. What, what? What was it? I'm reading. She forgets when she blinks. <laughs> but for sure, I think that also like helped a lot though for the both of us being together. Because like uh, jumping ahead just slightly, I will say... I got to meet some really interesting people solely because uh, Becco was right next to me. And funny enough, I was mistaken <laughs> for Becco because um, Becco was supposed to be there, but I covered for her bathroom bake for sure. Uh, but for sure, uh, like like literally, I will. I I have. It's kind of like we bounce energy off of, or like we make up for each other's. Because for you, you were the one that took all these amazing photos you saw for this and that just to make up for it. And for me, I was able to be like, oh, this is this person, this is that person. You may not know them, but um, I've studied the V2 indie space and the a little <laughs> bit of Corpo was where I get a little bit like forgetful. But like for sure, I, 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 I make sure to be like, oh, this is the person at least I know. And da 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 da. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's part of the fact that my memory rewrites everything in the oh. anime. So, yeah. uh, that's probably the reason why I don't remember people uh, physically in the human flesh world. Yeah. They get rewritten in the anime. <laughs> for sure. Out of respect for them as well. And it's not like you get to take photos with these VTubers anyway. So that made it a little bit harder as well. <coughs> Bless you. Um, okay. names. I never remember people's names. Names are definitely the toughest one, but since most of them had, like, an anime girl attached to them, it was easier. But anyways, Becca Yamcha, I need to see- sorry, I need to see this. Or you can actually, you can post this on Twitter if you're, like, fucking hitting the Yamcha. I don't know, I need to see some combination of this. This is fucking great. Literally the same. Unintended. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any photos you want me to pull up, I will pull up because Becca took so many fucking photos as i said <laughs> good for you though for the best that's a perfect one-on-one -one. yeah also back i didn't even notice it until becca pointed up to me uh but i am so fucking short that this is probably the worst <laughs> angle we could have taken of becca her her, her i don't want to say anything i told her oh, i'll say it, i'll say it i told her i i re-glanced at the picture i'm like man why do my thighs look super juicy in this picture <laughs> I'm so short. I couldn't have held it up a little higher. Oh my <laughs> god! Like that's a shot right there. That, that's literally a shot right there. That was so funny. I'm. I, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I mean, you just wanted that camera angle, huh? Dude. She wanted this particular camera angle. <laughs> All right, now stop looking my way. <laughs> Look at you up to now. Look at Yamcha. Avi, how tall are you? I am approximately five foot one. That one is very important, by the way. Very important. <laughs> uh, you could show one of the pictures uh, after the booth one. Okay, hold on. Let me scroll. Yeah, I know one, the booth 144 one. 1.44 p.m. Yeah, 1.44 p.m. or something. Scrolling or actually, 1.42 p.m. That's also one. 
142. Was it the lined people stuff in yeah, the face connect book? People. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I actually well, have that in the presentation. I did it. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Well, Not then I, I let you take only... lead. Huh? I let you take lead. Okay, presentation. Talk to chat for sure. The Becca thought emote sense, uh, makes sense now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, our wife, hop off, hop off, hop off, hop off, <laughs> my wife, my wife. <laughs> Shorter than the water Good. dispensers. Google Slides, Google Slides, Google Slides. Shorter than the, oh my god, was I actually shorter than the water dispensers? That's fucking hilarious. So. He, he and I met up during that area, so he had the, the fucking reference for that. That's so funny. Hi, Otto! Otto, I'm so happy to see you! We were just talking about day zero! Uh, uh, it was so nice meeting you, too! I'm like, you can't see me waving, but just the one waving at you. Hey, Albie, I just want to say it was super cool meeting you at Offkai! Loved your energy and I had a blast at the <coughs> Altair and Battle Pattern! Fuck yeah, dude! Uh, okay, um, 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 I'm getting the photo set up, um, but, um, Otto! Would you say you're converted, or are you still thinking about it? Uh, when you guys went to the hotel room, did they show you the uh, the the Magni Council, the Mag Judge Magni? Uh, were, were you converted? What was the conversation like? If you could talk about it briefly, I'll still talk about trying, the event while you're uh, trying to add more more yeah. fan base. Oh my god, dude! I these were just people I hit up randomly. <laughs> I managed to be able to DM them on Twitter. Hi, Jade! Hi! Auto better converted, I swear to God. Yeah, if their answer is no, Auto, I am legally allowed to ban you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -uh. But yeah, these photos. Uh, you're talking about these photos, right, Paco? Yeah, yeah. So we had the the people trying to pick up their badges, regular badges on day zero. Yes, We had some sad photos. They had more coffee, guys. They only had like what seven ish or whatever coffees for the face connect, but they, it's like they had coffees for every talent now. So there was like twenty eight different flavors. Yeah, it wasn't this uh, much last. There wasn't this much last year. No, no, they have yeah, they have more talents now. They have coffee for every talent. Uh -huh. I didn't get any of the. I didn't get them all. I didn't restock on the coffee that the I won't eat because I don't drink coffee. But I did get months. the we hamster. Let's go. And I did get Erina because that's the only Gen 2 that I know because Kaiju won't stop talking about her. Really? Yeah, so I, I got it just to, to spite Kaiju. Kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> that I have Erina coffee and he doesn't. That's so funny. I love it. Um, yeah, yeah, we got the Erina coffee. Um, who was gonna say? Otto HK has been sending me clips. Fuck yeah! It was so nice meeting you. I'm I'm trying to t uh, tell your Oshi that I can't message her because she has um verified uh people only. Please, <laughs> I'm too shy to say it to her DMs or anything. <laughs> also, Paladin, thank you for the subscribe. Fuzzy, thank Looks you for like the subscribe. Uh, it is, or was it Kaiju? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pick up your badges like on day zero. Usually, a lot of conventions try to do that so that way you can have all of day one actually being at the convention as opposed mm -hmm. to waiting in line to pick up your badge. For sure. So, usually, yeah, and day zero is a good time to get your badges. So, if you're one of the suckers that were able to only able to fly in during Friday, you didn't have this luxury of this short line <laughs> because it for sure grew. <coughs> They're Finally asking, where is. They're asking, where's the Avi coffee? We actually talked about that. We can white label Avi into a coffee if she really wanted to. We, we can, can white label her a coffee, we but it can. would be white labeled. It wouldn't be like a special blend like yeah. Face Connect does. Wait, they but do I special blends? Yeah, theirs are like custom blends. Ooh. Yeah, we can white label if you guys are okay yeah. with it. But it'll give us money and it'll give you guys a caffeine boost. And who? And listen, maybe it's a good thing it's white labeled. Maybe whatever flavor that I like, you guys would be like, this is fucking awful. Worse than pickle yeah. coffee. <laughs> I showed you the selection. I think you, you yeah. had one in mind that you were thinking about. Yeah, for sure. And we're we'll, we'll, But it did cost a little bit to buy it here. Um, I'm still waiting for the obvious socks. Becco will be hmm. the helping hand to make it a reality. It will oh, yeah, be I reality. Have... Yeah, I made the pattern. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how to lay it out on the template because the, the seam, the printing mm -hmm. seams are different. 
Uh, so I'm trying to figure that out when I get a chance. Mm -hmm. Some guy said he got his on day zero and still had to wait half an hour. Whoa. That's probably yeah. not too bad, honestly, for batch pickup. Definitely pretty bad, but not too bad compared to whatever Friday, Saturday, p Sunday people got. Drove in Friday morning. It wasn't so bad before 11. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> people want avi coffee you don't drink coffee that's fine i don't either oh 1.5 hours jesus christ but yeah for any merch for sure becco will be able to make it a reality becco is gonna be so great and we'll and, figure out oh, the logistics she is so we'll smart figure it out. she'll figure we'll <laughs> figure out the logistics i never even have that word in my vocabulary till now <laughs> Ooh, I'm a little thirsty. Do you want to take this moment to get a hydration break, Beko? Hina coffee? I, I have to get a cup. Which one's the Hina? The princess one? You want a Hina coffee to flex on Mex? Does Mex like Hina? Uh, dang it. Yeah, not I mean, eventually, Avi mug. So yeah, eventually I'll try to ask to get all the coffee if I can as a collection. Mm -hmm. I've been putting them in airtight sealed containers because I don't know how to take care of coffee, but I figured airtight sealed containers are like to preserve their yeah. scent, scenty freshness. Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> um. So we're 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 aging some of these coffees. I I I, I give them to Rianari to try out. I, I give them to like Rianari and Belle to try out so that they could explain it to me and I can live vicariously through that. Yeah, Becca isn't a big coffee person. She likes, you know, good food and good drinks and things that actually are edible and not caffe caffeine like the rest <laughs> of us scrubs that have to use it to. Because Becca, first of all, is a freak for not being able for uh, her body not wanting naps, unlike the rest of us who are struggling with our brain cells to fighting for to stay awake. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you, KMP, for the kind of words. I appreciate it a lot. I'm so sorry I won't be able to read it all, but it's your words. If you keep the temperature down, that cool. That helps too. Ooh. So you're saying it wasn't a good idea for me to stuff my Arena coffee with a bunch of clothes? That's gonna be fine. Just kidding. I but, like. Yeah. You need a grinder though, right? Do you have a grinder? I think I do. Yeah. I we do. Okay. We do. You should. You should. Oh, I should have given you an like an alternate coffee for you to try out on stream. Ooh, next time. Content. Next time when I get to see you, when I when I go to see you, when the offline collab happens. What's it like to live without caffeine, migraines? It's wonderful. It's great. <laughs> I don't have shakes, shivers, migraines. I don't have the withdrawals of anything. But like, don't get me wrong. I have withdrawals for other things, right? <laughs> I, I love salmon. I love. I love. <laughs> I, I can get with uh, like I get mad cravings. I think I have the opposite problem where like I crave certain foods. So sometimes I'll want crunchy textures. I'll be like, I need to eat something crunchy, you know, versus like, oh, I'm having a migraine. I need coffee. At yeah. least you know what you guys need versus I'm just like, I need something that's um mm, refreshing, <laughs> refreshing. I need something uh with a lot of vitamins. Yeah, I love the lip smacking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Becca suggested Ichiran in New York to you. You still dream? Yes. I want to have more of that, man. I was, I was recommended because I told a lot of people that Offkai was like really good. Con like, everyone was saying Offkai was the best convention they've been to, and I was like, really? Because it was my first one, second year going there. And then someone was like, go to New York at an ANYC convention. I was like, huh? I'm considering flying to New York. It's it's really cozy and comfy. Uh, Offkai compared to like other ones. Ofkai is pretty cozy. I'd, I'd compare it to an early experience of like ALA that I had. ALA is another one that I think is kind of cozy and comfy. Uh, if you want to have like an alternate experience, it would definitely be the bigger ones like Anime Expo or uh, Anime NYC. Can someone pin like... Witch House go to SawCon? You want to pin that? Why? It's sweaty. Just for like uh, two minutes. Uh, also, thank you for the 15 bits, uh, Mac Lanky. Yeah, so coffee doesn't increase IQ. I'm aware. <laughs> and Becca does have energy. Or at least her brain just can function without it. I uh, have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Akai was my first beat super con and most fun I've had in a while. I'm so glad to hear that the rest of your weekend was able to go great. Because I met these dudes uh, Sunday. 
If I met them earlier, ooh, ooh, I would have yet their brains out. Um, what was gonna say? What was gonna say? What was gonna say? What were we gonna say? My work is trying to ship me to the other um, VTuber convention yeah! over in the UK. So for anybody that's overseas and that's curious to be mauled by an internet cat, yeah! um, I'm trying to figure out the logistics with that. Yeah, yeah. because the 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 what do you call them do you call them host owners the the owners the people running the expo and overseas they were at ofkai uh the to, one we you know, saw was actually networking. the events manager i stared at his mm -hmm. tag yeah you said because it's literally yeah, my yeah. eye level the dude was tall he wasn't that tall well, I'm sure. What do you mean your eye level? You're not that short either. I, I have to look down at all of these badges. I'm not, I'm not that tall. That's true. Also, just like at the <coughs> first day, I couldn't make eye contact. So I was just like, I'm going to stare at this badge instead. And I saw, oh, events manager. That I like reading so the cool smaller print. Have an IRL stream for that one. I would love to do an IRL stream for that yes. one. I, I definitely think I would heavily push for that. Um, mm -hmm. The the problem will be trying to manage doing work and doing an IRL stream at the same time. Hopefully uh, they're better staff, but it is the UK. Yeah, yeah, it's the UK. It's one of those things where, like, if I end up doing a huge, like, IRL stream and I end up having to do some networking, I might have to send you guys into the void for a little bit. Uh I hope that's okay. Yeah, for sure. But the girl, actually, no, that's the day. That's, that's skipping ahead. That's skipping ahead. There is going to be an advertisement soon. So, Becca, if you want to take this time to stretch, to, to get some oh, water. Yeah, let me go get some water. Yeah, go get some water, and then I'll go get some water. <coughs> I, well, I, will, I can wake up, not have caffeine, and I'm sometimes fine. Me drinking coffee daily has become routine. That's good, though, that at least, like, your brain is just, like, holding off of the withdrawal. They're just like, oh, you're gonna probably get it tomorrow or maybe at 3 p.m., right, Mac Lakey? So we will not give you the brain at least. Not the void! Yeah, for sure, when I had the IRL set up, I didn't realize what I was doing. But, like, after that, I have a whole appreciation for Becco, for vendors at Ofkai, for the IRL setup that she blesses you guys with every Saturday that I, unfortunately, am at work for. All non subs, we love you. If you snitch on the ads, we're gonna find you. Also, welcome, Void Wave. I don't think we've met. You probably met Becco, but hi, I'm Avispa. I'm so glad you joined us. Um, I drink coffee every other day, so I don't get heavily addicted. I work at a coffee shop, so I kind of like drank the delicious coffee until I stopped getting the the stomach movements and got used to it. <laughs> That's new TMI, but you know what I mean. It is a laxative. Sorry, my mobile app is being sucky and mucky and <laughs> I know what the third word would have been. But people who drink coffee get induced migraines? Yeah. Um, I gotta head to... Although I think chat froze on stream. Fuck! Okay, don't worry. I'll be able to uh, turn it on and off again. Okay. Uh, I gotta head to my L LCS to pick up comics. Yeah, Hopper, you weren't able to go, but you did say you would spend a lot of money if you did. Hopefully you guys are still streaming when I'm back. Don't worry, guys. It's me and, uh, and it's Becca <coughs> and I. We're able to yap for an infinite amount of times. And so many things happened at this con. Once again, I really do want to thank Becca for bringing me in there in the first place. I owe it all to her. Which also made me feel really bad for how I acted in the convention at some points. There she is. Um, I'm still so happy that I was the first person to call you out on your diet. Oh my god! Oh my god, Kaiden! Okay, shout, shout out to Kaiden for the calling for calling me out. We were chilling at the airport. Um, and he was like, "Hello, oh, Abby. <laughs> let's just, even though you weren't able to eat much, let's just, and I only was able to eat a certain food that we'll say later in the story. I ate way better in those four days at the con than I ever did outside of it with my gummy worms and shit addiction. That was Are you so being funny. for real? Yeah. We didn't eat that great. Yeah, but it was better than what I <laughs> What is your had. diet like? Chips, gummy worms, Arizona. Uh sometimes But I'm better now, I'm better now. I, I can fix me. <laughs> you want to know what we ate? 
You want to know what we ate, guys? We'll get there. We're almost we there. literally. We're almost there. We, 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 we. <laughs> actually, that, that'll be led to that, actually. Yeah. We're stuck in these spiders. We talked about how we uh, caught our badges and went home. You, 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 led the, you lead us on. So we, we, we decided, okay, let's go to the hotel. Oh, we had the realization that uh, we actually weren't. So, so my work uh, last year, I had a hotel at the convention. This year, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't harass my boss about, uh, the convention stuff. So we didn't get the room until like last minute ish. <laughs> so it was all sold out. The rooms were all sold out. So we had to get whatever was the closest hotel. Uh, and to me on the map at the time, I'm just like, oh, it's just down the street. Like it's literally across the street or something like that. Yep. Looks good. I guess I could just walk there. That's fine just across the street and uh what's funny is that like when i landed i got a message from my boss saying sorry that the hotel ended up being so far away or is so far away i'm like what are you talking about it's just across the street it's fine it's fine or whatever and so like i'm hailing this lift trying to figure out where it is or uh, on on well not not lift actually i pulled up google maps to try to figure out where it is because i assumed that we would walk there i pull it up and it's just like it's gonna take you like an hour and 30 minutes to walk there and i'm like what what do you mean it's just across the street right and i'm looking at it and it's like no it's literally like 20 30 minutes drive i can't read san francisco map apparently i don't understand san francisco map everything is like it looks super close but they're actually super far and like so we ended up having to get the lift and we're like, well, I guess we're not traveling a lot because everything is super far away in terms of walking. Like everything is kind of far it walking is wise. It's distant. That's California yeah. for you. Everything is <laughs> super far. And I was really bummed out because I was actually looking forward to taking the BART train and the uh, transportation. <laughs> and I booted yeah. up my card for it. I thought that we were going to be cute transportation girlies. But fucking no, San Francisco, which is just like the rest of California where you can't have fucking shit transportation wise. Freaking, we were at a Holiday Inn. We were at a Holiday Inn. I can even give the address now that we're not no longer there. Yeah. It was like three seven three South Airport Boulevard. So that was like, you, yeah. It was like, and and I know that because I kept having to add in the address. Uh, so it was like around 20, 30 minutes drive, whatever. Uh, thankfully though, it was literally right next to. We had a nice view of the McDonald's that was like across, like like just beyond Thank the you. fence of the hotel yeah uh but just a little bit further was a costco and i'm just like you know what after doing all the setup after not eating for x amount of hours and not having a meal for the entire day uh we need that that huge calorie boost we're gonna get costco pizza so we walked all the way to costco and my plan was also to get some provisions at costco to be able to buy provisions snackage and stuff so that we had some Bye. stuff just within the room just in case mm -hmm. um and we we went to costco i had an experience at costco i, I had i had yeah. a, an experience at costco costco uh, the we, karen moment right yeah i almost i almost flipped a karen on on people there this was like i 4 almost p.m it was like four to yeah 4 p.m we this had not eaten all day all day and, exerted a lot of energy and was in a hot room and did a lot of walkies i think avi had like eighteen thousand steps that day or just something thursday because i wandered in the airport for hours yeah and so like uh we had ordered a pepperoni pizza the line was super long for some reason the the online ordering wasn't working so avi was waiting in line while i was trying to figure out the online ordering uh we get to the front order just basic pepperoni pizza fruit smoothie drink right whole pep and we wait a couple minutes i go wash my hands avi goes wash her hands and i'm like i'm gonna go check on the pizza right whole pep nothing special i go up i wait in line and the guy like doesn't even look at it crosses off the thing and it's just like oh actually we 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 you have to wait a little bit more for this uh, uh another 10 minutes i'm like oh hey so i wait I go back up there. I'm waiting in line. There's one person in front of me, one person behind me. Okay. And at one point, the person in front of me gets their pizza. And so now I'm at the front of the line. 
and I'm waiting and this guy is he sees me quite clearly and I see him pull pizzas out of the thing and actually no before that I watch the pizzas come out of the oven there's literally pizzas coming out of the oven to the point where they're filling up on the the end rack and I'm and this guy is just doing like inventory management on the shelves like he's cleaning up the shelves and all this other stuff and I'm sitting there I'm like I am literally right here and there's pizzas on the end cap shelf coming out of the oven please give Mm. me one of those and then he does the most despicable thing where he just starts taking the pizzas he starts boxing them puts them on the shelf and he looks at me and then points to the guy behind me and asks him what he wanted and what he needed and then Helps him and gives him, guess what? A whole pepperoni pizza. And I'm like, that could have been my whole pepperoni pizza. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy for real, for real. And like, eventually I'm still waiting there. And then he calls out, uh, half pep, half, half cheese or whatever. Or some, so like pep, pizza special or something. And some guy off in the corner comes forward. And then like claims it. And I'm staring at this guy. And I'm literally fuming. I'm like, why did he help the guy behind me? But not me. And he looks at me finally. And I look at him right at the front of the counter. And I'm like, where's my pizza? And he looks at the receipt and he reads it again. He's like, oh, oh, whole pep. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I I misunderstood. I thought you had like a special pizza here. And he like gives me one of the whole peps that were on the shelf. I'm like <laughs> so angry. Fuck that guy, dude. We were starving. We were stressed. We were starving. starving. Yeah. Poor little critters. And this guy had the audacity to look behind Becca. Fuck that guy. You were the one in front. <laughs> even worse, the fact that your ticket got crossed off, even though you didn't get yeah. anything. So it seriously could have ruined like the, our chances of getting food <laughs> like badly that I paid for. By the way, I paid for it, by the way, because I didn't mind having us get a little TV. But the seriously, that line was long. So if anything happened, oh my god. It was stressful. When you were in delivery driver slash cashier and you had people staring at you working you usually help the person behind them instead of the karen i didn't care on him let me just say this let me put this on the record i didn't actually care it on him but i was brooding internally she was okay she brood. I've i didn't i didn't actually care in him she wasn't like i patiently toes. waited <laughs> okay oh, I, I patiently waited he had already turned away nervous. turned me away like twice or whatever and and we were waiting uh at that point it was like 20 some minutes or something 20 25 minutes yeah uh when when at the register alone they told us it would have been just 10 minutes yeah okay. yeah yeah so like i wanted to care at him yeah i thought about it but listen once i received that food i'm like listen i need this yeah. i need this pizza right now yeah <laughs> No, cold blood. Staring oh, makes you nervous. Was, like, so patient, she was just brooding. But the dude didn't know. You're gonna know. Don't blame us, dude. Dude, mm-hmm. cold blood. If I is trying to perfect, protect their fellow like customer service worker, you no, they're the kindest person. If he if he didn't if he didn't help the other guy behind me, we're, there's a line. Okay, it was literally a line. line. I'm like next in line. What the frick? <laughs> you would have got monkey mode if I'm going ape shit, throw your physical shit at him? Yeah. <laughs> AK, you would have. Also, thank you for the 10 months subscribe to Cowboy. Oh, appreciate that. Hold on. Uh, I missed the chat too. Uh, damn. <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, but yeah, it was an experience having our food be so close yet so far to us when we were starving. Oh, yeah. burn your Costco card in front of him. You just lost the customer. <laughs> oh. Yes, look, sometimes what it takes to get your food is to get small angry. Exactly. Sometimes if it had to go there, it, it would have. And I wouldn't have blamed Becca. It was, it was packed in there. But for sure, um, we ate like half of the pizza. 
And then that, we're just that like, first bite was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. I love the first bite. I actually, Becco, I didn't tell you this, but like my dad taught me to just like pat the pizza first to get like the grease off. I didn't fucking do that. I just, went, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I usually did that too. I would usually pat the pizza as well, but yeah. nah, man, we just consumed. Oh my god, it was like we a just fucking... consumed. <laughs> you didn't even see how many pizzas I had. I didn't see her. I I didn't see her eat any pizza other than the first one but apparently she had the same amount as me she yeah. like we, we grabbed like three pizzas each or something like that yeah i don't even remember i remember the first one being the fucking fat chunky slice I was just yeah. like, I, 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 and you had like a skinny one because like costco is kind of cutting their pizzas kind of skinny now <laughs> the devil on buckle shoulder who looks suspiciously like me are you tired of being nice that's you want to go is <laughs> it how dare you keep me away from my food <laughs> oh but it was so good once we had it and the only thing we had with us were drinks i had like a little smoothie you had your fountain drink but it, we were hungry for our food yeah uh. and and so like originally i wanted to go shop for provision snackies or whatever but we weren't able to do that because then i started getting uh, messages from off kai uh they needed more supplies of my work stuff and I'm just like, uh, how yeah. much more? How many more? Can it wait till tomorrow? Like, how many? How many are, are you out? Out? Like, is it gone? Are you uh, uh, a barren wasteland? And they're like, we need a thousand more. I'm like, uh, okay. <sighs> so then I, I, I was like, I told Avi, I'm like, listen, you take this pizza back, go back to the room. I'm gonna have to go back to Afkai, make sure that they have everything that they need. Yeah. They need a thousand more. I'm going to supply them with the goods and stuff. Yeah, Becca yeah. couldn't even relax even after we had the pizza. Oh my god, dude. I felt so bad for Becca. I was just like, Ugh, even when she's off the hotel, she has to go back to the Hyatt, Hyatt Regency Hotel <laughs> with the lift it... that we painfully have to buy to go back and forth. <coughs> but it was fine. It was fine. Oh, While well, I was there. I gave him the extra stuff. Uh, I checked up on a couple of things, and I checked out the vendor hall for like a brief second while they were setting up, and that's how like I took picture of that that sweater that you wanted. Yes, you told me. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna save the sweater for <laughs> the hall. Actually, but you took a bunch of like um. I took a bunch of pictures. Merch pics because you got to see the artist alley. Becca actually talks to some of the people in the artist alley, which is really cool. Some people, not all of them. That's Unlike me, cool. you did a lot better than what I did the first day when I was there, where I just stared at them. And I didn't get stuff. a chance to actually talk to a lot of the vendors oh. this time around. Oh. Yeah, this, this time around, I didn't get a chance to talk to a lot of the vendors. Man. It was a lot of more networking with uh, other VTubers and things like that. But yeah, yeah. yeah. As opposed to last year, where you just wandered off. Oh, oh yeah. Though. Last year, I talked to every every vendor. Uh, and I got to do a lot more networking with the vendors themselves, which which is fine. It's fine. Um, the vendors this year, or at least the industry vendors, were slightly different lineup than last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, they were definitely, like, way bigger than last year. Different people to see than last year. It was yeah. insane, dude. Oh, my God. Um, but it, Yeah. But also, like, some of the, the industry vendors were... No, I don't know if they were exactly relevant to my work versus last year. Last year, a lot of it was uh, agencies and groups, so so that made sense. But this one, like one of them was uh like there was a robot VTuber, like literal. The did you ever get to see it? Like, I did, but I got really shy. Yeah, yeah. That's the one person I kept being repeatedly shy on whenever I passed the hall, even though we met them and talked to them and they were really cool. Oh, shiny coat, shiny coat. I got shiny coat. Unreasonably yeah, reasonably shy with them. They they were nice and friendly, but yeah, I don't know how that would work in with my work. Yeah. Uh, and and blep blep was also there. So anybody that uses blep sound effects, I know Chia uses blep sound effects. They were there. But I don't know if that would be relative to my work. That was cool. Bloodfly with their uh, sound alert, sound alert, sound alert, sound alert. Yeah. You also chatted with some of the vendors. That's good, Kai. And I'm glad, despite being an introvert, I'm fairly good at yapping with people. Yeah, introverted yappers. Ah! Sorry, my shit's falling down. Oh, 
to think the wasp who loves Roomba would just ignore a robot VTuber. Ew, I got embarrassed. I didn't know why. I just, all of a sudden, I just got really shy. That was the only person I got shy to, but I would have loved to keep talking to them because they were really sweet to us. Um, but yeah, for sure. Uh, you came back to the hotel. We showered. We concluded our day. You made me, you told me. I had another pizza upon my return. Huh? I had another pizza upon my return. Oh yeah, I did return the pizza and I was selling our thing. Um, you told me how to do the setup for tomorrow for sure because I wanted to do that. Oh yeah. Once we were all settled down and, and everything, I went through all of the equipment and I explained to her what each equipment does yeah. and how to use the application and what to usually do for the application. I broke everything down and explained every element except for the uh except for the scene switching the automatic scene switching yeah. because there was no way for me to explain that to her without it being live so it kind of slipped my brain to explain that yeah. to her <laughs> uh which you guys witnessed the next day <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to learn it the hard way. I was like, ooh, the one thing <laughs> Becca didn't explain was yeah. very crucial. Ah! She, but I actually she, did understood relatively, like, the hardware stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But it was the software, like you said, that I couldn't get. But I was just like, I think I kind of get what's going on with the cables and stuff. Yeah, yeah the cables are, are pretty simple. You know, power, internet, you know. Um... Uh, Modem. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the the yeah the internet the modem the internet modem and the uh, the uh, the Barbara Barbara Baco the Bella box Bella box she Bellabox. had a real yeah. name yeah yeah I so named cool. it Emo Emo I really wish the other setup you had would have sh showed up the internet yeah just... I have it right next to me it's, ah. it came in literally as I as I came back the day after no. it arrived in. It's super nice and tiny, and everything is super simple. I have yet to test it out. I, I'm trying to see if I can find some time to test it out. Yeah. Oh, uh, that'll be super sweet. Yeah. To start messing with. Yeah, I can't wait for your next IRL setup with that. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So here I have pulled up a photo, a very uh relevant photo soon about like what I wanted to get it off guy that Becco sent me. A club. Oh god, I Abby, love. You didn't get that copium shirt. I don't wear white shirts, unfortunately, <laughs> so I knew I wasn't going to get this. Um, but like one of my favorite vendors, uh, Omonu, Omono, Omonu, I always forget how to pronounce them, but I have a photo of their uh, business card later. Um, I, you know, my Oshi, Magni, Desmond, Nora Visper has graduated last year. But so I was really upset thinking like, oh, my God, I'm never going to get this shit again. So when Becca fucking told me that they had this shit on stock, I knew what I was going to get. The Magni Desmond sweater. There was also a pouch, but at the time I was like, I don't know if I want the pouch. My money, I'm going to put my money on the sweater because my plan was to buy Gavis Battle merch. And this was the only Magni one I could get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The white one I wasn't gonna get. I don't really wear. I I wish I got the best for. Anyways, uh, they look jacket... so good together though. I spent the entire convention uh, giving her FOMO about it. I literally was gaslighting her and giving her FOMO. And every other person that had that fanny pack, I'd stop them and be like, "Hi, I see you have this fanny pack." <laughs> May you please market to us why you think this fanny pack is awesome and why oh she should God. go and buy it. Tell us how awesome it is. Show us what the inside is like. Does it have, provide you a lot of space and room? Are you enjoying your fanny pack? Should she regret her choices of not getting this fanny pack oh upon my God. first day? It was, it was such subliminal messaging, you guys. Even when I was helping Becca at the booth, um... When I came back from the IRL stream, she was like, you want the fanny pack. You want the fanny pack. I think I got it sun uh, Saturday, actually. You got it. Yeah, you did get it yeah, Saturday. Because we set up the this... Thursday. Friday was uh, the IRL setup and I got the sweater. I got the sweater on stream. I don't know if you guys saw it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And so Friday, <coughs> that entire... Wait, was it Saturday? Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, Saturday. yeah, it was Saturday because Friday you did the IRL stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I get mixing up, up too because we came in Friday. Oh, it's Thursday. Sorry, yeah. I have to remember, too. Um, We saw, yeah, yeah. So the entire time, the Friday, 24 hours of nothing but Becca being like, you want the you want the patch, you want the little fatty pack, you want to get you it, you want it, it for so totally much for yourself. 
You love it. Oh, see, dog. I, I, I insisted. I forced Avi. I'm just like, listen. I know we're going to some events that require your ID. Leave your passport at the hotel room, please. I begged. Oh, I, I begged. Did. I can't. I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I can't keep track of your passport. Yeah. Leave that. <laughs> I brought my uh, ID just in case because I knew there was going to be some drinking involved from other people that I wanted to be in. But you know, I wasn't going to drink. But you can't just be like, hi. I don't have my ID. I'm not going to drink anyways. I promise. You can't just do that. Promise. Promise no. I won't wink. Uh, yeah, the AirPods and the sweater never would, would have never been. Oh my God, you too, uh, Nayu. If you had bought the the, the, the Magni Desmond cross bag, you would have never lost it. <laughs> yeah. That's um, now going to be a regular bag you use. So yeah. Look how handy it was. It, it was, was handy though, right? It was incredibly handy. See, see, see. She needed it. She needed yeah, it. Even, it's going to be a regular bag now. Even handier than my already cross bag. See, see. She had a bag. She had a. She had a. What do you call it? The the small like personal backpack. It yeah. Was more handier than that. Yeah. Although it can't fit my tablet. So I do need my other uh, crossback for that. But this was for sure a very worth it purchase. Mm. <laughs> but Betko, that fanny pack's like half the size of Avi. It's just too large. <laughs> it really was pretty roomy. I will say for its size. You would not have That's guessed. Very roomy. But it was very roomy for what I needed there. Good. She so, scares me. Oh, sorry. Go, go. Uh, I was going to say now that we're on Friday... That's all you. You want to explain your IRL experience and talking to everybody. This is going to be all you segment. Saturday. So actually. Friday. Yeah, yeah. Friday was done. Saturday. No, Friday was the IRL stream. My yeah, day. sorry, fuck. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> Friday. Do you guys. who? So who was there for Becco's IRL stream Friday? Who was there? Who is there, everyone? I want to get that settled in before I talk because there was a very important. Did Archie show up um, Friday or s Thursday or Saturday? Friday. It was so, Friday. That was when he because first met him. We we originally scheduled the IRL stream to be at ten, but Archie wouldn't arrive until noon. And mm -hmm. after having witnessed you losing absolutely everything <laughs> underneath the sun, I had told you maybe we should wait till Archie arrives to do the IRL stream. So that way she has some assistance uh, uh, managing everything. Yeah. So that's why the stream was delayed till noon until Archie arrived. Yeah, which fucking shout out to Archie, the homie. He went from a fucking viewer that would come in and be like, Hi, Avi! Okay, bye, Avi! To being my fucking homie, dude. I love Archie for what he has done for me and Becca, dude. Without him, and the, the fact <laughs> that we literally, like, stole him for, like, two days out of the three of the convention, when he like literally like keep in mind chat he was already security for the actual off kai event plus he told me that after his off kai shift he has to go to his actual fucking job which who knows how long they kept him in for but definitely started at a later time so the fact that on friday we wanted him to be included for the morning for the afternoon starting at 12 for the irl setup uh i think his shift started at five for his off kai setup and for like i think around 10 is his work he was such a homie dude a saint a, a, an absolute chatster also becca i love all the messages <laughs> when becca is gone avi needs a new babysitter yeah. to keep her in check avi has her own off kai security <laughs> yeah. i dude i i was hoping that archie would be you know uh, what is it? Keep safekeeper or whatever. Uh -huh. I will say, Archie is almost just as bad as being a scatterbrain as <laughs> Avi. Archie is almost just as bad, and I started getting double nervous <laughs> that I was sending out two space cadets on a mission with your expensive as with fuck my expensive equipment. Expensive gear. <laughs> yeah. I will say though, Becco, I really wish you could get. I like if there's a way for you to get another set of. Oh yeah, you brought your like three hundred dollar like earbuds instead of like the ten dollar thirty dollar ones you had. Oh, the mic the setup. Yeah, yeah, I, I the brought the the expensive microphone setup. Instead of the cheap one, that would have been fine if they had lost. Yeah. And maybe if, like, both would have worked. Because for sure, we didn't know that one of them was not working. And we gave that one to Archie. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, some of you guys said you were there for like when I got the sweater. Yay! I'm excited because that story is gonna be really funny. I do not remember much about the IRL stream because it was all uh, I was more scared of breaking something of Becco's, so I was like fucking stressed out of my mind i don't remember as much but i do remember some core memories and i will jump around from there there and there not as good as like these streamlined stories day to day uh when, back when you pair up two scattered brains together and soon learn the errors of yeah. rg relatively babysat me though for sure he like stepped oh, yeah. up he stepped up hell yeah he was security he did have security experience um what was i gonna say at the start of it um, I was set up with it. She set me up with it. For sure was very stressed. And I didn't know how to walk with it. And funny story. That was a day I learned. I arched my head a little too forward. Because for sure you guys got some like a uh, cheek and ear action. Ha ha ha. Which you know wasn't doxing for sure. I was careful. But I noticed that like, I arched my neck forward. <laughs> what? <laughs> because I didn't my face wasn't there until the stream review got to loading into the uh what did you call the little phone that was on my arm your pit boy pit boy bro was doing three jobs at once smooch yeah for sure shout out to archie for helping no overtime paid at all <laughs> oh dude we 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 need to we need to make up to him one of these days shout out to archie Burn the left eye of my brain. Yeah, you guys saw a little bit of my my uh, gamer posture, and that's when I was like, Jesus, my posture is really bad. If this fucking camera that's attached to my shoulder, um, that Becco had no trouble avoiding the face, her face of the camera on, <coughs> and meanwhile my cheek was like exposed. Did security ever get paid? Good question. You should probably ask Archie. Um, Archie couldn't even get a pizza slice. <laughs> nah, he had to go home to get ready for anything. But for sure, if there was a chance for him to stop by, we would have given him a pizza or a high five. Because that man, I think, was also as hungry um, as we were. Um. Anyways, so the stream started off. I was so fucking nervous with how I moved because I know my face was, my uh, cheek was exposed. I was like, I walked so robotic like so slow it would have been a traffic violation with how slow i was uh, <laughs> a walking you naturally traffic. walk slow i in the beginning i was like hi guys so this is the convention uh, and archie and i originally had a plan that he was gonna scare stream in the middle of it but he saw how nervous i was and how much the pit boy was like slipping out of my skinny skinny wrist uh with its heavy weight and he like eventually had to give him be like okay i'm archie i'm here having out obby and also there was a lot of like places where there was reflection for sure um so but eventually i don't know when exactly i think it was like when we eventually got into the artist alley room that all fears just went away in regards to the irl stream setup so i was like all right guys we're gonna make our first purchase archie is in charge of holding my fucking credit card because i am using a credit card for this trip um i am going to worry about these i these purchases later when i pick up shifts in my job in the meantime so yeah yeah and people were saying we're in a fucking run away you guys were also really good sports during the chat, the the IRL segments, by the way, um, for sure. You turned Archie into a walking purse. I did. I was like, Archie, hold this. Hold that. Hold that. Um, look at this. But for sure, you guys, it was my first time um, experiencing the fact that stream was looking at what I was looking at and commentating, making funny as fuck things. And, and it was really nervous for, uh, for sure, walking, talking to myself, my loud Latina volume. So everyone in the city was for sure hearing me and laughing to myself with my camera set up. <laughs> it was embarrassing. Um, but once I, like, yeah. Skyrim companion setup. Yeah. You seem supernatural in the vendor alley. Oh, for sure, it was because the the, the hyperfixation hit it. But it was really rewarding. Like the whole painful growing pains of the stream setup and those the internet uh, the the scuff we had in the beginning. Um, it was worth it when I saw you guys commentating what I commented. You guys were fucking hilarious, uh, by the way. Um, and I can see why Becco like was got addicted to it in the first place. Shout out to Becco for figuring it all out. 
Um, I love I, IRL streaming. I'm I'm naturally very curious and adventurous, but I don't like doing things alone. So I might as well take half of the internet with me. Yeah. You know. <laughs> God, Becco is so fucking cool. Becco was so fucking cool for this IRL setup, and I saw the beauty of it firsthand thanks to her. The fact that she trusted me with it, which was a lot to ask for her, for sure. <laughs> Oh my god, but for sure I made sure everything was kept in its place. For sure. Actually being a pack oh, yeah. mule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the first place we went to was this set, was this uh, booth. You should put us on the speaker next time so the public can hear how funny we are. Yeah, but then the mic would have picked it up and then it would have been a double feedback loop. And oh Well, it's, it's one of those things that I both looked into and both have been hesitant of. Because oh. usually the the it would be nice to be able to hear like have you guys have sound notifications as part of your redeems and things like that but also that's usually something that's like uh nuisance streamers use yeah so i haven't really crossed that border yet of like how much of a nuisance am i to yeah. the public yeah unfortunately yeah for sure it can actually be like also, every chat message was read, which for our some folk community, greatly appreciate it. But if we were like seen by anyone, if anyone wanted to stream snipe, for sure, it, uh, it, it, we had to take, Becca was taking precautions as well. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I'm getting messages as well. Um, what else? What else? I, I'm blanking out. Yeah, first place me and Archie went to, this vendor. Uh, I was gonna get the Magni sweater, and it was really funny. You guys all saw what happened. That's way for a future where Avi can IRL stream. Nah, I'm not stepping into Becco's toes. Becco is perfect for this <laughs> IRL stream. This convention would have been the only first and last place I would have IRL streamed. My career ended. Becco is the one who figured out all this stuff. She has the smarts for that. I do not. It is Becco's niche, and I, I am happily so happy to basically like s not be sponsored by her be the walking advertisement for becco Anyways, i mean if yeah. we ever do another event and i'm actually available to hold the equipment this time yeah. i imagine you could you would be there we the can mule i will stream together yeah. <laughs> kind of like yomakon and how chia was there yeah for sure i would love to do that i will fly to you becco. actually wait no we had talked about it we do have to do irl stream again because i had talked about how uh, whenever you do visit me, I'm forcing you to go camping with me. Yes, we will. So camp. there is going to be another one. There I want to do be. an IRL camping where I force Avi to build a tent by herself. Like she does everything by herself. My survival will be dependent on if she can do all of the, the camping setup. <laughs> yeah, Becca always wanted to do the camping setup, the IRL camp. And we will do that. That is my dream now to visit Becco and do the camping. If I wasn't in the gaming call losing the Smash 30, oh, you said that first day home Friday. He messaged in the Discord being like, I'm at the Smash tourney. Guys, everyone wish me luck. If I won, it was because of the bug girls who believed in me. If I lost, <laughs> it was because I was too distracted by the bug girls. <laughs> oh. Becco is screwed. Letting Avi loose in the forest. Let's go camping stream. Oh yeah, that would go so badly. I believe in her. I believe in her and we can commentate and hopefully she will be able to build a proper shelter and cook the proper food. We can even have it be glizzies. If we can have it easy mode glizzies for I her. I heard you guys wanted her to eat glizzies. <laughs> for the camping they won't, trip. They won't accept anything else but glizzies for camping. That's so funny. Oh good, we are already getting lost on a con. Now we can be lost in some woods. So surely what could go wrong? Oh my god. But yeah, for sure. Uh, first bush glizzies. Fuck yeah. You can find so many free range bugs in the. No, I don't want to fucking eat bugs anymore, Jack. I'm <laughs> done. I'm done. My body will reject them. I, I guarantee you. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> if, if you guys want to, I can be like, fine, because it sucks and I'll eat this uh, red ant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm going, free no, no, no. range bugs yes. for your pleasure. Oh my god, free range, organic, uh, non-BMO. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to here. I was gonna buy the sweaty. Uh, <laughs> not you. Next whole bug hotel dinner. I don't think they save that any hotel. Oh god. 50 subs and I'll make Becco eat a cricket. No way. I can't no, convince more, her. More than 50. More than 50. 
You have to fund for like her internet chili. access for the next couple of IRL streams. <laughs> oh my god, Nuno! Thank you so much for the five giving subs! I eat the ant! I guess I will eat up a red ant for the future stream. If there is Fire any. ant is not like a free hot Cheeto. I am <laughs> sure it is not like a hot Cheeto, nor do oh I want to imagine it being like a hot Cheeto. If it was alive inside my stomach, it will eat its way out. Yeah, Ant Nation! Whoa. That's also a Maggie Desmond reference. Sorry. I really would love to be able to have like an uh, upgraded setup. Right now, I only have the one uh, internet modem. I would love to get a second one to be able to do proper cellular bonding to have better stability for the streams. Mm -hmm, exactly. I would love to have that for you for sure, Becca, because IRL streaming was is so amazing. I, I wish I could fund for it too. A bazillion <laughs> dollars. I will gladly help fund. A little part, but along with the uh, the the Beckle fans. What do you call your Beckle fans again? The boopers. The boopers. I am a booper. I want to help be make my Beckle shimmer have the best booping shim ever. Boop, boop, boop. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to give us a number for the price of the internet stuff? It, it, it's in. If we add it, it's in. <laughs> it's in. My credit card is in. Is there a fund or a throw? See, so many people are interested. But for sure, Becco needs to figure out the logistics. I need to figure out the logistics. Because it's... it. Uh, I don't want to have... Like, the tricky thing is that it is a monthly upkeep. So right now, the setup as it is costs $60 per month to finance. So I need to make sure I at least earn $60 a month yeah. to be able to continue doing it. Uh, that's that's the thing. I have to make sure I earn at least $60 a month to be able to continue doing IRL streams. Uh, and if I were to add another cellular plan to that, then that's another monthly expense that I need to make sure that I earn. Uh, heard that, everybody? Make sure Becco gets triple times the $60. <laughs> What's 60 times triple? $180, maybe even more. Assuming you hit Twitch payout, it pays for itself. Assuming. But, like, also that, like, I, I also want to try to save up money to be able to do other things, right? Mm -hmm, like, sure. other models and things like that yeah. I have to slowly save up for. I don't want to constantly break even just with the IRL stream stuff. Yeah, breaking even is, ugh, terrifying. Um, now to see if they can have a ship sailing stream with the idea. Oh, God, going on a boat. Can't wait. What? Becco, is that Becco glamping? I'm assuming glamping, glamping. I would love to the IRL camping. You that's need to get that camping scooter. I do need to get that camping scooter. See, that's another it. expense on top of everything: yeah. camping gear, scooter, and scooter gear, and then and then also to like try to upgrade the the. IRL stream setup to have better cellular bonding like it's already better than that I've already done an upgrade right because before when I first started I was only using my cell phone service uh and and no no um scene switching when I would lose yeah. uh internet you guys would just be dead that yeah. would be it for the stream with the Bella box they have the uh dedicated internet for it which is a little bit better than being on the phone uh and it has the was it motion stability and, and things like that so the next upgrade up would definitely be getting a succulent and cellular bonding subscribed and or months. switching to a better camera yeah which they have they have the action four right now i use the action three they have the action four or um the pocket three i think the osmo pocket three with the better low light that would be amazing but of course it all costs money and i gotta deal with what i have right now yeah um kiwi's got it on the mark the cause of a creative hobby is so heartbreaking <laughs> yeah and becco has the mission to do it all hoover yeah it's the hoover in the background i apologize sorry <laughs> that was my best that wasn't my best british action let me do it again <laughs> I could do the car camping. The first camping is gonna be backyard camping, just to make sure that I know how to set everything up because I've never done camping before. Uh, and so for safety, background, back backyard camping? Backyard camping. I can't wait for the background. Becco backyard camping. 
Oh yeah. I have I've given myself the deadline of my birthday to be able to try to afford this tent or to get this tent. I've given myself my birthday to to be able to do this camping stream, this first backyard camping stream. Yeah. Can squish watermelons, easy money, get them thighs to squish in. Who's gonna buy watermelon squishies? Stupid. Uh, Sorry, I have a but, but, but. playing in the background right now. That was even a worse British accent. Wow, wow, wow. They're bullying me. Wow, wow. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, Jax. We're talking about our off client experience. Here's <coughs> Beckle. We're here talking about our IR, the IRL stream setup. Oh my god. I think Jax was Jax there for it? I don't think you were there for it. I think I'm was I'm Jax mixing up names. At, was was Jax, Jax, Jax at the no, no, the IRL stream stream. Oh, I see, I see. I don't know if you were actually. I think you were. Um, but yeah, I was gonna mention one more thing about the IRL setup thing. With, sorry, with this photo right here. This is a very okay. <laughs> sorry, I can't speak when there's a fucking vacuum playing right now in the background. I'll save the sorry when it's done. Becco, do the epic. Um, well, but IRL stream stream? I don't think so. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. I might might have mixed you with someone else. I apologize. I apologize, Jax. There's a lot of people that are green, too. Just like you. <laughs> There's not enough colors. Not <laughs> enough colors. <laughs> You're so right. Oh my god. Trumpet guy, make your entrance. Please don't go away. <laughs> if Trumpet guy runs the cell for me, I will cry. Yeah, you do all the calls in to me, motherfuckers. You do. You do. The green community. Yeah, I hope you can go to Offkai next year, Jax. I'm already trying to force Tax into coming in here with me. Becco, if Tax uh, was, yeah, I'm trying to convince. Oh, if Tax goes, I'm <laughs> gonna punch him in his spleen. No, don't punch the spleen. I hope. Why? He's such a sweet, sunny boy. It's a greeting. Where? It's saying hello. Yeah. You know what? If you're exactly. Going to do that, I'll yeah. um swipe kick him. What do you call it? Kick swipe him with my leg? You're gonna drop kick him? Drop kick him. No 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 no. Where you like crouch down, you swipe your leg to where his legs are, try to kick behind the knee so he falls forward. <gasps> Wait, Avi Jux didn't know that Avkai existed? No Until you this been year? Able to been there, Jax, what the fuck? Also, hello, Jack. Sorry, I, I I tell Avi like every five months that I still have you ghosted on red because I'm too anxious and anxiety driven to respond to you. God, um, Becca was putting I her nuts on the table for admitting this. I'm putting, I'm flopping it down. I'm I'm outing myself right now, Jax. You messaged me and I literally got scared and and i uh i haven't i've just ghosted you ever since because i panicked i panicked so hard and i just haven't responded uh because of because because you you were so uh how do you say She's you were so <laughs> you were so stern you were so uh prof and and a loaf that i'm just like <laughs> you scared my wife literally just say I'm hi i did right say now. hi i did say hi and then you hit me with the with the f five billion questions and i'm just like oh god he doesn't want to do it <laughs> this is my life she I you just a so fella much. you're just a dude uh, you're 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 a cool dude yeah, I kill it, dude my, <laughs> my wife's just so nervous of you but i'm so glad no we don't mess with me right now <laughs> You can visit her while I talk about my story at off cut. Now I get to be reminded of the the question that I ran away from. No, it's okay, Becca. Jack scares me too. Oh my god. See, he scares me because whenever like you never know what you brought this on yourself. I can't even You got questions. No, that's fair. I'm I'm like that too. I probably ask a bajillion questions because I'm also a manager. I have to ask a bajillion questions. Yeah. But when I'm like not in my manager position, I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, she wants to talk to you casually, but you scared her with her manager brain being confused. The question. Oh, Lord. 
But now yeah, I have sure. to respond to him after. <laughs> I literally told Becca too, like you and Jex text the same, like with you guys asking questions, but it also seems intimidated to to other people. So the fact that Becca was the first one to be intimidated instead of like, be the, yeah, I, I can do this. I would allow Jex to punch me if we no! met IRL. Yeah. No! <laughs> I'll punch him back. I'll, I'll, he'll oh. punch me. I'll punch him back. No, don't punch each other with the he can, We could punch each other. No, we, we're never. we'll compare. We'll compare each other's bruises. No. <laughs> he said that he wouldn't. He wouldn't do it right. Oh, he wouldn't. He you wouldn't. Right? He said I'm gonna punch y'all. That's what he said. That sounds odd. Shut the fuck up. Don't do this. I like Becca. She likes <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is the first time, like, oh my god. Not the first Do time. Do I intimidate too. Kiwi? Oh, you know what? I probably intimidate Kiwi when we message because, like, uh, Kiwi's familiar with me being on your streams and, and, like, my streams, and I have, like, half a brain cell. But when I'm messaging Kiwi about production, I'm literally like, See in production, you have to do this and you go to this factory, and this is the process. She's and scary, like that. right? And blah, 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 blah. She's scary. She's so serious, and you're just like, oh, it's a lot of information. Um, Look at the tea. So it's like an entirely different brain for that conversation. Her, she can switch on and off. It's like she's my boss. Yeah, Becca doesn't type like hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> when she types in serious mode, that's when she drops the emotes, which is a shame because it scares me so much and I pee a little in my pants. Oh my god, I I, I feel like Kiwi's boss. I have no relation. <laughs> I did no, actually, you know what? No, I think I might have accidentally like when Kiwi first did their Kickstarter. I literally hit Key with the, uh, you need to do this with your Kickstarter. Make sure you adjust this. And do you have this like this? Yeah, Becca's actually a baller. And no, no, literally like read Jax's message too, because you guys literally went the same way. My experience, a lot of people are very wishy washy and have things half planned. That's why you ask a bunch of questions to make sure they actually want to do something together. Yeah. I do! I do! And the problem is, I'm so busy! <laughs> I have it. I have it like planned. I have an idea planned, but for me, it's just getting certain resources together, but also knowing, um... She Knowing also needs to gather around flame. other VTubers too, and she's so shy and scared. <laughs> she's also the other half of the battle, which I think you can kind of relate to Jack's finding people for sure. But, 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 but yes, this is my wife right here. <laughs> <laughs> she is super baller. She has to wear multiple hats for her job, dude. Like multiple, we had well, like I I was the first time witnessing her using her fucking three phones. Oh like, my god! <laughs> yeah, she has fucking three phones, and I told her about Aliu Court because she has Discord. If you don't know, it's like a modded Discord because that she talked about how like it's really hard for her to go to separate accounts for her work, her personal VTuber, the other things she has to do. And I was like, wait, what about the LU cord I have? So you can at least have two Discord accounts on your phone. And she's like, I already use them on all of my phones. Yeah, I have, I have, it's been so helpful. I will say it has been really helpful for monitoring some of my work, mm -hmm. uh, Discord messages and things like that. But the before fact then, you, yeah, 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 before then, I would only have the work Discord on internet tabs. So yeah. the moment I was unplugged from the computer, I did not know anything was going on. Yeah. And it was becoming more and more of an issue because people would message me off the clock. Yeah. And I needed to attend to those messages. Yeah. But I didn't want to log out of my own personal yeah. Discord. So it's been really helpful. Yeah, for sure. Like back, like the fact that Discord hasn't brought the uh, Switch account thing from desktop to mobile has been a detriment to people like my work wife. My wife. I was gonna call you work wife. Work my wife. Wife Becco. This three sucks, is dude. next level. The 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 three phones is actually accidental. I only had two phones. I have I, I have two phones. Uh, by default, but I have I'm on a service plan with my brother and it's one of those where it's like eh, two lines you get one free So we've always had this third line that's like not been used and I've been trying to figure out how to use it for the IRL stream setup I've been literally trying to plug it in in every single way shape and form yeah. But nothing works 
And recently I tried to slot it into some other device that uses uh, cellular data, but it still didn't work. So I just slot it into my old phone, which used to be my default phone. But when I got an iPhone, they, they didn't give me a SIM card for it. It was a digital SIM card. So I had my other my default android phone and i just slotted the sim card into that i'm like screw it whatever i have three phone numbers now <laughs> yeah that go is so fucking oh my god that's really funny oh but seeing her like have two phones at a time looking left and right was insane i was like oh becco has so many hats dude i <laughs> this woman cannot catch a break she is getting her bread I hope I, I I need this woman to get a raise. Oh my god, you said like after the certain event you would get a raise. Is this after the certain event? It is after the certain event. It's fucking it other we are so back. How much did you yes. raise? Yes. The 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 certain event and, and I did get the message, I did get a raise. I don't remember yes. what I was paid before, but I did get the you will be given a raise pay uh, email. <laughs> So I'm excited about that. I'm just like, ooh, ooh this will go to camping funds. And my boss is like, oh, what do you still need to get? I'm just like, I still need to get a tent and stuff. And he's like, well, I can't give you a tent. I could always loan you a tent, but I have some other gears like cups and things that I can yeah. give you. I'm like, oh, yay. I just have to go down there. And and my, my boss's wife is like, oh, my God, your hair is getting so long. I'm like, yes, it is. And she's like, you need to come down so I can cut your hair. I'm like, yes. oh, yes. Yes! I want to see my wife in a pixie cut! Uh. My a billion, million percent raise? No, I'm pretty sure it's still like minuscule raise, but it's still a raise nonetheless. Yeah! I just need to, you know, it's it's whatever. It's still a raise taxes, ta that taxes take. I'm pretty sure it's a raise that tax just took. Yeah, oh, for sure. For sure. For yeah. sure. The calculation with taxes <laughs> and all that. Oh my god. Hold on. Something's happening to my internet. No, we're good. Okay. Um, I love getting raises. I also like getting uppies. That's what we're talking about, right? Get that money. Get that money. Drink water. If you're running <laughs> no, from okay. a bear oh, in the oh, woods oh, and oh, you don't want your hair to be stuck on a bread. <laughs> yeah my goodness my the the so my boss my boss is significant other right she's she's a hairdresser uh person and uh we talked a little bit about my hair i want to get tomboy twin tails uh but she she heavily really wants to put me in a pixie haircut she's just like you would look really gorgeous in a short pixie like really short hair pixie cut and i'm like i've never had my hair that short but yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I still want to have a the tomboy twin tails. I still want that haircut. I, want I don't know what will happen when I go. Yeah, I don't know what will happen when I go see her and she cuts my hair. Twills. <laughs> <laughs> But for sure you told me as well that like you're a little worried about visiting your boss's wife because your boss does live with their wife or sorry significant other oh and... yeah yeah my boss is just gonna talk to me about work the entire time you're not able to enjoy <laughs> some girl time they literally like uh my boss actually just called me so like before the stream or actually i called my boss because he i, I missed a call from him and i called him and he's just like He's so chill, right? After the big project is like ending soon. He's so chill right now. He's on vacation. He's he's in France right now. And he's just like, oh, how are things? I'm like, good. You know, a lot to still do. And he's just like, congratulations on the project. You did really well. Like, he he's he sounds so zooted. I, I don't know what. Uh -oh. He's just literally soaking in. He's not, though, right? He's not. But literally, like, just being on vacation, he sounds so relaxed. Aww. He's just like, congratulations. I'm like, thank you. Aww. And he's just like, um, yeah, there's, we, I'm sure there's a lot to still manage, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm like, yeah uh he's like i'm in france right now i'm like uh-huh i hear birds uh, a lot of birds quite a lot of birds and he's just like oh you want to facetime you will not believe the view that i'm seeing i'm like oh, okay so we facetimed and and like he was trying to show me but it's like a selfie with the background all blurred uh. and he's just like do you see this view i'm like i do see it i do <laughs> and it's like blurry like greenery stuff i'm like wow and he's like this place is like there's a castle here and there's just like 
just fields and fields. Yeah, this was like right before stream. Greenery. Yeah, it was just like right before stream. I'm like, wow, that's great. Uh. And then like the, the his significant other pops in. She's like, hi. I'm like, hello. And she's just like, uh, she's like, are you excited about going to to the UK? Yeah. I'm like, I am, I am. And she's just like, yeah, I can hear it in your voice. And. <laughs> I was telling her, I'm like, I was talking to some of my, my peeps overseas and they were telling me that to get the UK experience is to have a sausage at Greg's. And she's like, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, in Birmingham, uh, <laughs> it's all about the Indian food, is what they said. <coughs> and I'm just like, okay, so I need to now go look at Google Maps and try to figure out uh, Indian food. But it looks like it's definitely going, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a go. They're definitely going to send me, I think, is, is the consensus right now. Uh, but now I kind of want to ask if they could leave me there a couple days instead of just for the convention. I'm wondering if I could stay like one or two days past the convention just to like explore. Yeah. Especially since like how often do I get to be over there? Yeah. My fucking we'll god, Becca's to... gonna go to the UK, you guys. We'll have to figure that out. I'm gonna be it's Birmingham. Send her the money. Expo. If you guys are interested, if any of you guys overseas are interested and you want to get punched by an internet cat. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Literally, last year when uh, when Pudding was here, although Pudding was able, wasn't able to be here, let me tell you, this woman can probably do fucking jujitsu if she puts her heart to it. Oh my god, are you talking about me punching Pudding? Like, yeah, <laughs> she will punch you. She is she is such she's such a big dick Listen, waver, dude. I th I think it's a guy thing. I get really nervous, so like my only form of interaction is to like lightly punch you. Yeah, I, I get I get nervous. If I punch you, that's me being nervous. <laughs> Yeah, she gets so nervous, and then, oh my god, dude, she's insane. She's can't okay wait with for it. Rebecca to meet the nicest man in Birmingham. <laughs> That's such a threat. I'm gonna like punch him. Like, hello, punch. No, I'm also really scared to see the uh, UK customs because nothing like here in uh, America, uh, mm. or at least something different in, like in America, which is scary. I hope you're alive. I hope you'll be good. I, I, I hope, hope so everyone too. treats you really nicely. I hope they look at you and say, wow, that's an awesome cat girl. I'm going to give her my money. Chicken was telling me that there was like a, a unofficial curfew because things get shady on the streets at night after hours. And I'm just like, oh, 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 no. OK. Yeah. Becca's gonna kill Chicken. I well, Chicken's already established that he's 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 gonna fight back if I do anything to him. He will, and you will, you will fight. I'm so excited. Where the fuck is your PayPal? Becca learns she wants to stay in the UK forever and never come back. You never just sell like me, fucking did you? Chia. Will Chia still be in the UK when I visit, or is she coming back by then? Who knows. <laughs> It's in August. But Chia for sure was just like, erm, this place is actually pretty pog. I don't know if I want to come back. It's kind of pog. It's kind of okay. Oh, an ad advertisement. Break. Ad break. Ad break. All right, well, pause the discussion. Becca, what's your PayPal? <laughs> you want, you want, hold on. You have and my phone number, right? You have my phone no, number. No, no, no. I wanted your PayPal so I can put it in the link for Twitch. So we can be like, fun for Becca's fun time in UK. <coughs> Don't die. Don't die, baby. Also, I'm so sorry to say thank you to Max and Ma Mac Lanky and Mac Lanky for the bits and the subbies. Mac Lanky said Abby, personal space, and I took that as a challenge. What is Max saying? Can't believe Becca and Abby would say such a thing when non subs can't yeah, hear. What we were like we just making, talking about? We, nothing. That's a joke. Non subs wouldn't know. So literally, oh, I see. They're only able to see chat. So chat likes to mess with the non subscribers and they're just like, please subscribe so you can hear this exclusive conversation. Wait, pause. I gave you a recommendation on food. Give me a recommendation for food. Yeah, that's a ton of everything. We want to get Becca buttered up for fucking britain uk i i'll live like curiously through you becco if i wasn't a streamer i would be working 24 hours at my day job cafe 
No. Just to get there too. What? No, just to get there too. I oh. want to be there too with you because I know you're sponsored, but I'm not. And I don't want to be like, sponsor me too. Do it again. <laughs> this, is, this is why you get sponsored. I need to get sponsored. I still need to respond back to that one other convention that invited me, but I think I might pass on it. I might end up passing on it. Just so we can get the funds for like the UK trip, huh? No, no. The, the, the other convention that invited me as a guest... <gasps> uh, it's a smaller convention. It's not and... Yumacon again, right? No, no, it's not Yumacon again. It's it's the the Queen City one. Oh, I never heard um, about it. But like, I mean, I could try to negotiate being able to bring somebody. No, but I don't know. No. I don't know if I. No, I'm... no, no. I don't want to go by myself. Uh, but only do it like absolute. And if they said no, that's okay because I don't want to be the burden of like, oh, okay, we're already sending back coaches of the UK, and who God knows what the prices of that. This is one's not be. work related. It's not work related. The UK? This oh no, is... the other one. No, no, the the other one, the oh. one that Becco's been invited to. Oh. So that one is like literally based off of me negotiation. Oh, oh you're talking about it. That one. That one. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm I got the that UK one. mixed up. I haven't. I haven't responded back to them about inviting me. Yeah. Um. um that would be up to asked you. About prices and things like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. For me, it only depends on if it's school time or not. I think it's not school time if based oh. off of what she has said. Yeah. Then it'll also be based on uh, whether you want to go then. And we'll see. I do want to go, but I'm still I'm still kind of not feeling about going by myself is the thing, which I know I'm going to have to wean off of. I'm going to have to eventually be able to go to places by myself. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of those things where it's just like, it's like the same thing with me being adventurous, but I have to take chat with me because I yeah. don't want to go alone. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that that's yeah. a huge detriment to me, right? Always mm -hmm. wanting to be by my, be with somebody. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing for now, for sure. While you still have all of us around. Yeah. Before I die, you guys, you guys are gonna get too big and and be solo invited to places. Uh oh, she's angry at me. She hated hearing that. I'm not going places <laughs> until my life comes to me. <laughs> Guys, guys, I'm gonna become her manager. I'm gonna stop VTubing and Avi's just gonna be invited to places. She's she's gonna do panels. She's gonna become guest to all the conventions. <laughs> stop pouting. Stop, buddy! Didn't laugh! Why are well, you making me cry? You <coughs> me! You fucking wish you could get rid of me that easily! Oh my god! <laughs> Pond, thank you so much for looking at the song! The three non subs are back. Oh, yeah, the ads ended. <laughs> I have such an ugly laugh when I'm with you, Becca. I'm so nervous. Stop uh, being nervous. Uh, we slept together. What are you nervous we about? We did sleep. Okay, that doesn't count because it was a fucking king size bed. We were so far from each other. <laughs> that king size bed. That was funny. I like that. Even last year. Last year was a queen size bed. Last year was queen. This year was king, yeah, wasn't it? Year. This yeah. year was king. Last. Last year was king? Then we just no, looked this, really close. This, this, this year is king. Last year was queen. Yeah, I felt the difference, dude. Queen, I felt we felt so intimately next to each other. <laughs> and then Did king, we? it's like there's an island apart between I us. I could starfish and still not touch Avi. Yeah, I like to uh, feed his position. Mm -mm. So with your starfish, we weren't going to touch unless you, unless I like inched the closer. But I can see why families, uh, so I can see why uh, people divorce from king size bed. It feels so distant. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Unless you have a child in there. We should have put the frog in the middle. I should have brought my Avi body pillow. Oh my god! But for sure, for the other convention, I think you also said like you wanted to invite me. So, so if there's a chance, and I do want to invite you. I yeah. I made up uh like I had to make a media kit, but I never sent it to them. But I've made mm. up a media kit that like explains the panels I offer, and I put your your panel mm. suggestion in there because I was basically gonna base it off of whichever panel they wanted me to present is who I'll bring mm. and so like they picked your panel idea I'd be like hey Avi we need to make this panel presentation oh god is it the so one I, I wanted to do you. for Afkai yeah the one you wanted to do for Afkai <laughs> That's so funny I love that we'll talk about that one too for now we're still talking about day one Afkai oh yeah <laughs> steer us back into the right direction again
<laughs> oh, it's so nice that Jax came in here though to chat. That definitely steered us off into the wrong direction. Um, DM who you need a DM because you guys, it's insane. The one thing I learned being near Becco is the fact I just had to be like patiently waiting for Becco, like a dog, like a child. I had to be like, are you done? Are you done talking to the grown ups yet? Becco, 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 Becco. Just that, like that. But then I realized, like, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to need to sit down. Ask her occasionally, like, oh, yeah, what are you doing right now? And then if she says she's free, I'll respond. It was it was a learning experience for sure. I'm still here. Hi, Jax! You just had to make food. Have a good food. I'll take a king just for myself to laze around in. Oh, it's going to be one of those things. If you get a king-sized bed, you're sleeping with your laundry. <laughs> I know you're going to be fucking putting... Like, if you have it at home, a king-sized bed, you're lo you're sleeping with your laundry, dude. You, you, you unload your laundry and then you tell yourself, I'm going to unravel, I'm going to fold them nicely and put them in my closet, but then they're warm, so then it gets you in the sleepy mood. And then you forget about it for two weeks until the next laundry cycle. I'd, I'd take the college student standard size bed because I love my feet hanging off with the underbed monsters. You probably had a twin size. Actually, no, you're not American. Uh, laundry is just a makeshift body pillow. <laughs> Real and true. I can and will headlock at least one person I meet. So if we all go to Ofkai, invite Cowboy. Dude, he's fucking as tall as you, freak. I hope Cowboy can make next year. We're switching if gears. If Cowboy goes next year, I'm bringing canned bread. Yes, bring the canned bread. You have to. You legally have to. We'll make. We'll do an IRL stream and force them to eat it live. Yeah. Hold on. Let me disconnect my headphones. Um. Yeah. Um. Canned meal. bread. Canned he owes me bread. canned bread. Bring two. I've never bring had two. canned bread. Oh. <gasps> it sounds awesome. Oh my god. Jax, you're making my wife so happy. I love my two friends being in the same place <laughs> together and being so happy. I'm so happy I'm going to die. I'm like being... Why do you can of bread? I love when Listen, my friends love each other. Yeah? Or in socialize. In Japan, they have like canned cake, okay? You have canned cake. That's a thing. I'd try canned cake. I've never had canned bread myself. We might have to get like three cans of bread. Boy! Actually, you know what? I've already gifted cowboy all of these he cowboy should have like four cans of bread Br have cowboy bring all the bread yeah but i'll bring guy. one just in case cowboy chickens out and we can share this can of bread oh my god he's gonna look like get his can of bread and it's gonna be the one that's empty that he emptied out beforehand and he sealed himself to look like it wasn't touched he be like yeah, i ate mine and then the rest of us will have to eat it Abby, that's literally how I feel when everyone in group chats get along. It <laughs> makes me that one people emo kicking his feet in the chair. Yeah! So, so I'm glad you got to talk to Becca and Becca got to talk to Jax. So, I just sleep on my gun cabinet. Oh my god. Anyways, back to this conversation. Becca needs to text people from work, I'm sure. That's what you're doing right now, right? No. Oh. But I'm here, I'm here. I'm okay, here. okay, okay. So... Let me tell you, Becco, because I don't know if you saw it during the stream. IRL stream, we were gonna get the sweater. Guys, mm -hmm. it was so fucking funny. First of all, Omonu, Omonu, whoever was attending the uh, booth, helping them out, was so fucking chill, dude. They were the nicest, one of the nicest vendors to be there. I will be harassing Becco for the next week. Good. Um, <gasps> so nice to be there. Um fucking hell um uh, archie was with me helping out the booth and i was just like i'm going to make the purchase to get this magni sweater and so um she was like oh what size do you want and i was just like i would like mm, the medium i should have gotten a bigger size because it, this this is the medium and if i were to compare my body it went up to my knees but not enough to my knees i want it like halfway through my thighs this is the medium this is about how big this medium is. And I wish I got a bigger size. But it was really funny because when everyone was being... Like, this was being IRL streamed. You can go back to that part. What happened was... I This was my first credit card purchase. And you know what the funniest thing is? We were all like, yay, yay. I'm gonna get the Magni sweater. It was out of stock. And then they restocked. So this was a blessing from heaven that I was able to get it. And then Archie fucking whispered in my ear... Avi, your credit card declined. I was like, what do you mean? It could, huh? And then the vendor was clearly like, wait, no, never mind. It didn't decline. Haha, ha, that was really funny. And I was like, what the fuck? So 
So for the first transaction, we were given a mini heart attack, thinking that my car declined, but it didn't. It just loaded very slowly. And like, you know, it's a credit card. Uh, the first transaction was a little funny, but that was funny as shit, dude. Ha ha ha, funny joke, Arky. Now call, you call your bank now. <laughs> My heart sank when you heard that. You did hear it. That's funny because Archie whispered to my ears. Archie was so real for that. That was so embarrassing. What did you do with all your streamer money? <laughs> what did I do for all my streamer? It's still in the bank. Avi, love your content. Can I get a hi? I'll give you a hi. Hi, Helena. Um... But that was so fucking funny. That small instance of me having a heart attack, thinking my credit card got declined. But for the rest of the time there, it was amazing. Always keep cash on you. I can never go on a trip without without at least five hundred dollars on me in cash. So that nightmare never happens. That was my first lesson because actually a vendor I really wanted to buy out on. Their machine broke, so they only were able to take cash. Which made me very sad, because they had so much good shit. And I know not a lot of people carry cash, because everyone's stupid like me. Traveling with lots of cash has its own risk. Yeah, that is a good advice, Jax, but I will say... Hi, I'm Avi. The first time we landed in the airport, I lost my headphones, I lost my sweater, I lost my uh, hat. Luckily, I had two extra hats with me, so I can hide my bald spots. Just kidding. I don't have bald spots, but I do have a weird um, da daffle d dandruff in my hair at that weekend for some reason. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard the internet issues also played the vendors. Yeah, in some areas, it was very spotty. Uh, stop. No, you did not. Thank you, Honey Paws, for the gift of some again. I used mostly cash at the con, and I lost nothing. Glad, glad, dude. I am so glad to hear that. Can't confirm no bald spots that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I get mugged in an alley super easily. Yeah, for sure, drugs. But you do what you want. The dandruff helps you find your way home. <laughs> that is such a cursed that I hate that. So yeah, once again, shout out to Archie. Funny story. Archie actually did wanted to like. I asked him what was his budget. Unfortunately, he got into his new job. He was unemployed, for those of you who didn't know. Uh, sorry to air out Archie's dirty laundry, but he'll tell you this too. He was unemployed for a while, and it was actually recently he even told us in the Hive uh, Discord that he got a new job. So I was like, oh my god, see, so you got your new job of security. How is it? And he was like, my budget is below $300. And so I was like, no, you're not able to buy the stuff you wanted. And I actually was thinking of offering to do a little bit of a, ah, I'll put this on my credit card moment with Archie, but we didn't get to hang out enough for me to buy anything. But it was significantly lower than that. I just won't say the number out of uh, being nice because I'm such a nice person. Um, yeah, I'm so nice and awesome. So um, what was I going to say? The one thing he wanted to get was a Hazumi uh kazumi card trading card that she was handing out personally so i felt it was really funny how like um that was the only thing he wanted only thing that was in it that was free uh that we were hoping he could get out at the three days of the convention dan jumps is your body preventing starvation whenever you are hungry shake your head with your tongue out that's disgusting i hate you um yeah no what fair you get a pass on wait what happened well, what is what is what is he gonna pass on pause? Um, hold on. Um, bro, when the card declines, the cashier just needs to loudly announce that it's declined. I nicely say, I'm like, do you have an other form of payment? Uh, yeah, and it was only it's only until they're like, no, that thing should have money on them. That thing should absolutely have money in them. That I go, your card's declined, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> but that person was so nice. Uh, the vendor for sure. Um. $300? Absolutely <coughs> pennies. I'm putting that amount because uh, that's how much I spent last year, but it was significantly lower than $300, but I don't want to say it out of embarrassment. Wear the biggest coat and tallest platforms to not get bugged. <laughs> I'm just so muggable because of my height, dude. I just scream out and say, wow, look at this broke bitch. Can't afford nothing. Oh, for sure. The classy way to go about it, Jax, of course. Um... But yeah, for sure, Chuck, uh, sorry, not Chuck's. Uh, Archie was such a huge help. There was also another thing, um... Ali, you have Nya? And Rarities? But not Ra? How do you do Ra? Ra? 
that's kind of like raw uh but thank you for asking also i love that uh btt email very cute um just go out of the intercom to announce the whole beauty um ladies and gentlemen sorry to interrupt we have broke this at aisle five i repeat a broke ass bitch in aisle five yeah i totally would <laughs> Becca so busy being in work mode right now so her irl stream setup the fact that i wish like one day we'll do an irl setup and she will be there with me <laughs> Point yeah i want to do irl with you me uh, too i want to take you to the event i think if i get invited to yomacon this year i definitely want to bring you true uh, swap out so you get to experience the whole irl stream setup take me to detroit become human become human i love that you finished that i love that you finished that abby can we switch the picture already wait 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 you guys are sick and tired of the merch no i'm not done with the story yet <laughs> so my car didn't get declined and i was like i think this thing was 70 dollars and i actually had a budget quote unquote sorry uh keyword had a budget <laughs> abby grabby hey make her it forever wait are you guys redeeming it shit did i not see it no, no one's doing good. Oh, uh, the god. Trumpet guy's back. Uh, Magni, she will be shorter than how long she had this merch on. Dude! <laughs> I'm gonna shame about as much as Magni did his entire career. Meow. 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 Had. Yeah, I had a budget, but then I realized halfway. Wait a minute, I have a credit card. <laughs> uh, I mean, can you change that picture to just a large pic of a bug girl? I ask this for reasons. I know what your fucking reasons are, you. <laughs> You. Meow. Meow. McClanky Marks just cheered 100 bits. Please end this. This story is more painful than death. Oh my god, thank you for the 100 big smack, Lanky. You fucking hate me. I will never have a credit card. Too much power. Uh, if I can't buy it, I don't need it. Uh, funny story. Uh, I know how to use credit cards. When I was 18, I researched as much as I could about finances because I'm poor as fuck, dude. I'm from a poor background. I need to be educated. Um, so I usually use this credit card for rent. Sorry, breathe in my nose check. I got sick during the weekends. No, she didn't. Yeah, I yeah no yeah. Um. Anyways, so it was really funny. Magni sweater. I got it. Medium was the perfect size for me. However, Archie was the one that looked at me and was like, Back, uh, Avi, you should get that sling bag right there. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I want the sling bag. I already am spending my daily budget of $80 on one thing. And then the vendor next to me was like, yeah, you should totally get the sling bag as well. Which I always think is so fucking funny when like two people at conventions, attendees are getting convinced by the other and then the vendor joins in. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. They're like, yeah, you should totally buy it for no other reasons. I have uh, ulterior motives too. And it was so cute. I love it. I love the vendor. I don't know whether that was actually Omomu, but it was so funny. Oh, I remember that moment. Okay, good. It was strange, but it was so funny. I was the person that got the best grade in my iconic class. Let's fucking go, Kaiten. That's gas. I love them for that. Yes, I also need to introduce you to Archie Jacks whenever uh, you get to see them, just for my friends just to mingle with each other. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just thinking right now. Um, but I said no. I said, and I put my foot down to say, no, I will not buy the slouch today. I already bought my one item for today. Maybe tomorrow, uh, depending on whether I go crazy in the artist alley hall. This was before I knew which, uh, which standee was going to switch out or not. So if I knew that the one person I wanted to get stuff from was going to leave, I would have bought another thing. Sure, I'm down. Yay, you get to meet all my homies. I'm so happy. You're going to meet so many homies when you get to off guy. I swear to God, if they're there next year um yeah growing up with a limited budget will teach you a lot yeah exactly um so so i was like okay. yeah oh sorry I'm, I'm 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 back in i'm back in i just had to write a quick message yeah no work. worries this is my irl talk we're still on uh magni desmond <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, just, I, that, that basically at this point i got super busy at the booth so i couldn't monitor her stream as much yeah uh, and my uh, battery was dying so this is all her yeah, and I think it was really funny because the same time that like everything got busy, we're, Becca mentioned to Archie that she wanted him to get one Pippa sweater for her. One Pippa sweater. 
um, that a booth was sending and we didn't know which one because there was a lot of face connect merch but um, it was a little bit busy so it's harder to walk around and see like which sweater person it is um, I still love that one part where you said a blanket should cost more than the tip option should and, and then the tip option should have been oh my god I need to tell you that thing. That was so fucking funny. But we'll get to that yeah. soon. I didn't get to that uh, part. Oh. Um, all right. Pekko in work mode. Yeah, so Pekko was in work mode. We were like, okay, Pekko. We need to message her to see whether she was going to have a sweater. Pekko actually messaged us something. But I don't remember what it was uh, in the there chat. There are a couple things. I forgot to mention. Uh, so, like, right at the beginning, when you guys left for the IRL stream, you literally left for, like, 10 minutes. The Bella box turned into offline mode because of service, and her first instinct was to slam on every single button imaginable for the setup yeah. and and break the stream. Yeah. And so I had to ask the guy that was helping me to manage the booth because I had to go find them to fix the IRL stream setup. Yeah. And it literally consisted of me having to reboot everything twice. Yeah. Because something like something was having a mad freak out attack from everything she was pressing because yeah. like I, I saw the notification uh, uh while i was at my booth and i'm like oh no i hope she realizes i hope she doesn't panic and just kind of waits and sees and then i see her change the scenes to the loading screen i'm like oh no she's pressing buttons she doesn't need to press buttons. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, like, it just stays there. And it's like having a panic attack. I'm like, I gotta go find Avi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is before we went to Artist Sally, and I was still, like, freaking yeah. out over breaking everything. And I did break everything. Also, welcome, Harp. Thank you so much for coming in. Unga Boonga. May God to God wish you as well. Um, we stay failing. Yeah, no, it was also me pressing. It wasn't me pressing buttons, but I was telling Archie, press this button, press this button. And then Archie was like, <laughs> so you're blaming Archie. It was no, Archie no, pressing I wasn't the button. Archie, I was just saying, if I, my gloves were off, I would have uh -huh. ruined it <laughs> even further. I had my uh, screen toucher inhibitors on. I would have ruined it even worse. But Archie was so kind to follow my instructions and to try to at least try to comprehend what the buttons said. I forgot what the buttons did. So I was uh -huh. like, press, press this oh. thing, I think, or this thing. So it was my fault. And I guided Archie to our, like, <laughs> our demise. <laughs> So, so it was a, a joint effort is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, it was a joint effort. It was a joint effort. Joint so effort. I had to go in uh, yeah. and figure out all of, I had to like re-log into certain things. For some reason, they had logged out of some accounts. I, I, I don't know if that was a timeout or whatever. I made sure to like log in everything when I sent them out. And then when I went and found them, for some reason, they were logged out of everything. The funniest thing was seeing the message. Well, like, as we refreshed like five times in a row, seeing Becco say, you don't have to refresh that many times. You shouldn't have to refresh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was like, just like, oh, that that's an internet issue. That's not a Bella Blocks issue. They don't uh... need to refresh. And they were like spamming the free fresh button over and over again. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> that was so funny, dude. Becca, remember when we told you that you're too trustful? Plus one to that. No! No! Becca! Becca didn't know! We had no way to teach us about the software without going live and she was busy at the vendor. No! I was just like, oh no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Poor it's okay. They, they they gotta figure it out though. Yeah, Becca really did come in clutch helping us in. We saw the face connecting line in the meantime, we were just like, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry sorry for anybody that was watching the IRL stream and they were on the loading screen for like yeah. however long. I I'm apologize. like doing I'm doing all the tech setup, right? And I don't have an earbud and all I could like I'm trying to do all this tech setup and all I hear is like Avi and Archie laughing and giggling every so often because chat's making them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad. I would have showed you the pit boy. We're like, you could have lit lit load. <laughs> seen the pit bull while you were doing this but the chat was for sure dragging me to the ground <laughs> <laughs> loading screen chat IRL was hot training yeah i did forget my training but now we'll be better right we'll be better for next now, time for the camping now we'll be better next time well when we're camping i'll be the one managing the irl stream yeah. so i don't think there'll be any problem <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to chat with the others. It really was. Um, I'm glad you guys all huddled together. 
Um, yeah, for sure. And then you had to go back to your booth, and that's when we got the sweater afterwards. And then mm. this is the part I don't remember anything at all. But funny enough, um, when we were in the part where there was absolutely no internet, where the Bella Bock forced everyone into like a, a which sections of the convention did the internet usually drop out at? Because I can see I can see some areas of the vendor hall because everybody needs to do the like credit card and like the the transactional mm -hmm. stuff. I can see internet dropping in there, but what were the other areas that were dead zones where Rift Raft had their day three setup? Rift Raft. Sorry, Rift card, the Rift trading card thing. Like oh, that, right yeah. there? So like That's there, that door? That's interesting, weird dead zone. Yeah, so that is a dead zone for some reason. So basically, when we were in front of that, Rift, Rift wasn't set up yet. Rift um, runners. Rift runners, sorry, not Rift draft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Rift was when draft. we left it to that area that yet Rift Rush. Shut up! Don't call me out! Oh my god! <laughs> I got... Void Wave right there is the uh, CEO for Rift Runners. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, oops. Uh, I muted myself. I said, yeah, I clicked this username and peed my pants a little bit. Yeah, I did just mute myself. I apologize <laughs> when I realized who Void Wave is. To he, um, yeah, I'm still not, I'm not scared enough to nerd, nerd you. <laughs> So every time, so it seems like the vendor hall was was pretty stable. It was just whenever you were transactioning between halls, it seems, sounds like. Yeah, is what I'm hearing. Uh, because that was actually when, like, when Archie and I were walking in, a cute girl like looked oh. at me and was like, "Oh my god, are you streaming right now?" And I was like, "Oh my god, yes, actually!" And I was like, "This is perfect. This is time someone approached me, and I get to ask talk about Becco. I'm going to talk about Becco." So my friend. Actually in the booth right now. I can't tell you right now because of privacy reason because I didn't know whether the stream was recording or not. I was like, so she's actually the one who set itself up. She's like, how did it work? And I was like, so there's an internet modem and there's also this thing Holy she has to and I was able to it. <laughs> yeah, I sped ran her the entire course and I was like, would you like a sticker? I was like, I have a sticker. Archie, give me the sticker. Here, look, there's a sticker. So Archie handed out the sticker because I was still talking to her. First of all, I was like, oh my god, cute girl approached be, me. Nobody can understand with how fast you're talking. I didn't go that fast, but I was definitely going at a fast speed. And she did ask follow-up questions, so I, I think she understood me. And we gave her the Becco sticker. Uh, okay, Curse the Cowardly Dog. That way! Pick away real sheep! And uh, in all of this, I want you guys to pay attention to the fact that she started the the, the adjective as a cute girl. She met a cute girl. <laughs> I call all girls cute girls. Uh... I'm joking. <laughs> I swear. It made me sweat. Oh. The clanky marks just Thank you for the 25 bits, my clanky marks. Sorry, I freaked out there. I, went giga simp mode for the girl and I did because I was like, I got a cute girl <laughs> to talk about my wife. And like, I was genuinely excited that someone asked about it. And I, I for sure made sure, like, I'm not taking the credit for it at all. I'm the person walking around for it. But for sure, talk to the person that set up this mark. She finally added me on Discord, by the way. Um, oh. today, uh, I just got the notification uh -huh. for it, and I was like, I need to get you to meet up with her, because she, Becco is the coolest person ever, and she was actually impressed with it, and then she also had two friends with her, they were looking for someone, um, they turned around, and Archie and I got to talking, and these guys were theater kids, they made a joke, they bounced off of each other, and then they keep making jokes on top of each other, on top of each other, it just didn't stop. Um, utter memers, and I think you told me that you you had uh, the, none of this was shown to chat, like none of this no, was streamed. None of that was able to go to chat because it was a dead zone. But if they were able to watch that entire thing, it was such an adventure, and I'm so sad none of that got recorded on stream. <laughs> and even worse, the funny part is we genuinely did try to say like, oh, so what did you do? What are you? Well, uh, he he tried his best to be like. Oh, Oh, so we're people that have been doing trying to do some animations for indie VTubers, but then every single time there was.
was a bit someone else did and they would join that bit because they're all really good friends so it fucking took us like at least 10 minutes of just jokes and jokes and jokes, and jokes. oh let me try to explain to you this thing as i was saying another joke another joke okay back to the topic for real this time another joke and it was so funny and there was three people in there it was, they were the funniest people at the convention matching each other's energy it was insane but and and i got their business card unfortunately it was the only business card in the three days that i lost that i i was so upset at because i genuinely wanted to reach out to these people like friend wise talking about becco setup wise because they were interested in it and like business wise as well because they offered animation stuff and they did um animation for vici bond for uh something oh. yeah um, they did something for them, a freelance thing, and Archie actually did remember it like yesterday because it just came back from his subconscious. But for those three days, I was just like, no, I need to meet up with these lovely individuals again. Uh, you would have loved them, Becco, but they were for sure exhausting. It was so funny how many times we try to leave. Like they, like, they try to be like, okay, we're looking for someone. See ya. But then a joke would happen and we had to stay with them. Oh wait, they work with Vigibon? Do you know which animation? Actually, right now, I will be able to um, show you guys who they are. Copy, text, paste. Uh, in the meantime, those mods, can I pin this message in the... Uh, hold on, actually, no, let me do it. Let me, hold on. Give, 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 give money to wife Becco. She is what the, the reason I am, I, I was at uh get her get her get her get her to the uk and give her fun money you no one has to do it of course that's not that's Pin that. i need apparently i need money to buy the sausage that chicken adverts that i need to i cannot leave the uk oh chicken my adverts God. i'm not allowed to leave the uk until i have eaten a sausage from greg's if yeah. there's any other UK people that would like to tell me the things that I need to do that I absolutely need, I cannot leave the UK without doing, please let me know. Holy shit. I accidentally sent a message at Chia's chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give Becco money for the UK. She has to go there. Fun for it. I love my wife. She's great. I owe everything from the last week to her. How? I had Chia stream up in my OBS and I just forgot. I can ask Rose. I know which one it is, thank goodness. Uh, because uh, Archie did remember. And here they are. I'm gonna go see. Hold on, hold on. He was like, oh my god, it was the adventure noises. What did I do? Oh, Let no. me go up, hold them up their Twitter too. Gotta tell Chia to bad you for that. Erm, you're self promoting in Chia's uh, fucking hiatus ass. Um, did twitch i even saw the bot that said she was on hiatus so i was like oh oh I'm i do not have a paypal i don't know how to give the paypal me link for the business paypal though oh because it's gonna be like becco and business yeah business. Oh. So, so it goes to the business paypal account uh which i keep separate from like fun money or fun money the the coffee i it goes to my personal though I believe. Oh, okay. So Kofi is personal. So I did give the Kofi one. Man, I yeah. respected Beckel. No, you say that, but but she's gonna be near the vicinity of Spud and Roko and her friends as well. You you say that, Jake? Now, but don't lie. You want to go to the UK too to meet up those awesome homies. <laughs> I want to be British. I mean, in Britain. Sorry, I read his message. He wants to turn British. I don't want to turn British, I didn't, please. I didn't say I wanted to turn British. <laughs> I just happened to be going over there. Listen, I have a passport. I want to use it. Yeah. I always... It was either... The options were either go to Canada or go to the UK. Uh, I've been to Canada. I've never I'm been to the UK. <laughs> just kidding. The UK for sure is super going to be super fun. Uh, what was going to do? Twitter. Um... If you guys want to Google, I can't pull up Twitter because for some reason my browser signed me out of everything again. Uh, adventure noises. 
Uh, Jax, if you want to go on Twitter and post the link here, or if the bot gets mad at you for posting a link, send it to my DMs. <coughs> but for sure, these are the guys that were super fucking cool. Uh, the girl that was interested in the setup. I don't know if all of them were in that group or if it was just the guy. There was a guy that was just like in a suit, like a full body colored suit, like, you know, pink guy. What do you call those suits? The zoot suit? Zoot suit, yeah. That guy was in a zoot suit. The guy, the other guy was like just himself and the girl was so cute. And I don't know whether they're, morph suits, thank you. Thank you, morph suits. Yeah, yeah, Adventure Delicious, it was those guys. Uh, we met up with them and they were really nice to us. And I hope that uh, we can do business with them and I can talk to them and ask them about the con. I need to DM them after she for sure. But for sure, one of the moments that I wish was uh, <laughs> morph suits, Morbius, yeah. For sure, I just wish that moment was recorded because it was pretty epic meeting those guys. Alright, I'm done talking. I'm gonna look for another photo to pull up for Ofkai. <laughs> and... Was that the end of your IRL streaming adventure? Yeah, I don't remember literally anything else um, from it. There was one moment, but I'm sure the VTuber I met up with uh, wants to keep their privacy. I told you about it, but I don't know if, like... I I'll say that, sorry, for as a personal one, Becco. The one the no, one Archie no. met. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could still tell it, just not drop names and just say there was this entity and yeah. then the entity had a crowd and all this other stuff. Oh my goodness. You're right. I don't, it's because I don't remember if I actually like IRL streamed during that time or not. Um, Hopefully I not. I don't think. I think we took off our setup. Nah. It might be. Maybe. Nah, they didn't do you now. I'm too lazy for that story now. What's this <coughs> video? We're waiting. I'm waiting for the next part where I'm actually present. I'm waiting for the part where I'm actually present. Naya, nah, thank you for gifting us off to auto. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Hold on, let me adjust myself up. Oh. She needs a My booster ass seat. hurts. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I think that's all the memories I had from the IRL stream. I had a bunch of fun. Oh, no, 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 no. One more, one more, one more setup. One more, one more joke. Um, We were in the second floor in the HE. Uh, no, on the left, right side. So not at the HM exactly. But the... Thank you for the get the sub, Nuru. I can't wait for to see the storyboard for real. Okay, so right side. Um, Archie was like, okay, I'm going to give you the microphone. I'm going to talk to a personal friend. I don't want that conversation recorded, obviously. So I um, um so I went to the, uh, what do you call it, Becco? The curve, like where you can see everyone, the edge, the ledge. Yeah, yeah. It was really funny. I don't know if you were there to see it. So I was like, for the rest of it, I was pretty nervous. Uh, no, I was pretty okay with talking to the IRL shut up because um, Archie was there. And, uh, you know, it looked like I was talking to him. So that was the first time that entire setup since the beginning that I was like alone. So I turned around to avoid recording Archie and their friend. And I was like, okay, chat. So I have this microphone right here. I put it on the ledge along with my bottle full of oh water. <laughs> and I was like, so chat, I need to ask you guys a question. And then I just see fucking chat spamming. Don't jump on me. You have so much to live for. Don't toss the uh, the microphone on me. What the fuck? Toss the microphone on me. Drop the water bottle. <laughs> see where it lands. Do it on me. Whatever it is, do it. I was like, what? No, that's not the question. Wait, guys, shut up. Shut up, guys. Because the, the TTS kept going on my ear and it was distracting. I was like, wait, yeah. shut up. guys, shut up. Too much stop. stimulation People for her. Like, yeah, and it was incredibly funny, too. So it was like literally on the outside. It looked like a mad person be like, no, stop, guys, guys, shut up. And no one was talking to me. <laughs> oh, I must have looked crazy because I even like jumped because I like, guys, shut up. <laughs> oh, that was like a funny part. I was like, no, guys, shut up. Let me tell you guys a question. I was just going to ask you how to talk to girls because that was when I was still super nervous at the con mm -hmm. and I passed mm -hmm. by so many people I wish I said hello to and that was around the time like I think the marine sh camera showed up and everyone was like Moeen! Moeen cosplayer! and I, like okay after that moment I turned regular because Archie was done everyone saw a glimpse of a marine cosplayer and everyone was like holy shit now's your chance to talk to women something like that order 
And um, I was just like, actually, guys, that Maureen cosplayer I talked to, and she said I was cute. And I was like, just kidding, guys, that was a lie. Uh, <laughs> that was the end of the story. Um, <laughs> that's the end of that last uh, bit of the story. But it was really funny having an alone time and Chad instantly being super funny. And I must have looked crazy to everyone that didn't know I was IRL streaming. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> usually how it goes when you're doing IRL streaming. Yeah. I was so... And nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. And I must have looked psycho. And I was loud Latina. And I was hopping, too. Because that's how I resort, like, let go of the energy in my brain. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that, we went to see you. Because um, we were just tired. That IRL stream setup tired us out. Yeah, Chad was harping on me for complaining about 10 pounds being heavy to yeah. carry for like eight hours plus. And they were like, you need to just work out. And I was like, listen, mm -mm. I'll give that setup to Avi. She'll say the same thing that after like eight plus hours, you didn't even have it for eight plus hours. You had it for like, what, three, five hours? Three hours, three to five three hours. hours. Yeah, she only did it for like three hours and she, she said it hurt. It did hurt, and it was really like like once you let go of that in my back, my left shoulder was aching the entire time. I held things that were five pounds. I had little baby siblings. I know your pain, Beckle, because I've been asked before to hold the baby, and then I never get a chance to give it back to them for a good while, and even then it gets so tiring. Oh my god, Beckle. And it was sad because of the potential fact that Beckle had a lighter setup, and it just didn't arrive on time. <laughs> Yeah, a Latina yelling in public? Normal. <laughs> Real, dude. Gotta respect the IRL streamer hustle. Yeah, so I better not see any bitches saying that Becco is built weak, okay? I am the most <gasps> muscle mama ever. What? Sorry, sorry. I was just reading a work email. And, and I just, I didn't realize that my boss knew I did this with the project. And I'm just reading his message. And he's like, he's included the inside meme that I included in the project. Wait, what do you mean? Sorry. Uh, he's talking about something that I did in, in the project. <gasps> and I just think it's hilarious Aww, that he included it. That's so funny. Your boss is an interesting one. I love that. Pause and nod to me. Wait. Uh, uh, you gave it to Abby. That girl lives off of tips and gummy worms. What did you expect? Oh my god, Becca, they still don't believe that it's heavy. It is. It feels heavy after a while. Because the second person you gave it to is the person that has a terrible diet and doesn't hasn't worked out in a while. <laughs> That's so funny. No, you guys wouldn't understand. You guys just had to be there, I guess. To you. Um, I love hearing the completing. Reminds me how I carried carry an 80 pounds on my back for over three and a half hours. It's, it's, you know what? Thank you. Thank you guys. I hate you guys. How dare you insult my wife and me. Also, pause. Thank you so much for the gift of subs. Hi, Calby. We were talking about our experience at Offkai. Calby, if you ever have the chance, do you think you'd ever want to go to V Expo to see VTuber? Actually, do you have any VTuber friends that could justify going to V Expo, which is a UK um, VTuber con? Or are you just going to be like, eh, that's okay. Which I <coughs> totally get, because I know you're, you're a fleshy. Uh, I don't know if Ooh, you know that what? many VTubers. Kelby? Oh. Hi, Kelby. Just... I'm going over to the UK. Are you going to V Expo? Do you like uh uk vtubers you have a convention over in your area yeah birmingham uh if she you got invited. if you yeah if i'm if i meet kelby at v expo i'm gonna punch him please no don't punch him he's super fragile he will break and shatter in the spleen in the spleen no, nice you guys don't kelby. need your spleen right be nice to kelby kelby's such a nice person kelby's probably the nicest person the only, the only, sorry, the nicest <laughs> British person. The only the other only UK only person UK in all the community. In community is present. <laughs> Rejoice. <laughs> oh my god, Kelby Chicken Castleberry. No, just kidding. Um, you can punch a child. I get permission. Blame the government if someone complains. No, don't no, punch a child. Kelby's really nice, honestly. He was super, like, super sweet. You go in his stream, he's like, howdy. How did you, how was the doodling? How was the doodling, everyone? It's okay. It's in August, I think six or seven or somewhere around the first, second week. 
when first is, week sounds about right yeah first weekend uh nicer than chicken chicken is super nice but he has a hard outer shell because he's british <laughs> also because he thinks being what is that mean supposed to mean funny. does kelby have a hard outer shell because they're british no kelby somehow is the nicest british person i've ever seen because his chat is so horrendously down nicer bad for than him. the v expo representative uh, I would say just about this. Oh my god, the VX4 representative was so nice, dude. We need to talk Ob about the mixer. Avi Ob Ob wanted to draw this man. His facial structure was so nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. I was waiting for the mixer. I was waiting for the mixer part. All right, so we ended the IRL stream, <laughs> and I think we needed to get ready for the mixer. We had to get ready. I was just like, hi, guys. We have to close up the booth at this time because I need to go to this uh, industry mixer thing. Uh, we were only given two two passes for it, right? So obviously I needed to go. And the other one, I asked I asked the other guy that was helping me at the booth. I'm like, do you need to go? Do you feel the need to go to this industry mixer? If not, I have somebody that would like to go. So I allotted the industry mixer pass to Avi. Which, for those of you guys that don't know, going backwards a little bit in the story, we arrived at Ofkai on Friday, first thing in the morning, and Avi looks at me and she's like, I forgot my pass. Can I use one of the spare badges that you have? And I looked at her and I'm like, well, I could give you one of the spare badges. However, the industry mixers tonight and I registered it specifically to your badge. So that won't really fix anything. And you still need to get your badge. I'm like, you still need to get your badge because you your your badge is the one that's registered to the industry mixer she almost couldn't go to the industry mixer because she forgot her badge at the hotel yeah i was silly and the funny <laughs> thing is how you saw my badge and there you was like she probably won't forget it right and i, I did too, like, leaving it there <laughs> I remember like leaving it in that table being like I'm gonna remember it because it'll be the first thing I see when I wake up forgot about it ran out the door I, I I remember like as she was getting ready that morning, I was like I was already ready, strapped. I even was carrying the IRL set setup and everything. I was ready to go, watching Avi get ready for the day. And I looked at her badge next to the TV, and I looked at that. I'm like, she better not forget that. But I, I I was gonna remind her, but I didn't know when she would be done. And I was looking at the badge, and then uh she had said something to distract me. And I went over to go, like, get stuff and get ready, like, finish up getting ready. And I, so I left. And then she left. And we both left. And I forgot to remind her about the badge. Uh, yeah. And before I and knew I it, we my were badge. at the so convention. I was not to remember the badge. It was on me. <laughs> so I felt super bad that, like, we came all the way to the convention. And then I forgot it. Because, like, we were kind of depressed that we had to order lifts around. So we were yeah, already kind we of, tried like, to angry. Do yeah, yeah, we tried to do... So what happened was, the reason why we ended up rushing, and probably why I forgot to remind, we ended up rushing because I had everybody's badge, uh, except for Avi's. I had everybody's badge, and the person that was helping me was at the event, and they were like, where do I pick up badges? And I'm like, I need to give it to you. Yeah, And yeah. so, like, we had tried to do the bus system but the bus like never showed up uh, <sighs> but like we were trying to race to the bus because it was uh, going to be there at yeah, a certain yeah. time or something and that never happened so we ended up taking a lift and by the time we arrived and I was talking about the badges and I told Avi that like I Did had two badges for myself I had two badges for myself. Oh, I was yeah. wearing both of them. And she was just like, Irma, Irma, I forgot my badge. Ooh, can I use one of the spare badges? And I glanced at her and I'm she like, She glared at me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like, That's a short term fix. I'm like, I could give it to you, but you'd still need to go back because the industry pass is registered to your badge specifically. Yeah, and I was like, so, oh, I don't want yeah. to buy a lift because it's $20 per coming back and forth. And so that fact that I had to pay a lift to take me to the hotel and then come back here, uh, same transaction, one transaction, I knew how to do like pit stops and all that, uh, it costed around like $40. I was like, oh, yeah. uh, $40 could have been prevented if I just strapped, the if I slept with the off-kite badge in my sleep. <laughs> 
I mean, you could have not gone to the industry mixer. That would have been another outcome. She could have not gone, guys. She almost didn't go to the industry mixer because she left her badge. But I did went back for my badge, and I did go to the mixer, and we could talk about the mixer now. If only you had the Magni Fatty Pack. Yeah, funny. I know, we right? Go on fate works, huh? Because the only bag I had that I brought with me, besides my sling bag, was a coffee bean bag because I had it at the airport. And it was quickly dissipating because of the sweat in my hand. <coughs> if you had gotten that on day one, all of your stickers would have been in that bag. Yeah, I really would. It have really to deal with that coffee bag. Yeah. Funny um, how life works. But yeah, we went to this industry mixer. They were getting ready and it was super nice, right? When I tell you how nice this was, like I've been to a couple of mixers. But this industry mixer literally was like, uh, how do you say? Like a, like... It literally was like a club of who's who kind of party um, with gifts and, and raffle events and things like that. Uh, we, we, we will gloss over things very lightly just because it was it's like it is like a very exclusive event. Yeah. So like there's absolutely no pictures for this. Pictures were not allowed at this event. Um and so we probably I don't know how many I don't know if we're saying names or anything nah but, but, but we knew yeah. a lot of recognizable faces Brie actually yeah. was the one I first saw but she no you saw... didn't you huh? didn't see Brie you were freaking out about someone else I saw Brie first yeah you did you did. you're right yeah 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 because I was I thought you were reacting to Brie you were reacting to somebody else I was just else. like, I was just like back up, back up, yeah that's that's, that's but... and I didn't say a name and because of that she's like oh that's the person and I was like yeah that's the person but we had two different <laughs> people in mind that we saw because this is an industry mixer this is hers like she's been a mixer many times this is my first one industry that's a huge name to put in before mixer oh <laughs> not a regular mixer industry mixer i will say though both her and i like in terms of industry mixer i've been to a couple of mixers this is my first time being to an industry mixer by myself usually it would be like with somebody else that was doing all the talk work talking yeah. and networking like i can do the networking but like uh you gotta be attached to a person usually I'm attached to somebody yeah yeah so this is the first time I was by myself and uh I was a little bit nervous uh right right from the get-go because uh my first pri priority was getting food it, it, once again yes. was our first meal Friday. of the day yeah we immediately lined up to grab some food everybody else was like already they already grabbed food everybody else was already seated at certain tables and things like that and like uh, I was half worried that usually when I go to like mixers and parties, I focus too much on eating that I don't talk to anybody. So I was just like, I need to make sure I don't do that this time. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, I need to make for sure the free drinks. We yeah. had one free drink voucher. We had a free drink voucher as well. So there was alcoholic beverages and things like that. And it was just like. Uh, I got a bunch of food. I tried to scarf it down as quickly as possible, but I was just as nervous as Avi because uh, from the get go, you could see that there was it was it was like everybody knew who's who sort of kind of event. And um, every everybody knew everybody knew each other except for like us it felt like yeah um, really did they huddled immediately they huddled immediately there were immediate groups that formed and so like for my very first try to shake off the 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 nervousness i kind of awkwardly uh stood next to kevin from face connect yeah. uh just to kind of like get some sort of low-key introduction to just start me off a little yeah. bit uh, so I stood next to Kevin. It was it was an awkward standing next to a group of other people having a conversation and just standing there uh, until Kevin eventually was just like, so how are you liking it? I'm like, everybody seems to know everybody already. And he's just like, yeah, uh, we kind of do. We kinda, oh, <laughs> he was just like, yeah, we kind of do. We, we know everybody already of who's here. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Nervous. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And and they introduced me to some other um, uh, to some other the Afkai staff. So that that's who Kevin was talking to was more Afkai staff. So I talked a little bit to them, and that kind of like gave me the okay courage. Like okay, okay, we got we got this. We Gucci yeah. uh, went but back to our table with Avi. Uh, she had to go back, so she had to actually leave the event because she forgot her stickers. Yeah, um, yeah. So she was gone for a little bit, and I was kind of trying to figure out who was at our table 
and I, I, we, we sat with a bunch of VTubers and I'm just like, hi. And even though, so I did this thing where like, even though I knew who I was sitting next to, because I looked at the badge and I kind of read the tag, I kind of pretended not to know because yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I wasn't sure how to, to go about that, how to skirt about that. Um, so the easiest thing for me to start conversation with a lot of the people there was, Hi, what are you drinking? <laughs> Hi, what are you drinking? So that was like the easiest segue for me to be like, oh my God, what are you drinking? I'm still deciding on what to drink. And then mm -hmm. and then just go from there and be able to talk about like, oh, what do you do? Who are you? Yada, yada, yada. And then like um, I wish talk I took a, a little bit and, and like showed them. Yeah, I wish I knew. I wish I took a picture of the menu. Yeah, but, me too. Pictures were technically kind of not allowed in yeah. that area. Yeah, yeah. So... <clears throat> it was good to not have a phone taken out basically good courtesy yeah yeah definitely good uh, especially in a mixer where everyone was talking to each other having a phone out was like death sentence <laughs> it yeah. felt like yeah but for sure just you you talking about uh, drinks and all that yeah yeah so i started off just asking everybody what their drinks were um and then talking about like what things they did and getting introductions and avi got to meet like a fair bit of vtubers her oshis and things like that and i will say guys you guys don't realize how much of a micro celebrity avi is right she is such a micro celebrity like every vtuber that we spoke to once they saw either her name or her sticker they were just like oh i know you i've seen you they're like oh my god i love your design i know you i've seen you i love your design like over and over throughout the entire night every single vtuber there was not a vtuber that didn't know who she was guys she's such a micro celebrity here okay who's obvious <laughs> Oh my god. Can I get her autograph the V? Yeah, yeah. I was so like, like, yeah. It was really funny because I was intensely nervous. Because some people, I felt so bad. I'm like, I wish I knew who you were because I want to give you the same courtesy. There's one person I did that to. I was like, I know who you are and I know who you are. For sure. One person I like, I didn't expect to be there, um, but she was there. And that was awesome. Um, but for sure, I was nervous, deadly nervous. So people were saying I was so nice. They knew me. I was like, thank you. Thank you. I could cry. Um, I had the nerves. So, and everyone, some people, already had a couple drinks so it's really funny how friendly some people i couldn't tell whether it was because of the alcohol or if they were just like that um liquid courage yeah there's gonna be an advertisement starting in 20 seconds soon becca so there's gonna be three minute okay. window of where we are yapping uh we do ads every hour by the hours to prevent pre-rolls um but for sure there's a lot to the event to the uh mixer story that was like the the moment the moment of the convention so you don't want to miss out on that I, I i will say guys something unlocked an avi in that my that that industry mixer i think i unleashed some form of beast in her it did. It did. at that mixer it she did. changed she has forever changed in I, that moment it going it, forward going forward i felt like an entirely different person anyways i'm gonna go get a drink actually water obviously um you got your water i'm gonna get my water entertain the folks hello again hydration night you yeah. guys know each other that's awesome all right i'll be back uh, no actually she locked in <laughs> So the advertisement starts. What have you done to the world, Becco? I kid you not. Like, she changed. Go get your water. Go get your water. Okay, okay but the ad starts start soon. I want to go on the ad starts soon. All right, everyone gets to talk to Becco, the Becco wife. She's my micro, micro celebrity. I love Becco. <laughs> no, I'm Poor like too busy to Becco. do Just things. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm so busy to do things. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out and get water now. I'll meet myself. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Avi, can we see your kitchen? <laughs> I don't think she's shown her kitchen. She will no longer read our pr uh, peasant non VTuber messages. No, man. Like, every person knew her, knew her, knew her, recognized her for one reason or another 
Uh, that's such a good character development. Avi was bragging about how social you are in the IRL stream and how she w uh, was an introvert. Oh my God, you guys have no idea. The story continues. The story does continue. Like Avi being introverted. So like, uh, I, 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 I want to like speed run telling this. <clears throat> but I know there's so much more that needs to continue. But like literally being at the industry mixer unlocked her extrovertedness and she was just like really happy and excited about all of the interactions uh, how positive things were how nice everybody was and things like that that uh she began a crusade to basically speak to anybody that had a pulse it did not matter whether they were a vtuber or not it did not matter whether they were uh, a vendor or not it didn't matter like if they were part of the convention or not. It did not matter if they were a nerd or not. She was on a crusade to speak to every single entity that had a pulse that weekend. I kid you not. It did not matter. <laughs> Things changed for ravenous ways for her. You're glad no one knows you too stressful. It's the jacket. The jacket is bad, eh? Dude, her jacket is really... like Her, her design in general is like really nice. It's very unique and different. Uh, can you send me something she owns since she's famous? You can resell it for millions. Uh, I would, but she loses everything. So before I can snag anything, she just loses it. That must be. Are you guys actually already? Are you guys already stealing her stuff? Speaking of stealing, do you know what this wasp said she wanted to see all weekend long? All weekend long, she said that she wanted to see somebody get blipped. I I had to be explained what blipping meant. Do you guys know what blipping meant? She went on like this huge tangent and I could see it in her eyes. She was dead set serious. She really wanted to see somebody get blipped. And, there, and I was like, you can't be wishing this upon somebody, right? Like, you can't be serious. You really want to see crime or think about the poor soul that would the, the poor blipped victim. And like, she would be like, yeah you're right but i could see it in her eyes like she still was heel bent serious she wanted to see somebody get blipped that uh, weekend <laughs> you're talking about the blipping thing. i'm talking about the blipping yes <laughs> you know what yeah i should get called out for it and that was no, that was a very knows. heinous wish up. upon the a frick. star the the small percentage of people that know what blipping is is like the frick Avi, and then like everybody else does not know what blipping like, is. is so you you had thing? you had to explain it to me. May you please explain what blipping is to your community? Uh, so blipping, you guys are gonna be so shocked. Okay, so blipping isn't like a party thing. It isn't a fun thing. It isn't like a cool thing I could do at like the 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 meetup. No. It is actually a very tragic thing that's ha uh, so San Francisco beautiful place in America but it has a certain reputation where um the crime rate is really high for tourists where if you park anywhere near the Golden Gate Bridge area you get a chance of getting blipped which is the act of someone breaking your window and stealing your stuff inside there and I thought we were in San Francisco so I was like okay I'm going to witness a blipping and I will be one of the bystanders that doesn't say anything because the police it's so bad that even the police doesn't do anything about it so if you ever get blipped yourself have the unfortunate um mischief of parking somewhere that is super shady or close that's um that's uh it's over for you you can't get any help with it you wanted people to get robbed oh. <laughs> she was treating the act of blipping as if it was a tourist attraction <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking my water. I was gonna die. <laughs> I'm like for real, like literally. And she, like, like her eyes were dead set on this act. She was determined. She was quite disappointed that she did not get to see a single blipping over the weekend. It was like, it, it literally was a tourist attraction to her. This, this act of blipping. <laughs> I, I could not believe this. Uh, I the con was, uh... changed her she's a saddest no guys she wanted this before the change <laughs> you don't understand she wanted this before the change <laughs> next that's probably is the 10 city safari what's that i want to see that 
Actually, no, I shouldn't Google Democratic it for my safety. Experience. I heard some people. No. I heard some people no. just leave their car unlocked so people don't break the. That's actually really smart. I might just do that. How about. How about. Nah. I want to leave in because I saw on YouTube someone actually did like a. A confetti surprise. Oh my god, I I forgot it shows up here. Uh, what was I gonna say? Participated a in confetti local surprise. Culture. If someone steals I, their shit, what? Sorry. I will say so. Like she wanted blipping every single day except for the last day in which we had checked out of the hotel, and she was just like, "Oh Carrying god." I, I looked at her and I'm just like, "You still want to see blipping?" And she's like, "I thought about it. That was yesterday <laughs> and the days before. I don't want to witness blipping now." And I'm like, "Oh really? Why?" Because and she's I... like, oh, you go. "Because I look very muggable right now. Yeah. I realize I look very muggable with all of my bags and stuff." all stuffed with merch goods and memorabilia and things and my cash I look like, and my money yeah and my cash and my money all on me i look very muggable right now i don't want to witness blipping at all anymore because if i witness blipping then i am in the bad part i'm in the <laughs> bad place it's not funny if it happens to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah she doesn't want to be blipped herself listen her mad desire to see blipping created karma for herself because she ended up getting stolen from <gasps> i did and we'll talk about that at the later end because it happened at the last, it last second of day. my trip the last day yeah. of my trip oh my god dude ah! sorry <clears throat> why couldn't avi do the blipping because bad because that's bad and a crime, and I'm going to get not get away with it. Because people still do get arrested for blipping if they're, like, dumb about it, I will say. They don't have the getaway car. There are expert blippers. I am not expert blipper. I would be in the San Francisco jail cell. can't believe your chat is encouraging you to do crime. They're not. They're not. They're just like, might as well do it yourself, pussy. You won't. You won't. <laughs> I'm literally trying to eat food and she's telling me how she wishes she could see blipping. I'm like, I'm staring at her thinking, trying to gauge how real she is and, and being uh, shocked and mortified at the fact that she was 100% real and then some. Oh, oh Spastastic just joined in and asked what's blipping. Do you want to explain it again? And then we'll no, go you, on. You explain it. Blipping is the act of when <laughs> you uh, break a car window and steal someone's car, which is an event that happens often in San Francisco so much that the police don't even get involved in this crime anymore. And there's even an open secret area where you can sell the areas that the the items that you stole from and exchange with other people. And it is such a huge like industry in itself. Blipping in San Francisco. It was a perfect time to blimp since you'll... Oh, hold on, hold on. I miss it. Since you'll uh, already yeah, be on playing. the plane before they find out. Oh my god, you're right. Not expert blipper, she says, with a spark plug in her head. <laughs> I just carry it around because you never know when a girl's gonna need it. <laughs> what are you, sexist? Just kidding, that's a, that was a joke. That was a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> I don't know don't how spark plugs Don't blip, guys. Work. Please. Don't blip. Don't blip. Despite what this wasp demands, don't blip. Actual thieves skill. Oh my god. Yeah, so no, she don't blip and drive. She, she shouldn't be encouraging this kind of yeah, behavior. Don't do this yeah, here she is. You treating guys... it like a tourist attraction. <laughs> Anyways, um, what was I was gonna say. Yeah, porcelain from Spark Plugs. Yeah. Um oh my god. Thank you for the twenty eight months chat box. Hold on, is it gonna show up? Months. Prevent blipping, leave your dog in the car. No! Your dog you will get stolen get too. Blipped. Yeah, it's for safety. Yeah, my friend they, they, when they, they were in San Francisco actually stayed in the car at all times to prevent it. Oh my god! And had the windows rolled down. They were like, if anyone ever comes here and asks and and like tells me at gunpoint, I'll just do it. I'll give it to them. At least I know the yeah. window is safe. Oh my god! Save yeah. the window. Take my stuff. Yeah. No, the airplane won't let me go with the spark plug for the next con. The wasp told you to do it. No, don't listen to the wasp. No, don't do it. <coughs> it's okay to leave your dog in a hard car. It's my favorite Beatles song. Cockfather, this is a reference. I hope you you can send me in a DM for. I want to get it. I'm so sad oh I missed God. you. Please, that I missed you in the entire con. But yeah, for the industry. Back to the industry talk. Yeah, yeah. So we <laughs> were there. We were chatting with however many uh, VTubers that I could find. It's still a small amount. I don't know how many were actually there. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I did get to to catch up with some of the other other industry people that I had been messaging beforehand was the big one. Um, and at one point, like basically whoever Avi would like point at and be like, I want to talk to them. I want to talk to that. I'd be like, OK, I'll get that done for you. And I'd be like, let's let's do this. And there was uh, one person in particular that she was like mad fangirling over. Um, wasn't a VTuber. That's the thing. This mm -hmm. person, some of you guys, if I say a certain thing, will get the reference at all. This dude has been around for decades on YouTube doing like fan dubs and all that. I can't say the name because I I, I shake and cry thinking about it. Out of respect, he, <laughs> he did post he was an off Kai, but I'm just like, I don't want to be oh flexy. Um, but he was a big fish. He was a big, big fish for me. Beckel doesn't know him, but but I, I was know. so starstruck. I knew this guy. He was like, I, I don't, I don't know this guy. That probably makes it easier yeah. for me. <laughs> I don't know this guy, but oh my god, Kelby, Kelby thank you for subscribe for six months. Kelby, you, oh, you subscribe for tier today. one. Let's go. You for you didn't remember to uh unsubscribe from the tier three. Thank God, at least. I don't know. Someone DM me the name. People are gonna but... give me guesses. Uh, it's sure. kind of funny it's kind of funny right because because uh at one point i'm just like let me finish up this conversation and, and we'll go do the thing and she's like okay so so like i did whatever i i finished whatever up i'm like okay who is this who's this who's the subject who's the target and she's like that one right there and i'm like okay no okay. i was like mm -hmm. look scoping. down on the floor and follow oh. where i'm pointing at because i didn't want to be like um hello hello, hello. let me get my model at and no, she was like, look straight ahead. I'm like, looking straight ahead. I was literally uh, like, uh, point uh, down and follow where I'm pointing. But she didn't know who he was, which made it a thousand diffi times difficult. Um, and you know who I thought you were talking about at who? first? Who? Um, 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 um. You can text um, me it, text me it, text me it. Um, 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 the, the part, the one in the suit. You said suit, the one in the suit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the guy that was no. the partner to the other VTuber. Was he near him? With, Damn. With the, with the cherry dress, with the cherry dress. I thought you were talking about the suit guy. I thought you were talking about him. I don't know who that guy is. Who's that guy? <laughs> oh my know. gosh. I'll be T3 next month, don't worry. No, shut up. Don't do that. I know a few people from Team 4 Star. It wasn't a Team 4 Star one. No, no, no. It wasn't Team 4 Star. It was an entirely different dub from a different fandom entirely. Uh, it's, it's not it's not the person that sold with the T. No. Um, I should have said 12 o'clock. I should have used the uh, clock system, huh? But yeah, he was seated with some people. Yeah. Okay, that's me rambling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So after she eventually was able to somehow direct me to whatever the target was, uh, I looked at a couple of people before she eventually got me to figure out who it was. Uh, I'm just like, okay, let's go then. Let's go. We got up and we we stood some distance away. I'm like, do you want me to engage or do you want to engage? Do you want to take the lead? Like, what, how do you want to spin this? And she's just like, no, I will do it. I will have the courage. I'm big, brave. Like, she was just like, yes, I'm doing it. Like, she's just like working at the courage. She wants to be able to do this sort of thing, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, go for it. I'm like, you take the lead. I will be there. I'll stand there as emotional support. I will uh, be there sort of thing. And so we walk up to this table and she approaches this person and she's just like, how did you, how did you approach? You were just like, uh. I was like, I am going to say hi to this guy. Uh -huh. I want, uh -huh. this is the only dude I wanted a photo with ever for anything, anything in the world is my only chance to see him. I, I, I was like, he has a, he's, he's doing the Twitch thing too. So I could talk about that. He talked about wanting to be a VTuber. I had all these things. I was like, I could talk to him about this and that and that. But first of all, I'm going to ask him for a photo. So I went up to this man. I was like, hi, are you Octopig? Just in case I don't awkwardly misinterpret this dude as another guy. And he's like, yeah, I am actually. He sounded so a little bit happy about it. I saw that there was a chair next to him. My, my legs were feeling like jello. I needed to sit down at that table. Um, I sat down there and I was like, um, she literally went from, I'm not going to out who this guy is to literally just dropping his head. <laughs> Shit. <Yeah. laughs> Regardless, she was just like, hi, are you so-and-so? And they're like, yes. And they're like, hi, I blah, blah, blah. And, uh, uh, uh. I and at one point, yeah, she, she started 
not wording. She she was just like, uh, uh, I, uh, 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 and then like she looked at me, and and the guy like I looked at the guy, and the guy was also he kind of gla- he gave me a glance <laughs> a little bit like, but he was so earnest, right? He, he was literally so was like nervous. hanging on to her every word, just just waiting very patiently for her to to, to be able to to cry. finish what she was started. Right? And he glanced at me, <gasps> looked at her very patiently. I looked at Avi. She glanced at me and she's just like, uh, 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 I don't remember. Did you verbally, verbally no. ask me for help? No. Did, I, did you just like... I almost was in tears because I was so shy. Yeah. Because so, like, I was like, holy shit, I'm talking to this guy. I'm talking to this guy. He's real. He's going to... Yeah. What I, I'm going to embarrass myself. And then like when I started tearing up, I was like, I'm going to embarrass myself. I'm going to cry. This is going to be the worst day ever. I'm never going to come she, back here. She was stressing so hard. I saw her and I just turned to him. I put my hand on his arm or shoulder or whatever. He was sitting down and I'm like, I'm sorry. My friend would like a picture with you. Is that okay? <gasps> and he's like, oh yeah, sure. <sighs> and she's just like, oh. oh. <laughs> and, so I, and I was like, okay, now time for me to be even weirder and ask him how I want to <laughs> pose with him. Because you guys think, oh, it's a cute fan picture. I have locked in keychain already, right? I'm not, I go, no, it's actually because I had a photo set in mind. Because um, earlier that day, I had someone I told, I'm socializing. And they were like, haha, doubt. And that really hurt me. Like, actually, because I really was trying my best to get my foot out there. So I was like, fuck you. We both know this person. I hate you right now for saying doubt. It was a joke to them. I told them that actually hurt me and upset me. And I didn't message it for the rest of the day because I was upset. But they were trying to apologize uh, in my DMs. And I didn't want to read it out loud. Whatever. Let them soak in their sorrow because fuck them for that. So the photo I had in mind with this man was I want to have both of us flipping the fucking camera off just so I can send it to this dude. I am so happy, but I didn't realize how weird what the request was. I was like, I have a weird request. But now I have to actually say it to him. So I was like, I have a weird request. Can we flip the camera off both together? And he was like, dude, I'm so totally okay. And I was like, yes. Oh, oh we like God. spite show more of it. Heck yeah. Freaking somebody doubted her for meeting this person. Oh. She's just like, hey, I want a picture with this person flipping off the camera. Yeah. Oh, it was so nice. But the best part of that wasn't even the photo. It was the fact when I did eventually get to have words out of my mouth, he like, he spoke for most of it and I was so nervous and I was so glad I got to hear him and that I didn't weird him out entirely. And he was genuinely such a nice person. He even told us a bit of like stories about how like he was so glad he got to meet me and that there was actually other times where he saw a VTuber but the person before their VTuber form and he told me that interesting story i was like wow that's so cool and meanwhile i was trying to keep it together and then like oh my god he was and we gave actually funny thing is that even though like i've totally forgot to do it i think it was you who suggested it you were like would you like a sticker and i was like oh yeah my sticker yeah would you like to take one he didn't have to take it man he wasn't even a vtuber he didn't if, if i don't know what how he was enjoying himself that evening but like you know we were just a couple of people he didn't know at all so the fact that like he was totally cool with taking our stickers too and that's how he got to that story about like meeting people before the vtuber i was like well and he, and he loved it he loved our stickers <coughs> did you give him the sticker of yours actually uh i believe so i think so i think so I, was oh. he the one that told us that they were adhesive business cards I um no no that was someone else further like I would, when we met the British man I think I understand oh, okay. afterwards with the British man but for sure he was so nice about it oh my god I'm sorry I'm just so in awe that someone that I looked up to that I was like you're still actively in like a Twitch streaming community and I had the one in lifetime chance of meeting him and he was such a sweetheart to my fan girl almost in tears self oh. Thank you, Becca, for saving me. That's fine. It was adorable. And I could see how much duress you were under. This meant so much to me. Oh. <laughs> it helped that I did not know anything about the man. 
Yeah. Even if I did know things about the man, I'd probably play off of your I'm in duress energy anyway and yeah. still be like, sorry, sir. She wants this picture. Yeah. Um, Ooh. And I did tell him that. I'm just like, I don't know who you are. I told him, right? I, I like, I don't know who you are, but uh, I just got to say you were super nice and chill. Mm -hmm. uh, and I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank <laughs> you. This meant the world to me, man. Oh my god. Uh, so Kaiden said, honestly, I also have a weird photo request with the Matara cosplay. Yeah, see, he did the heart. He asked for the Matara cosplayer to do a heart sign so he could do a thumbs up to complete, to quote unquote, not complete the side. Oh my that god. That was such a funny, funny image to have. Gotta force me to watch the videos as this guy's videos. I guess. I guess. Wait. He was really chill. He was really cool and chill. so nice. Sorry, my mom came in uh, for reasons. Um, oh my I, god. I think after that meeting might have been her slow turning point, right? She got over the, the worst hurdle. And after that, she was mostly uh, adequately equipped to be on her own in, in certain cases. Oh. Like, like she actually... I, I would uh, turn around and she was talking to someone else random. Uh, so I think that was the turning point. Uh, I think after the interaction, we were having also the interaction with the British guy. And I will say, having met him at the booth uh, in a more like professional manner versus at the industry mixer, which is funny. <laughs> uh, industry mixer is supposed to be mixing and like do drinking. Networking. Yeah, but then with the drinking, he was very red faced, very cheery. He looked diff like completely different. He was so flushed face and was just like. <laughs> It looked like he was constantly winding. I'm like, oh my goodness, uh, what alcohol does to a man? That was my first time encountering that, so I thought he was like that all the time. No, he oh. he was he was he's more composed oh. outside of drinks. Outside of drinks, he was more composed, but at the mixer, he was very flushed and red faced. It was kind of it was kind of fun seeing uh, his more relaxed side. Mm -hmm. He's very relaxed. I asked him if man. he went to McDonald's yet. <laughs> Yeah, she asked him if he went to McDonald's. And he said no, Alcohol but he hoped people. he could. Can you ask him about that for me if you got the chance to see him again? Because that was such a funny question. I could DM him. Yeah. I could DM him right now. Yeah, he was such a kind person. Uh, Aqua Cult can change people. I didn't know that because, funny story, before we went to the mixer, we met up with one of uh, Becco's friends because we didn't know whether it was going to actually happen or not. They weren't ready yet. So it was going to happen, but we were just chilling outside. And I saw my first alcohol not in a glass cup not in a fancy bottle it was in a little baggie it was in a baggie and it was the color blue and red and pink and becco's friend gave us like a bit of it because he was like oh you guys are waiting for the mixer yada yada and he was really nice i actually like becco's friend i'm not too sure if i can name drop him right now so i'll be quiet but it, i was like what is this i thought it was candy so i was so ready to eat it and then i took a big sip of it and then he said it's alcohol yeah instantly tasted the marker i tasted the alcoholic uh marker smell sharpiness of it all and i was like Ugh. and it was the worst flavor of the pack too becca tried a bit of it and it was nasty like those iv bags yeah it was like an iv bag but smaller like i that was my okay hydration you gotta know i don't drink at all i don't know whether you do but i don't drink so i had a bit of that thing before the party i was like this is nasty but it didn't do anything for me for sure bagged alcohol never seen that before me neither and i was like wow this tastes awful i'm gonna continue drinking it because it's a in a plastic bag and i kind of like chewing the bag more than drinking it so i kept it with you said me. it was fine it, it was it you got said, I, I mean i hated your flavor your yeah. flavor was awful yeah i hated that i liked my flavor my flavor tastes though right yours actually tastes good but I, I forced myself to get used to it because i was like you know what this tastes just like soured gummy worms very sour gummy waves. Still can't believe Avi was drinking alcohol, let alone in a bag. Yeah, but it didn't do anything for me, surprisingly, which is good, which is really funny because uh, that wasn't the only <coughs> time that day that I actually saw another form of it. So then we actually went to the mixer, got proper alcohol. Um, at least Becco did. I 
did as well but that was way later in the day and i actually got to ask a cute vtuber girl i was like hello vtuber i didn't know she was a vtuber girl. i was like hello i don't know what to order i don't drink what did you get and she professionally pointed i don't know whether she was already wasted herself but she was like you are gonna get this one this is both something that's very tasty and also will have a little bit of alcoholic beverage if you don't know whether or what and i was like oh my god i'm talking to a cute girl asking her for a drink i mean <laughs> for what drink i should get and i actually like stopped her once we got out of that line i was like thank you for helping me she's like how'd you drink i didn't get to drink it yet so i took a sip of it and it was actually really good her recommendation I, was solid i hated my first drink i i, I asked I asked for a blue drink that was fruity because that's what some people had and they looked really pretty and uh, I don't remember I didn't get to try it because I, I was still too nervous trying like like talking to new people and so like uh, I asked that with the bartender and what she gave me was a purple drink instead that was not blue and it didn't look like anybody else's drink and I was just like okay <laughs> that was let's force this down. That was really funny because we didn't know what she, like she did that to everyone until we talked to she the British did, man. Yeah, she juiced up my drink. By the way, I felt I started feeling effects after the third sip of my own drink. She that bartender was, wanted everyone to have a good time. She she juiced it up pretty badly. I could taste it and I could feel it. I could uh, yeah. That was I, there was at some point where like uh, I, I was pretty I was still trying to be put together right because obviously networking and obviously uh, Avi there but like there were a couple times I don't know if Avi noticed where like I would lose my footing I do. a little bit and I'd wobble a little bit I do. your <laughs> eyes were opened when Dr. I was so dilated <laughs> she's dilated man she's dilated i get so freaked out before i um uh, before saturday i never got so wasted <laughs> i never got stood dilated myself like that so i didn't know like how she was feeling or like whether i should be careful or scared or anything but um luckily she uh she she kept her cool relatively despite all that but for yeah. sure i was very scared <laughs> I was I'm just like, I gotta keep it together. Just <laughs> into the wind. It's so funny. I had the second drink though. You didn't have your second drink. No, you wanted to, and I, told I you, wanted no, to have your drink. We're Listen, not getting free drink. second drink, Becca. Free You're drink. Drunk. Alcohol is expensive. Free drink. Because a lady like went around and she's like, "Here's the second drink," and I was like, "No, Becca, no, you're not getting free it. drink." Get I got, I got my second drink, but like it was after they had passed out the second drinks. So they're like, "If you guys want a third free drink," and I looked at her, and Avi looked at me, and she knew that I was already gone. She's like, "No, no," I'm like, "Can I just go up there to tell them that I shouldn't be allowed to have a third one just for the funny?" She's like, "Don't even dare," and she was like, "Football." blocking me from ever approaching the yeah. stage to go get a drink i think it was in front of the british people too who was it around that time british person Maybe. and the uh, glow so. jacket guy too because i think we talked to the glow jacket guy, and we even saw him in a line i think mm -hmm. somewhere around that time I was, uh, alcohol doesn't get, taste good i don't know what all the hype is about it's like coffee you get used to it eventually and then it just affects you you can find some like fun drinks yeah for sure there's like fun drinks flavors too. Anything free in the name tastes better. Yeah, exactly. Free drink. Yeah, yeah. I had a drink too, and it was able to be very light. I didn't feel anything. I was like, man, alcohol ain't shit. Maybe I am pretty strong, even though I don't drink myself. Maybe there's a power I have that I don't know about because I don't actively partake in drinking. Hmm. Alcohol. And then. Alcohol. <laughs> the second drink, I will say, I actually enjoyed the second drink. I really liked that second drink. It was Yay. really tasty. The red drink, which is, I think, is what you had. Yeah, uh, that, that was really tasty. It was the one on the menu, the last one, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. It tasted like Gin soda. and tonics. I don't, I will say, I know nothing about alcohol. Me neither. Okay? I, I know nothing about alcohol. You can tell me gin, you can tell me tonic, you can tell me rum, um, you can tell me whiskey. I don't know the difference between any of them. Yeah. I just, I just do the drinky and then I cough up the alcohol because it's so strong and I'm a lightweight and, and I just go, wee. She's insane lightweight. It's crazy. <laughs> Either that or because the other time she you had um bur ba 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 burning burma burma bourbon bourbon. And that one I heard is I don't, very, I don't very high was... in alcohol. 
No, 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 from I, last year. Oh, oh, from last year. Yeah. Oh, the one that Pudding gave me. Yeah. That was freaking last year. Those on my only... way, yeah. uh, the last day before, literally hours before going to the airport, Pudding buys me a bourbon drink. I don't know anything about it, and I drink it. I hate it, so I, it forces me to just chug it really fast. So I drink it within like the first five seconds or something. I just downed that sucker. And we continue with our meal. I'm eating, and I start twigging out, and I start getting paranoid because I, I, I feel something's off. I feel movement as if, like, the world is moving or the air, like, pressure is changing, and I'm, like, I'm, like, looking around like freaked out and paranoid and freaking avi and pudding are looking at me and they're like are you okay i'm like something's off something's different are, are we above a subway unit or is there like are we next to water like i'm trying to figure out what could be causing this world is moving oh uh, no phenomenon i'm experiencing <laughs> right and they're like no not really and i'm like okay okay so i just go back to eating right i'm just like whatever and then it happens again and I feel really weird and I, I'm just like I start looking around again and Avi takes one look at me and she's just like are you drunk? <laughs> and I'm like oh, is that what I'm feeling? <laughs> it added to me experiencing her like firsthand <laughs> alcohol in her system I was like are you and I felt so stupid asking that but I was confused <laughs> I don't drink so are you drunk? Like, hearing those words completely fine <laughs> I way. forgot that I drank and just hearing her say that it just clicked. <gasps> Is that what I'm feeling? <laughs> I was scared, but you were you you were also kind of scared too. It was definitely very intense. I was I was paranoid. I'm like, what is going on? It was more than to see game guy. This dude's a lightweight and she had bourbon in last year. So those the were the Mr. only Mr. two Mr. times. So I was very scared the second time when we went to the mixer. But she was fun, like relatively fun. Had her fun. Not, not sorry. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. Not as bad as last year. That's it. But still oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some deep focus. And yeah, you we, also were we, set on the mission. Yeah. I, I was. I was very set on a mission, and I yeah. was deep focused. And I think did we have some water? I think I had a water bottle that I forgot to take back with me. I drank a lot. Yes, we forgot. We forgot our water bottles. That's the worst the thing bottles. that could happen to us. Um, what else we happened at the mixer? The to go um, drunk onto a plane. Yeah. Uh, for sure. After that mixer. When I had the worst, like, quarter, that was, keep in mind, that interaction, that starstruck celebrity was the only worst meetup or thing I said hi to that, like, that was the most terrible experience. And it wasn't that bad. The nervousness got in my head. I got the photo. I talked to the dude about, like, if he had any plans about YouTube, and he did. He told me the insights he could even the artist. And I was like, whoa. And, and it was such an honor, dude. Having this dude that like look after me be so kind to me. Hi B. I need to give a shout out. We're talking about our time at Offcut. We just about finished talking about drinking, uh, being invited to the first mixer. Uh, we had a, oh fuck. I didn't mean to prick Hi. your profile. Ooh, I'm so hello. sorry. Wow. Ooh, we get to uh, let's check out B's channel. Yeah, check out B's yeah, channel. Yeah, you're showing them my thighs. thighs. You're, so, you're showing them juicy thighs. Thousand speckle. Welcome in Raiders. So Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. If you guys don't know, my name is Lavish Benectonia. I am here with my lovely Beckle getting wife right over there. Thighs, yes, but it's her thighs. Don't look at my wife's thighs. She's married. <laughs> yeah, She's married to me. Yamcha laugh. Oh, you didn't see that uh, chicken, but yeah, literally chicken. someone said she hit the Yamcha pose and we just had a look at that. That was funny. Um yeah, this is a real person. So anyways, guys, uh, welcome B. Let me give you a shout out. B was one of the I people did. that handed I us a ribbon. I shouted out. <gasps> you did? Oh, I didn't I get did. the notification. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, you I, I don't know which one do you do. Do you do the slash both, shout out? I or did, like, the, right? I scrolled off. Yeah, we could do both or just that one. Thank you for shouting it out, Becco. Sorry, my chat box is very small on my end, so I'm very distracted. Do we want to go through the list of, like, do we want to shout out every single VTuber we met with that slash, the slash shout out so that they get the notified that yeah. you were shouting them out? Yeah, tweet shout it out. Uh, yeah, do it for Brie because she literally, it was such a meme I saw on Twitter where everyone was like, oh, no picture, no this thing. For sure, if you guys see me, be quiet about it. But Brie? 
funny enough was just like someone made a meme where she's literally like walter white like i live in 172 albertson street she was literally like calling out on twitter like hey i'm the one wearing this thing stevie say hi please say hi she would always say that on twitter you can even say it right now someone made a meme about it and it was really funny because it was true she was so happy to see people even after the mixer but i got nervous I got nervous because it would be one-on-one -on -one instead of like when she was with her friend and I was really scared I saw her some couple times, but I got scared. You took a photo of my outfit each day Oh my goodness, V was one of the people we met. V is super fucking cool. So tall. So awesome and swag It's so sweet to me. I also loved meeting your uh, friend that we saw as well I don't know whether it was the same one I met on day two and day three but they, the one who I met on day three in front of the uh, arcade play. It was? Dude, your friend dressed so differently. I didn't recognize. I was saying hi to them again. I thought they were someone entirely different. Um, we were attached at the hip. That's always good to have someone along with you during that. We need to shout out every person she has talked with. She never had. She yapped with the whole convention. <sighs> I did. I really did. <coughs> I met the wasp while she was streaming the convention. You did! Do you want a shout out to? I know you're not a streamer, but it's really oh, cool. Oh, you got to meet Spaz? I did during the IRL stream. He, uh, oh. Everyone immediately switched from being like, Archie's my Oshi to, Oh my god, Spaz says to hit the gritty, and then you'll be my Oshi. Did you. Did I no. meet Spaz? I. No, I don't think you did. Fuck. We should have met with you. Dang it. I'm so Last sorry, Spaz. Life. It was during the IRL. Next year. And then you also got to meet Yuzu next year, Patco. I didn't get to meet Yuzu this year. Did you meet the Waz? I don't think uh... we have because uh, if you've met Becco, it was probably during separate events. And uh, I did get to help out Becco in the booth, but unfortunately, um, we, I only we met waddled by the table at the very last bit. Yeah. We waddled by the table. Yeah, I was a lot around for sure. I was a wandering little space cadet. We were not very faithful. Yeah, I saw where your allegiance lied. Chat baby hit the bitty, gritty, thought I was bald, and asked to see my feet. Yeah. But it was awesome. How did it feel to be on the other side of the camera, Spastastic? Totally forgot about it because IRL cam. Exhausting. But rewarding. <laughs> rewarding for sure. Um, I don't think you met it, but we'll meet maybe some other time. Who knows? I'm very, very, very faithful in Bug Girls. I'm glad for that. I'm glad you were a chitin. He loves bug girls. Uh, felt so great. what I'm hearing is I need to be bug. Can I be cat bug? You could be whatever you want to be. Cat bug. Cat bug. Cat bug would be awesome. What would that look like? I know there's cat already bug, cat Beko bug. Cosplay. Yeah, cat bug, Becco cosplay. Yeah, Does that would that be cool. I would love to see that. <laughs> we're distracted again. But can cat I love bug would cat be nice. girl? But I love cat girl. I love you being a cat girl. You're so good at being a cat girl. The meow. I meow, meow. Anyways, there's no meow. photos up here because um, this polish will go back to the story to the other room party we actually went to. But, oh. Oh, we didn't take pictures of that. Oh, wait, yeah. we have one picture of that room party. Mm -hmm. You did? Okay, okay, I'll yeah, try. The plush, the plush. The plush? Blush. Can you send it to on me again? Floor. I didn't see it on the floor. On the can, floor. can you send it to to me again? I didn't see it. I couldn't see anything. Uh, am I an idiot? Am I an idiot? Of course not. I'm Hopefully so smart. Oh, I found the, it. The I found it. I found it. All right. So actually, funny story about the room party. Uh, there's a story before that. Remember? Uh, do you remember how we met that group? Oh yeah. So basically. We were not bunking at the Hyatt Hotel. And unfortunately, because of that, we were just like, how are we going to be able to, like, um, go into the elevators? Because you need the car to activate the elevators. And so uh, we actually saw from another VTuber we met at the, uh, the mixer where she was just like, oh, just hang around in the lift. <laughs> she was British, too. Uh, hang around in the lift and maybe you'll catch a ride with someone up, uh, that's going up there for sure. That's what we did a bunch of time. Sorry, sorry. For the I was people. wondering why you were giving them an accent. And then I remembered who you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, the Disneyland one. They were so cute. I was like, what is this accent you're giving them? No, because they said lift and I thought it was so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, back then, um, 
Oh, do you have any interest in cosplay? No, I don't because it was really hot and I know I'm very sweaty and gross, but I appreciate all cosplayers. Um, I, I wouldn't mind cosplaying. I'd love to cosplay. For sure, Rebecca could cosplay. It'd be so sick. Uh, go next year had way too much fun. I also felt shockingly confident in socializing, right? So it wasn't just me that had the effect, but I definitely had an effect, the convention high. Um, oh, and then, like, after she, like, um, told us about it we were heading to the lift i saw a dude with a guitar and i knew what i had to do oh you pulling up the video cosplay sounds cool but you need to start working out feel okay hold on i'll pull up the video let's me see if it'll too. let me pop I wanna, up I wanna, I wanna start working out some me more. too i joined the hollow lift discord just so i can hold myself accountable for it that's so fucking funny to say um, hold on, Hello, it is a VTuber community that I saw on t TikTok a whole bunch where they post TikTok videos of them lifting and working out and then like also are VTuber fans. Oh, okay, okay. And so like I didn't know they were at the convention. I was really sad I couldn't meet them up. But for sure, I want to them to hold me accountable because they're such bros. They're such bros and they're awesome. Um, I want them. Yeah. But yeah, um, hold on, let me put up the video because, uh, Twitch pop out the video. How do I, like, load this up without doxing? Okay, I'll try to do this as a day, Skith. Hold on. Okay, this is the video. Hold on, let me see. I don't think there'll be audio because it was so good. We might get a copyright truck for it. <laughs> you think so? No. I don't think so. No, I'm just lazy. Play I'm... the audio. That was super sarcastic. What? Oh, yeah, I'll play the audio. Play the audio. Um, okay. But you're gonna regret We're it. We're literally walking to the next area, and she just sees a guitar, and she's just like, Hold up! Hold up! I need to talk to these guys. Like, literally approaches these guys, just jamming out on guitars, and it's just like, Hi! I have a request! No, Do you I'm do super... requests? I, I, first of all, I knew how scared they would be for a person to show up to them and be like, do you want to request? I know how scary that is because they were like, um, um, I don't know, but, and then I was like, Wonderwall. <laughs> Wait, what's a Strandberg? Should I know what that is? <laughs> he had a Strandberg and you asked for Wonderwall. This is an electric guitar. He spent like... Okay, but listen, chicken. I, I, no matter how much I ask for you, how much I beg for you, you're not gonna play on Wonderwall. So I knew <laughs> as soon as I saw a guitar person, this would be my only chance to ask someone for Wonderwall. You wouldn't give it to me, so I asked someone else. I hope you're not mad and jealous about it, stinky, stinky gatekeeper. Anyways, let's go play the video. Play. Volume, sir. <laughs> Can it be heard? Is it too low? Oh. My legs asleep. My legs asleep. It's playing. Okay. My legs asleep. Okay, I think the alcohol did affect me a little bit here. <laughs> She's like hearing himself sing and like, oh boy, I think that's the alcohol. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit of it, but I didn't feel it. I so would be able to sing the alphabet back and forth. Looking back at it, oh, who's this singing? Was like, that really me? What did the alcohol do to me? But they, yeah, yeah. She, she sang very gusto in that moment. I was really embarrassed because people only knew the two lines and I was left singing and they were like forced to continue. He had to say like, stop it. We had to stop it because I would have sang the rest of the song because I was forced to sing that song in a middle school choir and I thought everyone kind of knew the lyrics, but it was just me. I'll be on alcohol could do anything. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was actually just me baseline. Just I just thought it would be funny to say that, but yeah. How does she sound better drunk than sober? <laughs> no, I wasn't drunk. No, I didn't feel anything. That one was just me being like, okay, the worst thing happened. I'm going to talk to everyone at the convention. That's when it started, right here. Mm. Yeah, when I was, and I was like, I have confidence. I'm gonna ask him to play Wonderwall. 
Be bad about it, guys. Be bad. Be bad. Be bad. <laughs> making these guys cringe yeah they were super cool they gave us their business card i'd have to look at it later for sure now let me go uh close out the window because she's yeah. gonna she's gonna get the business cards and be like hi i'd like to commission you for what <laughs> wonder i would like to make a cover of Wonderwall. hi i was a Wonderwall <laughs> person my friends were all mad when i told them what i uh, forced you guys to do let me see okay um Anyways, yeah, so that was how it was. So that's the other backdrop you guys got to see. And then finally, I'm going to pull up the... Uh... So that was while we were trying to get to the elevators. Um, and I just got interrupted with that. And so I put... I, I held Becco aside to the other side to get to the elevators. Or the lift, as she said. And we actually saw another group of people. We were trying to, like, scope out who we can get a ride to, from. And, um... We saw a group. I don't remember whether it was the same group. I saw someone with the Magni uh, slasher pocket. What do you call them? Stash pocket. What do you call these? Shoulder pockets. And Becco, in her drunkenness, was like, hi, hello, this is my friend. Because I was like, oh my god, I love you, Magni. Uh, Are you talking about at the event? You didn't talk about the Capri Sun chick. That was actually before it. A different group yeah, of people. Yeah, it, it was a different group of people that, yeah. that basically we met right at the base elevators. And they're like, here, you want a Capri Sun? That's and a thank you. I was like, yeah, thank you. And she's like, do you guys, are you guys of age? Are you guys like 21 or something? And I was like, and just like, I, I have my, I have my ID. Like, yeah. And I, I look at the girl and I see her hand on this other bag. And I'm like, what's in the bag? And she's like, oh, well, I got these jello shots. No, the funny thing is, actually, she was like, so are you 21? She got, like, serious. We were talking because we were complimenting her purple jacket. And she was like, okay, are you 21? And she handed me the Capri Sun. I was like, for the Capri Sun? Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't know how alcohol could be in. I thought they sealed something in the Capri Sun that's alcoholic. But they were like, no, no. Are you 21, though? And then that's when Batgirl stood and it was like, what's, yeah, what's in the bag? In the bag? <laughs> it was so funny. Hi, Skriz. How goes the happening? Oh, we're still on day one. We're still on day one. We're still on day one. It's going very well. Um, so yeah, the the other staff member that was helping with the booth, they got to be officiated as an official room party. So we were heading up there to go check it out. Uh, we went up into the room. We found it eventually. And as we arrived, the, the girl that opened the door was just like, okay, IDs and stuff like that. And then as we're about to get in, there's a guy running down the hallway and he's just like, uh, you're a room party. Is this guy like literally like, you know, the missing milkman sort of scenario sh flashes them a picture on his phone. He's just like, my friend is at one of these room parties, but he didn't tell me which one. I feel so Have bad. you seen this man? And they're like, they take a good glance at him and they're like, no, no, I'm so sorry for you. Because keeping in mind, right, that the room parties don't have signs. And on top of that, there was like 30 plus room parties that night. So this man could have been lost at any one of those room parties. Yeah. Have you seen this man? And he's just like, okay. So he had to, he's just like going down the hallway trying to find room parties to find his friend. I feel so bad for him, dude. Oh my God. I hope he found him. Jesus Christ. Uh, but it was basically like, oh, have you seen this man? We were just like, no, sorry. But luckily, because he did that, or not, no, we actually went to the room party and then he stopped them, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. We eventually yeah. were able to slip in. Yeah. It was a fairly small room party. It was very uh, small. It was nice. They, everybody was very drunk at this party. It gave my they, ears rest from like the rest of from the mixer, which was very loud. Oh, yeah. If you're in a mixer with a bunch of VTubers, everybody has streamer energy. So everybody was really loud at that industry mixer, yeah. by the way. Yeah. It was so loud in there. And it was funnier how people would meet up with each other. They're like, are you so-and-so? Yes, I am so-and-so. Squee! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Ah! Ah! Sorry, those are my Legend says he'll be looking for his friend forever. Uh, yeah. The halls are like the back rooms, dude. It just doesn't look like it would end. It goes on and on. It's like in a circle. It just goes on and on. Yeah. So the fact that we were able to go to this nice smaller party with a couple of people, it was very nice. It was very funny because there was no seats, so we just resorted to sleep sitting on the floor. Yeah, I just I just popped myself on the floor. I'm like, screw this noise. I just sat down on the floor and a bunch of the guys just kind of powwowed. But it was like 
a bad floor placement because we're right in front of the kitchen. So we were in a traffic area and and they just decided to sit around us uh, and talk. Yeah, when we sat down, everyone else joined in. It was so cute. Or at least the people who couldn't get seats as well joined in. Oh, it was so nice. Um, also, I love Spastastic's note. Bring more money, go to room parties, bring booze, and bigger luggage bags. That's literally it, dude. Um, yeah. And Chicken said, I hear industry mixer and think it's professional, but as I'm hearing it described, it sounds like a... Fa yeah, that's the thing that warmed me up a lot. I really was nervous at going there because I thought it's going to be networking. I've been very terrible at networking online on Twitter. It's been very difficult for me. So the fact that it was actually really nice that everyone was just equally as panicked, equally as super friendly and squealing because it was a bunch mm -hmm. of cute girls with each other squealing. It, it, it warmed me up. It made me really happy that like... Like, okay if this think, is what networking is i could do this i think it helps that you that they they were familiar with you as for well. sure that was also a big help and i am so grateful for that honestly i was just like jesus i just oh my god <laughs> networking is just yapping nervously at one another pretty much yeah networking yeah. is just yapping trying to out yap the <laughs> other I really do wish, though, the only regret I have with that mixer thing is that, like, if that, if if I got rid of my nervousness, I would have loved to introduce them to you. I I, I would have loved to talk to more people. I, I, I will say I didn't talk to nearly enough people at the mixer. I talked to a lot of people at the mixer, but I didn't talk to nearly enough people mm -hmm. at the mixer. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I could have talked to more, but it was kind of hard to keep track of everybody. Mm -hmm. There was like, there was, I think there was at least over a hundred, two hundred people at that mixer it or something. It also felt very small, but also very big at the same time, if that makes yeah. sense. Pe people were coming and going. So some people left early, some people arrived late. So it was like one of those things where it's just like, I don't know who I've talked to at this point. Yeah, exactly. Faces were very hard to remember for sure uh yeah we're ear, we're ear protection definitely my ears were buzzing when we left the mixer so going to the smaller party is really nice there was actually a volunteer there that um also was chilling there um he literally just helped out the booth and just stayed with us so that's his plushie no that's someone's plushie i don't think it was his it was his yeah but oh it was okay so he also had the bag the sling bag and it, oh yeah, yeah. He had this the guy <laughs> So she still, so she did not have the fanny pack by this point. And this guy had the, is it the Magni one? Axel. The, the, the oh, Axel one. And I'm just like, hello, good sir. Explain to me this bag. Show me your bag. And, and let's give my friend FOMO about not buying the Magni bag sort of thing. And he was just like, oh, yes, of course. It's a very good bag. And he's like showing it off, opening all the pockets, showing her the inside of it, yeah. how much you carry, what he puts into it. And she's just sitting here like, oh, it can fit so many things. By the way, chat, this man was full on wasted, but he had the, the what I can call and describe as the cadence of Connor from Detroit Becomes Human. So he's, he's so when we came into the bar, he was like, hello, it was nice seeing you guys again. Also, I am very not sober. <laughs> it was so sweet. <gasps> you mean his speech demeanor? Yeah, his speech it demeanor. Was, it, oh, I, I don't know if it would be Connor. From no, Detroit it's not human. the actual actor. It's more. No, no, no. Oh. I know. No, I, I know that. But I mean, like, he was more fanciful. Yeah. Um, He spoke as if, like, he was on the stage play for, like, uh, Camelot. The, his speak candidates was more akin to Camelot, like speech demeanor. Yeah. Um, and and it was it was a uh, very very consistent. Oh my yeah, it was very consistent. Which like I personally uh, was very like how do I say this? I, I enjoyed it. And the funny part about him selling the bag to me while he was still so wasted was so funny and i was like you know what i might as well get the bag tomorrow fine you fucking win you guys i will get the bag we'll get it i ugh, the fact he was able to remember such key details while he was drunk you know what yeah fine fine i, I got the extra 40 dollars. i think it was like 40 dollars to spend on it fine i will 40 dollars, and it was worth it no guys so like after that party we we left we went back we returned to the room we retired for the night uh 
kind of un untangled everything, unpacked everything, had a lot of fun. Uh, we went to sleep. The next day, uh, what? I, I don't remember much of the yes, morning. You, you the stayed at the booth <laughs> for a fair bit of the morning. Yeah. I, I went. I, I, I went and, and explored a little bit. So so Avi stayed at the booth a little bit so that I could explore a little bit. Yeah. I explored a little bit, got to talk to some people, um, and, and that's probably where I did a majority of my purchasing was just that, that few couple of hours was like, I just did my purchasing. I talked to a bunch of people that I could find, talked to the vendors and whatnot. And uh, I also kept getting met, met up with people coming by the booth to talk to me. Um, and so then one o'clock rolls around, right? And I've given Avi, I fed Avi enough FOMO by this point that she's just like, okay, <gasps> I really want to go buy this bag now. You've convinced me. And I'm like, okay, okay. And she's like, I'll be right back. I'm going to go buy this bag. And I'm like, okay. So she goes and leaves. And I don't see her for the rest of the day. I hear no contact or anything. Five hours. I kid you not. Literally five hours goes by without hearing from her, without seeing her ever again. And I, I eventually like DM her. I'm like, Please let me know you've not been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I Please let oh me God. know. And she, she, so like, I still don't hear anything for like maybe another hour and a half or something like that. And, and the next thing I know, like, I'm still at the booth managing this, the booth and whatnot. Next thing I know, she comes back, bag hoisted around her, all disheveled manner. a little slightly heavy breath, and she's, the first things out of her mouth is, <laughs> I literally I went insane. I I went insane. Is <laughs> the first things that came out of her mouth. I'm like, yeah, are you okay? Where have you been? She's like, I've I've lost it. I've lost my mind. I've lost. <laughs> How can you so say so, so chalk it up to another thing she lost, guys. She lost her literal mind. I did. <laughs> I really did because everything was so. Oh my god. Okay, and then I'll tell you the journey of what. Because I, I just like realized how scary that sentence must have been for you to hear me go. I went insane. Like what I do went you insane. mean? I went I lost insane. It. Yeah. So let me show you what I meant. Um, I actually had to take a separate photo because I went insane. Yeah. So now she has a separate adventure she needs to explain. First of all, glance at this. Boom. All right. First of all, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Chad. All right. So I'm very excited to say this is my splurge. Uh, also, there's going to be an advertisement in one minute. So I think I'll say it after the advertisement. But I went insane. I went crazy. I was on a side mission. And I will tell you how I got forced upon this side mission and i was like so happy oh my god i can't wait for the ads to be over right now becco if you need a stretch stand up do it for now everyone we're doing mid roll so we can prevent for pre-rolls the fact this is okay. like our fifth mid roll and we're still the first day is so we're now funny, on the second becco. day oh now we're in the second day but it took yeah, us like now we're on the second day wait how long does this stream going four hours four hours for us to get to the second day I'm gonna I'm gonna heat some Jollibee. I'm gonna be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna be, stop my apping actually, and I'm gonna stretch. Battle brain. If you guys don't know about the battle brain, you guys are going to know very soon. I am so 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 crazy. You I really took a side mission during your main mission. <laughs> Literally, that's the way to describe it. She got sucked into an artist alley stamp rally. I will say my comments when the ads are over right now. I did de develop tendonitis flares again because of the aftermath of this convention. So feel free to go ahead and stretch. This is the last time you guys are going to cure calm Avi. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch my arms. Do the stretches recommended, especially for those of you 
whore also on your ass. Did you enter an art raffle? I will explain what this means once this is done. I am on my blushing emote because I am going to freak out. I am going to rest my voice, the ASMR, before the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The, the little Gerard right here is very fitting. Go drink and maybe refill it. I literally took the last of my drink, chat. There's no water in this house. Oh no, Jax, you don't follow um, corporate uh, VTubers, but this is a corporate VTuber I love. I'll be warning you that she is gonna freak out. It's like, watch out. I'm going to freak out here. It is seriously one of the coolest things i got to be a part of how do i put the streamer on emote only oh my god oh my god hydration you're gonna be here too hydration did you get to see the stamp rally or were you prevented from making a big financial purchase mistake just kidding not a mistake i don't regret this i missed my wrist again i fell on it playing catch with the dog i have to use the brace again when i squat now there's the advertising when the ads is over and when Becco is back, it'll be enough. <laughs> is three percent silent enough? It depends. Unlike um, actually, I do have an inhibitor. Abby is gonna simp so bad. Chat says will Thank you for the twenty-five bits, Smack Linky. I was given the ticket, but restricted myself due to money. You are so much smarter than I am. And did you get it first day Friday? Or did you get it? Like, when did you get it? And based, and you're so smart for that. Uh, P by go. Oh my god, chat. I blacked out. Avi's gonna transcend yapping. She's gonna be barking. Oh, you're back. It's been like weeks since you last live. Hi, ATM Pop. I'm so happy to see you. I, this is a one minute and 30, 50 second warning that I am going to start geeking out soon about Hollow Stars, Tempest, and Vanguard, and, and, um, uh, Armis. Armis is such a sick name. I know you don't like Corpos Jax, but I, I love one of them. Say less. The ad bar just got longer. Yeah, it felt like it, right? Uh, but thank you so much for coming back for this comeback shame. I'm with my beautiful wife, Becca Genning. I love her so dearly. She is the reason I was able to go at Off Kai. And I had the best experience Sunday, which I, I can't talk about too much because you guys won't get it. Um, Hydra was there. Um, don't tell me. I remember your names because you two are so similar. And one of them is related to a car thing. Hydro? Shit! Hold on, I have your Twitter. I have your Twitter. I'm gonna look at your Twitter. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There's Hydro, or is it Hydra? I'm getting it wrong. Hydro? I texted you. I know you did, and I followed the other guy. Hold on. Fuck! Fuck! I'm not gonna forget your guys' name. I remember your guys' name. Did I message you, or did I only just reply to you? Fuck! Uh, mentions, mentions. Scroll down. There was Hydro. There was. Once I know one, I'll know the other. You guys are confused. Okay, there's Artichoke. There is Artichoke. And there is one guy. Hydro, Artie. Wait, I could just look in our DMs. You told me their names. I don't know why I decided to, like. Okay, hold on. Hydro, Artie. Hold on. Uh. I will remember you. I'm gonna stalk you guys. You guys are so funny. Auto! Hydro, Auto, and Artie. That's Honey why I couldn't remember it. Honeypaws, thank you so nights. much for gifting a sub to Hydration Nights. Shout out to those three boys for getting me through Sunday. I would have blacked out if I was alone. So, oh my god, you guys are so cool. Hydro, shit, that's not their name! Auto, yeah, you got me. Yeah! Otto and uh, Artie, you guys are so sweet. I loved you guys. I wish I could have given you guys a hug because you guys were like the coolest people I met at the line. Um, if you guys were okay with it, next time I'm gonna give you guys a noogie or like sweep, kick sweep you guys or or give you a firm handshake. There's so many, like, you guys saw me jumping, squealing, cheering, being loud as fuck. So I embarrassed myself in front of people that 
like uh, I wasn't ashamed to be embarrassed about because those two were giggling. Otto, did you were you assigned your homework? Did they give you Hollow Stars homework? And did you watch them yet? The advertisements are over, but we're gonna wait for Precious Becco. My voice is calm right now because I'm gonna freak out about what's gonna happen behind me. It's okay to be excited for something, for sure. And I'm happy that those two. Whoa, whoa! Your hair whipped. <laughs> Your cat entered your room, and as soon as I looked at him, what the fuck? He hates you, dude. He hates you, dude. Your dog hates. I mean, your cat hates you so much. You should give him to me. Wow, the disrespect. You should like chip him over to me or something. I dude. am back. <sighs> Paco, the I ads are over. Spaghetti. I will say, so like I did mention this earlier in stream, right? I'm I'm very bad at memory, right? And 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 that's part of the reason why. I have so many pictures. Like I, I gave Avi so many pictures of Afkai because that's kind of my way of making mental notes of things so that I can look back and be like, oh yes, I saw this or I remember yeah. this or whatever and things like that. So like I need some sort of uh, physicality to the encounter to yeah. remember it. Um, so, so I have a bunch of that to try to remember things and I'm still trying to, I have to go through all of my business cards as well Avi, on the other hand, I will say, she she is like, she's a space cadet, scatterbrained, and everything like that. But if she has set eyes on you, she is like <laughs> a beast that will really remember certain details to you. Like she she's for some reason all of her brain allocation and RAM is set to like remembering details about people <laughs> in a yeah. in a shocking way. I can remember people because you can't lose people. You can't like <laughs> claim them, put them in your pocket. You sit down, they fall out of it. Things not so, so much. Yeah. So as a note for you guys, if you ever meet uh, Avi in the future, she will remember you. I will uh, remember <laughs> you. So don't embarrass yourself. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I embarrass myself in front of people. Avi Farrell is definitely memorable. I was feral. And this was before I met the boys on Sunday who were also just as big fans. And I was like, I love that you watched the Axel and Alter 3D VOD. Otto, that is so funny because those were the motherfuckers. One of them went down on his knees to pretend he was fucking going, God, I should say it. That was so funny. You know what it is, Otto. You know what it is. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and tell your your son. Was it Sunday? Yeah, your Sunday adventure. Saturday. Saturday. Your Saturday adventure. Uh, uh, mine was fairly uneventful. I had certain meetings at the booth, and I manned the booth. But for yeah. those five hours, you were gone from the booth. Let's let's see what the Avi adventure was for those five hours. You go ahead. <laughs> okay. What, what, what were those missing five hours? I, I'm curious to know. Hold on, I'm trying to look where it started. You. Was it you? I think it was you. Or was it you? Or was it one of the... I'm like, I'm missing something in here. I'm missing something and it isn't here. And I need to go... Okay, there. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I was looking at a booth that I was eyeing because actually, I think I'll pull up... Um. Okay, so there's a couple of things that are so different about this event from last year, first of all. Because last year, we went to Ofkai and Becca was so nice to invite me. I There was actually only like two people at the event that was not that was the only vendor for hollow stars one because hollow tempest which had uh, axel magni altair and vesper bless their souls rest in peace contest do stupid bitches why did they leave me um they they had merch in there and about that time around um that hall uh that area um um vanguard was also gonna debuting uh gavis battle Ma uh machina fleon um Fucking Shinri and Hakka. I fucking love Hakka. I can't remember those their last names for some reason. Bunzli and Kaka. <laughs> uh, and it is so the people at the vendors. The oh, last year I was able to buy like a lot of merch for them. That's how I spent three hundred dollars. Although they were the only people sending them, uh, selling the merch of Hollow Stars, um, Tempest, Ian Tempest, and um, the Vanguard boys. I bought as much <coughs> as I could, and I was like, I'm, I'm so sad they don't get the rep that they deserve, but. I am so happy to support a fellow artist. It was, um, Bing. If you were able to see Bing work, if I was able to pull up their catalog from last year, I will tell you guys what I bought from last year. But Becco actually took a photo of it, so I'll be able to send it to you guys right now. I'm looking, looking, looking. Uh, I'll find it eventually. It, it was day two, so don't forget to breathe. <gasps> Did I take a picture of something? 
You the took a picture song? of the uh, Hollow Boys merch, um, and I actually oh, was able girl. to show it to the other vendors. I'm already losing one of my breath. Oh, oh. Okay, so this is, this is the <laughs> Bing's art. This is what I bought last year. Um, this guy, he was able to spin and all tear, snail tear. Fucking funniest joke. You can't see it? Oh, no, this is a necklace. This thing sold out, so I wasn't able to get it this year. Uh, but these are actually it? spinnable. What? Was that the one that I bought you? I bought you something. I think I? that was you bought me something last year. I think it was this one actually. But I'm so happy that you bought it for me. No, uh, yeah, yeah, you bought it for me. I looked at the booth again and I bought the battle back. Oh, oh okay. He died. <laughs> She's stealing this from somewhere. She just forgot fluctuation. Yeah, and then there's one more merch that uh, Becca took at a booth that I need to remember because it is very crucial to the story in my heart, and it was very good. Rip, he was the only one that liked Kamen Rider. Really? Yeah, he was pretty fucking based for his opinion, which is why I love... <gasps> okay? Yeah. I'm just remembering to breathe. Remember to breathe. This was the booth that I went to because I saw Becca's photo and she showed me this one. Re our rest in peace, Mayoshi graduated too soon. Magma was here. I saw this booth. I I know which one you are, <laughs> not by name, but I know where you were in the stand. Um, gonna lurk while you speak for eight hours straight. Pink, bye. I totally get it if you want to leave. First of all, their booth was so fucking based. Look at the rest of the collection. Alpha, Omega, little meow meow, little meow meow. What the fuck are these inside jokes? I love pathetic men. I love that girl boss male wife submissive and what the fuck uh horny jail but they had every single knowledge of a lot of inside jokes so and this is only one half of the booth that i was able to look at and i thought wow there, there kept being so many things to look at in this booth i wish i knew which one this was but i think i'll remember it hold on uh which one is this one is, i can close this one out um, I can close this one out. Um, I I think you were either gray. No, no, no. Newsy table. You were either Newsy or Kagado. I don't think it was Kagado, but I know it was not Genie or Gray because I and Booth because I remember which one. So it was either Kagado or Newsy table twenty seven thirty five. Um, this is important. Thank you for the uh um. 25 bits. This is so weird watching obviously for a guy. Yeah, I will say. Think of it like your little sister being in love with a dude with a like a boy band. This is literally the equivalent of it. Because 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 ah uh, yeah. So anyways, back to here. They had so much shit. They had so much merch here. They were even had Sonic merch. They had Niji Sanji. They had a bunch of indie tubers. Cringe, but keep going. This is an Avi in sync moment. Yeah. Um, this is how crazy I'm gonna get. So I saw this picture. I was like, holy shit, this is the best picture ever. I can't buy it, even though it was $20 each or two for 30 Don't oh, wait a minute. I could... No, no. Um... <laughs> so I was looking at it and I actually settled. I believe it was them that I bought. I can't remember all the merch from, the, uh, from what I got from who, but I bought... Um... This one. Ignore the star right now. Ignore it. Pretend you don't fucking see what it is. This one. I was like, this is cute. This is probably what I'm going to afford. I'm going to buy, like, maybe battle merch under $85. Because yesterday I spent $80 on the jacket and the bag. And I got this. And I also bought the sling. And then they were like, oh my god, thank you so much. I was able to talk to them a little bit. I don't remember our conversation. But then they fucking handed me the Hollow Star Stamp Rally. Chat, this is my first convention ever. Never attended anything. This is the second year I've gone here. I was handed a Hollow Stars Stamp Rally. Two things. I've never seen these in real life. I've seen this online. Holy shit. I get to be a part of something. You have to buy merch at the each table, get a stamp. You get something really, really fucking cool. Second of all, there's enough people for there to be a Hollow Star stamp rally. Last year, there was only maybe two vendors I bought everything of. Here, I see six. And there was still more that wasn't in this rally. Um, but that still, that, that, there were the, the, the 
the number of artists for for hollow stars multiplied and only six out of the who knows how many were in there were were able to um be, uh, do this and i was like holy i need to do this i need to do this now unfortunately they did have a map behind where you, exactly you can find the vendors all numbers thank god because i don't know how to read maps how you guys saw me do every single game with the map was literally how i was here i just stumbled my way accidentally to them there were actually hollow maps who were guests yes yes as well so that also contributed with the fact that qwabble was the first one hollow star hollow life to be announced in there brought so many people over and then i was like is hollow stars gonna be there and they were and they were and they were i got to see it sorry getting ahead of myself so when the girl handed me this i freaked out and blanked this was the first merch i bought and i fucking went crazy then the second merch i actually stumbled was gra genie genie actually made so much good merch of not just hollow stars but everyone in hollow life if you were to go on their twitter right fucking now you'll be able to see just sort of like off kai genie you'll they had a spinning acrylic stand for suisse i believe their merch was fucking beautiful so their line was actually really huge and popular to be in and i knew i couldn't fucking be there i actually talked to the vendors in there i was like what are you gonna get what is this booth is so amazing and they were debating on getting the spinning sweet say yes thank you so much uh uh cockfather for the tag i thank you so much i'm rambling i'm going on back looking for the right toggle okay so you got a stamp sheet and basically went time to spend my money literally they handed her the silent hill map i wish i took a picture of the other side but it's so fucking funny uh gen 1 and gen 2 didn't have any hollow hollow prp what's that any hollow prp what's that um uh sorry you'd have to elaborate on that in the middle of me uh, hollow pro uh gen uh, oh, sorry i'm getting distracted wait what do you mean hollow pro um sorry so um becco actually took a couple of pictures of the stand in there uh the uh attendees that may have had the uh, merchandise well I'll go see oh my god we're gonna have to talk about the feed people in the stand i don't know if you remember them uh, Hollow Life Production. Okay, hold on. Let me read your entire sentence again because I'm blanking out. I'm blanking out. I'm freaking my oxygen levels are low. There were Hollow Mems who were actually guests. Gen 1 and Gen 2 didn't have any Hollow Pro. What do you mean Gen 1 and 2 didn't have Hollow Pro? Uh, you mean like Hollow Myth? Wait, what do you mean by that? Elaborate the entire sentence. Uh, in the meantime, man, on this whole stream, man, this whole stream is so cool on me. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I, I like how you're talking so much that everybody's now changing this to a mute stream, ah! but they could still hear you. There's a way where you can put that, like, you're you're watching this muted, actually, as a badge on Twitch. Imagine if you guys want to put that oh right goodness. now. Yeah, there's a way. Uh, chat identity. No Hollow Stars or Hollow Live member at ton of Gen 1 or 2. Uh, did they not? I don't remember. Uh, I'm blanking out now. Um, I'm sorry, I don't get your message, but I will try soon. Anyway, so I bought this first. Uh, no, the genie. Like I said, genie had literally everything. If you went on your Twitter, you would have been so mad you didn't cop something from there. I only had a budget of, okay, if I'm gonna spend six things, I could only spend one. She made it fucking impossible, dude. Her merch was so good. Uh, I think it was New Seer Kalgado merch made it so good too. So I was stuck. I I think I actually ended up buying this adorable merch, fucking Phantom with their Phantom Sona, and they had Battle Goose. They also had the Battalion, and they had so much shit I could have bought, but this is the one I had to buy for myself. Um, I can't remember who this artist is, but holy, I think it might have been the same person, or I'm getting confused. But you guys will have to dig for it. And this thing too, I don't remember who it was. I'll see it blinking out. Uh, right now I'm so sad. Uh. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. Keep talking. What's going on? If only I knew the context for all this. What did you say? <laughs> okay, um, hold on. And then, so, uh, after I figured out how to go to Genie's Broth and after I bought all that stuff, keychains, I wanted to buy keychains. I love keychains the most. Stickers were going to be a nightmare for transportation-wise. But when I went to Genie's Booth, because I bought something, she was like, choose a ribbon. And it was so hard choosing from this ribbon, Battalion, to the Hollow Tempura one, to the actual other baller merch. Genie has such a good merch. If you're going to be in Hollow, uh, sorry, if you're going to be in Offcut next year, 
a thousand times recommend Genie. You're gonna love it. Um, and then so I went to this merch that I was able to find, and then I got stuck surrounded. It. Acrylic merch is honestly like crack. It is, but I knew I wouldn't be able to get them home safely. My babies. I'd have to order online. Has Becca also muted her? <laughs> Becca, yeah, I'm not muted, right? Whatever. She has no, to I can still you. She has salmon in her mouth. She's allowed to not speak. And then, so I went to... <laughs> I went to Craze Table, which funnily the enough was the first one that do for 34 months. Hey Abby, welcome back. How many girls did you kiss at Hi Dr. Heart Dark Heart. I couldn't kiss any girls because I was too busy freaking about one boy. One very special boy. One very special boy that I like so much, but I also fucking hate him. I hate him so much for making me feel this way. And it is back to this thing. Uh Gray. Fucking amazing booth, by the way. It was so sad that I showed up on Sunday. God's blunder. Yes! I I love God's blunder. Her booth? She had a whole collection of, of, of Battle merch because actually on Saturday night, Battle had a 3D concert. So I was extra freaked out. And it was the of the event that was buzzing around for Hollow Boys uh, vendors. So like she had a whole battle thing, but it was sold out. I was only able to buy this thing, which was such a full, cool fucking sticker. The reason why it looks weird is because if you turn it around, it's one of those birds where it changes its face when you turn it, which was so fucking cool. And he's drinking a brisk right here in Phantom. And I couldn't buy the one with his brother is there, but it was really cool. Ah! But, uh, oh, great! If you're watching this, I love your merch. I think you were the first vendor I talked to. I'm sorry if I annoyed you, but you made my day being so, so nice. I asked you whether it was your first year Saturday, uh, first year here, and you were talking back to me, and you made me, uh, appreciate how awesome vendors are, and I got to talk to the rest of them, too, if I could. Let me take a break. My heart. You okay? You breathing there? I want some Taco Bell after this. Why would you do this to yourself? I hate myself. I oh. I hate myself. I want to eat a dirty, disgusting, edible food. Ah, my shoulder's hurting too because I'm slouching. Boys! Boys! I hate him! What kind of noise is that? Girls, I thought you were talking about men. Oh, I love coffee better. But it was funny actually because I made this joke to every single vendor that listened to me. I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy you have Gavis Battle merch. You know, I always had bad luck with Oshis. I Oshied Sana, who graduated. Sweetest fucking girl. God bless her. I miss her. And then she graduated. Then I Oshied Vesper and Magni, and they graduated. So I told every vendor in here that I actually had a curse, and I can't say that Gavis Battle is my Oshi. I had to legally say that I fucking hate this guy. Actually, I'm one of his biggest haters. And it was so funny that they all joined me, be like, yeah, like, who is that guy? Ew. It was so, so fun to have the camaraderie first of all uh, i'll get to it eventually actually no i'll get to it eventually so i told this joke to every single vendor this was the first vendor i told the joke to i wish i could have gotten it to the person that handed me all this and got this started but i was too nervous with how good shit that um either you or you had i can't remember i think it was you i think it was newsy 27 25 27 27 25 25 so i'm trying to figure the location 20 20 I don't remember. I wish I could fucking remember. Uh, I'll remember the location if you show me an image of it. Uh, okay. That's a motherfucking five. We go- I go to Wendy's and order a double stack bag baconator when I just eat- when I want to eat absolute slop. Literally, you understand me and thank you for listening to me. I tried the same. I'm saying that Avi is my Oshi for around, around a year now, but no luck so far! No! You're so funny! All that bad for an- I don't know- I don't know why I feel so bad! I didn't want to forget who gave me what. Oh, good thing I had the card to remind me. This is literally just like a big business card. Oh, so I got this one. I wish I could have bought out their whole stock, but I was really on a tight budget. This is the second one. Oh, so 
I went to uh, Bing. Bing, my beloved. I already bought their merch, but this was the only one I saw that I didn't buy of Gavis Petal. If you guys don't know what this is, it's kind of like a culture thing that people do with K-pop cards where they would put adorable stickers. You can kind of see how there's a wave in here. I think some of the diamonds might be takeable, but you decorate your little photo card. Um, and there's some cute Gavis Petal themes. You got, uh, you got little beautiful baby boy. Um, phantom too you got his living thing that he wears around his neck you got the rose the flower that he's associated with um you got betel goose and and some more that my dumbass covered made by being i love you being my beloved oh fuck sorry i only learned what an oshi is a couple of weeks ago i can't say i have one that's okay jex i totally get it there's some people that don't have an oshi and that's totally understandable because they're able to see people as people and that you know that there's a lot to say about the fact that some people that are a little too parasocial about the view hey. Hey. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. But I There were too many OC. syllables in that run on sentence. <laughs> yeah, you know. Some people have Oshis. There's a lot to say about how weird it is people to have Oshi of another human being. This is basically what I called my coworker who like literally, he's just in the same VTuber space as me. I and I know a lot of people that know him, so it's really embarrassing for me to freak out like this in public. I was embarrassed last year to call him Ayoshi. Here, when I said people to pretend to be a hater that just happened to be very educated and collect a smirch. Um, Don't worry, guys. There's a potential award at the end of this conversation. No. But let's pretend yeah. there is. Um, <laughs> I can't call Abby my ocean because they usually end up problematic and they're like, no, I apologize. This emote is for Ronan. <laughs> Abby should sell anti Abby merch to profit off the haters. Absolutely potatoes. Oh my fucking God. Then there are people with Kamiyoshi, so Abby doesn't have a shrine yet. Does has a shrine yet? This is my shrine. Anyways, back to this. So I met up with being super cool person. And being um, around that area, actually, I made a pit stop to see what other merch tables were around the area. You guys are going to love this one. Before I address what's on the right, left, let's talk about the one on the right. You, this is called an Boobies. AR card. Where? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> we are relocating. Is oh, it covered? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Deku. Hold on, let me put you a little bit to the left. I love that Boobies! Cool. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, don't turn on me! Hold on. Okay, this is gonna be a long stream. So, I'm not gonna crop this. We're all adults. My <laughs> celibate eyes. Oh god, Kelby, you're here too. Twitch, don't look. She's talking about men not, not, not looking at boobs. <laughs> fuck, no, 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 no. Spoiler, spoiler. Fuck, fuck. Oh, I'm spoiling so much. Oh, fuck. I gotta... <laughs> you're like a kid. Ah! You guys didn't say that. So, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we got there! We got there! So I met this nice person whose name is Taruko, and I was there because I was like, what is this? And actually, this man sells merch. Do you guys know the DS you had where you scanned an image and an image would pop out of there moving? If you don't know it, that's what this guy is. I wish I could have a video. If someone could send his link, it's Taro K O 3 um he had the most yeah ar cards and they were so fucking cool i got to talk to him he was a really cool person oh sorry they are a really cool person and look at the merch they had they had mint they had the blue dragon girl they had i want to i don't think that's corone right there i think that's uh, their oc and wait this, how does this work you I kept scan seeing this booth, but I didn't understand this. Oh my god, I wish I could go- If someone could send them to Twitter, uh, you scan the QR code on the back, and I think it works something like going on. I didn't get to check it out myself because other people were gathering nearby because boobies were selling too. 
and if you look at the rest of their art it was so amazing but that was for sure one of the most like coolest things i ever saw becca's gonna cover it uh but look what they sold they sold a lot of hollows hollows i need you sanji there they sold that one i'm not a big fan of niji sanji but I love the fact that their art was the prettiest thing I've ever seen. This is Becca's photo, by the way. Look at that. And look at this. this oh, isn't... I took pictures of boobies. Yeah, you took pictures of boobies. This is your boobies. Oh, okay. I had AR boobies on my 3DS. I was like, what the fuck? Um, anyway, so back to here. And they also made the DJ and art that one. Archie looked at it. He was like, if I wasn't broke, I would get that. Is it buy two, get one free? Fuck. Sorry. I was like, Archie could have gotten it. Um, anyways, uh, where can I buy a hydraulic press like that on the pick? Where? Where is it? Which white, which hydraulic press? That's so funny. Um, the sandwich. <gasps> oh my god! Those aren't her boobies. Okay, anyways, so back to this. I saw this and I was amazed. And then I turned to the booth on the left. You look, see, there's even credits right here. Taro Code 3, Freezer Arts, and uh, wow, look at this ditto right here. Look at this. It was so fucking funny. See, let me turn off the blush. I'm not a feet person. Seeing the display of feet. Uh oh, ass. I'll be careful. There is feet, 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 Pippa feet, Doki feet, Tenma feet, oh, office worker feet. Cowgirl feet. Oh god, it's a little too detailed for my life. That's like, why is there so much feet? Oh, yeah. Why? And judging by what's in here, there's probably other merch too. But I just saw feet. The fact that this thing is emptied kind of scared me to know what was in here that sold out. But there is feet. I wish I got to talk to this dude, but I was like, I accidentally said it instead of saying it to their face. $20. Only $20. Wow. So, yeah, that fender hall had so many feet. I just thought to show you guys because it was the funniest thing. How there was I just... It. I was just like, wait, so people that had feet fetish wasn't joking? <laughs> uh, I think they like feet. I don't know. I don't know, though. Maybe you need a second opinion. Yeah, so that was my pit stop there to distract you guys from the freaking out I'm about to do once again. So this was like near Bing's booth for sure, which is how I got to see it. I bet they moved a lot of merch. Yeah, I bet they were able to sell plenty. Bay people are weird, Jackson. You and me both. So I was able to get this little keychain, baby boy, Gavis Battle. I fucking hate you so much. I need to throw you off of a bridge. We'll talk about the button one later. I don't remember where I got this door. I think it was from the same people that was a ketchup one. Uh, I think I could be mistaken. Battle luck, luck next time. Isn't that cute? I joke about it. Feet lovers gross me. They might not. They might just find fit, fit, fit feet picks easy to sell. Ah! Anyways, so I got all this stuff. And now was my last pit stop. Ivory Ice. She was the last girl I needed. I got every... Oh, yeah, I remember where I got the, uh, the stamp. Uh, from that table that also did another stamp roller, Becco. Um... Near B. Oshi. Anyways, uh, it wasn't a meme. It wasn't a meme. Real. Bros went across the, it's becoming ironical life. <laughs> but yeah, so the last place I was, was in Ivory Ice. Ivory looked so dead. I felt so bad because the, the lore about this thing is she does every single stamp her, uh, sorry, uh, pin herself. She had a pin machine that she actively took out and stamped people's faces on with. So I felt like, whoa, you were doing them in demand and people like around you. She looked so tired. I felt so bad. I was like, hi, um, actually I was able to part of the state. Uh, I told her about the, the, the joke about the Oshis graduating. And funny enough, she actually did have the sauna plushie. So it was really like cool seeing a vendor go from, oh, would you like the Gavis battle thing to, oh my God, the same thing happened to me too. Oh my God, I was so upset. This guy, I actually hate him as well. But it was so cool talking to someone that had this experience with their Oshis graduating, every single exact one. So, and I was like, yes, you feel my pain. I miss Sana. She had the Sana plushie and it was so cool. That dedication, limited production special, literally, exactly, and it's so shiny too. So I bought hers. This was the last thing I needed to buy, and she gave me this. 
she gave me the special hollow star stamp rally collection you were able to get this cute little keychain yago's dream right in the back is rest in peace and they gave you six cards to put in haka altair gavis petal and the hulk uh fuck i'm so sorry i'm a fake fan i don't know hollow jp if you guys know who it is but i know they're hollow jp i know this guy i is that flayon i can't tell that's flayon i'm a fake fan that's flayon i believe and gerard t rexford and of course i had to put my special my special dumb stupid i hate him so much little pirate costume ugly stupid you're not ugly <laughs> you're not ugly i can't call i can't is, say is, a lie is this, is this turning you into a sundere is that what's going he on he makes me into a sundere i hate how much i love this man they can comfort each other through their grief she needed that literally oh my god i hate him i, I hate his stupid amazing mascara and his his boots that with the little slutty toe cleavage what the fuck is wrong with him i hate him i put him in there i'm planning to decorate it with the stickers there i have the keychains in my bag and of course i saw a vendor outside of the oh my god eggy you came in at the perfect time hi hi eggy i literally collected at stamp rally at Ofkai. hi do you have any plans of going to Ofkai next year i'd love to see you if not that's okay i love vtubers i love gavis battle he i hate him he's my oshi he is my kamiyoshi and i hate his face so much his 3d concert made me cry actually cry but i hate him so much i am his number one hater um so i got this they gifted me this thank you ivory i believe ivory said she was the one or twitter she was the one that hosted all this thank you if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have gone insane and I saw this merch here actually Sleeping outside of Hollow. They actually did were a Hollow Stars fan. The person wasn't there, but their friend was, and they told me they were a big Flayon fan. And I <laughs> saw this merch. Would fist fight Mayoshi in a parking lot? And I thought I had to get this merch. I had to get this to represent how much I hate him. I hate Gavis Petal so much. Gavis Petal, if you're watching this, I'm gonna block you on Twitter. If there's ND indication that, that you're watching this, I hate you. Also, um, <laughs> if you contact me in any ways, I will explode. Don't do that, please. Pretend you don't see this, actually. Don't, don't, never talk about this again. You called me a B once on stream and just know i remember that i hope that embarrassed the both of us when i had to correct you on the membership stream battle i hate you you're my kamiyoshi i hate you uh you called me am a i B. hearing correctly membership stream are you a member tier three membership for since a month after he debuted i knew oh, wow. he would be my oshi tier three it is twitch so it's actually ten dollars uh tier one was 199 tier two was 499 uh one, tier one you got emotes tier two you got the special um membership streams i don't remember what tier three did i could be wrong i could be mixing up the two Avi is basically Bizarro when it comes to Hiroshi. Yeah, so basically, lore story. I don't like talking about... I don't like chatting in him because I had the fat VTuber in my name. And also because it's embarrassing. Um, but one time, I um, sh gave a membership chat saying, Hi, Battle. You're actually really, really great at what you do. This is the only nicest thing I've said about this man. And I said it to his face. I was like, I love the fact that you're an entertainer. You're great at this improv. And I hope there are many, I don't know what I said exactly. I was like, and I can't wait to see your next project. This was months ago. And he was like, wait, Avispa, I know you. You're a B, right? And I was freaking out, kicking my toes, screaming. Aah! And then my worst fear happened. I got called out. He knows who I am. I was perceived. And I went, actually, I'm a wasp. What the fuck? And he was like, oh. 
oh, I'm sorry. And it was super awkward, but it meant everything to me. I'm so happy. Um, um, and that's when I became his ultimate. I, I felt so happy. Actually, I have a glass. Yeah, I had to do that thing. I couldn't let him have it. I couldn't let him have it and say that he that he was correct. Yeah, sure. This is my Kami Oshi. Um, and then I never talked in the chat again. Uh, this is actually the second time I uh, gave him money for a super chat. Uh, the first time was when he was reading names wrong and it was so cool and uh... Anyway, so I hate him and so I like literally the person here being a hollow tempers Sorry, hollow stars uh, fanatic as well was really cool. I actually DM'd her about it I saw a lot of people uh Sunday wearing this and I was like you need to know this you need to know that everyone Wore this like basically almost everyone got this and wore this and it's fitting I want a fist by Mayoshi and funny thing about that is I actually had to go to a table to get everything sorted out. I just bought like my uh, pouch, so I needed to organize it. I dumped it at a table. I was like, I, I saw a stranger. I was like, hi, I just wanted to say it at the artist alley. How are you? Hello. Uh, yeah, you, you had a lot of adventure in those five hours you were gone. I did. I talked to the vendors here. I talked to the guy, poor guy. I was like, is this seat okay to sit in? I need to organize my... He was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And I was like, hi, I went crazy. I love Gavis Battle. I hate him. How, are, how was your time at the convention? And while I was pouring my heart out to this guy, of course, I think I let him talk to me back too. I don't know whether he was allowed to get a word and I went insane and blacked <laughs> out here, but actually- Just Using a man for their table? What? Yeah, he was- it was in the atrium, but he, I just wanted to make sure he was okay with it. Um... He was hot, too. But while I was pouring my heart, a Gavis Battle cosplayer went to me, saw my splat-out merch at the table, and was like, Hi, I see you like Gavis Battle. Here is a ribbon. And I was like, Ah! right now i was like you made my day thank you i love this because i only had like about this much ribbons oh left i didn't collect a lot or at least i didn't put in my badge i'm getting whiplash imagine he's saying oh i hate was if he said that he would have made my week i hate you gavis battle i hate you so much i hope you hate wasp too um i hope you get it infested with a lot this summer um and then this isn't even over yet chat the five-hour escape was more or less a day in itself. Oh, God, it really was. And this story wasn't even over. Guys. Ugh, my hand looks disgusting here. Guys. I went downstairs because I was like, holy shit, this was an amazing day. But I need to get back to my wife. Funny thing is, I saw a Gavis Betel cosplayer. The coolest fucking guy. I got a picture with him and I got a picture. I know what his Twitter. I got a picture with him, <laughs> me wearing my little badge. My wallet actually peeked up over here. I had to censor that. Um, my, my little, my little thingy. My hand is disgusting here. I'm so sorry, Chad. You had to see that. Literally the guy, I was like, can I take a picture with you? And he was like, of course. And he gave me this battalion right here. And I was like, oh my God, you're so cool. This is an inside joke. If you guys know anything about the WWE, the face censorship is so good. It is, right? But this guy is so tall tall and cool and he was already wearing gavis metal uh he had the garter belt he had the the pants underneath he had the 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 heels and he was so queer the hat this is a full-on cosplay and funny thing is he actually spoke at the panel that was him that was the guy he was fucking hilarious cool i might have i can't say it because this is a real human being but wow what a guy what a guy if he told and i also had a pose with the new star i had actually but when he handed me this thing i thought this was the fucking coolest guy ever and funny thing enough i almost accidentally stole it i gave it back <gasps> to him like hey sorry i almost took this back with me because i needed to see you becco i needed to see you i was already taking so much time and he's like oh okay fucking drop kicks this thing into the corner and i was like oh my god you're so cool oh everything he did was so cool 
But God, shut up! Shut up about my grip on the gr on the plushie. It was I was freaking out. That's just how my hands look. Gah, that's a very fish. Yeah, I told you guys I look like a horse. So there wasn't a horse in what I found, but I found that one instead. That guy was so cool and handsome. Oh my God. <laughs> The person took a closer image of this and you can kind of i already dirtied it with my fingerprints but this merch was actually really well high quality i love this dude he was really cool like w like literally a person i can say that like anything he did was unmatched riz uh that's not an appropriate word to say i can't find him he had so much charisma dude literally so much charisma i oh my god and he was leaving too so i for sure was bothering him no, but he was so cool about it too. Um, yeah, and that, and that, I believe, my friend, was the last of the adventure of Saturday. Ah, uh, Becco actually took a photo. I went back. I took her back to the booth to find it because they were only a one-day person. This is untouched, actually cleaned. Do you see how fucking reflective this thing is? From purple onceler to Rizzler. Dude, he had my heart in the most platonic, non-creepy way. That guy was so cool. So cool. And I was on a high. A Gavis battle high. I could use this as a mirror. You literally could. It is very reflective. Yeah, it was dangerous taking this photo. Um, but for sure. That man made my day. Just top the cherry on top. You're still on a high, to be honest. What's my run time? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. All right, thank you for letting your little sister geek out about her, the one man. The one how, man how I, long did I you hate. How long for 45 minutes? 45 it felt like minutes. longer. Yeah, it did. Because the ad break. The ad break. And also, I went. Yeah, so Gavis Battle. Um, I'm going to block you on Twitter. This is embarrassing. I appreciate you as an entertainer. So glad <laughs> that. You called me a bee by accident, and I and I'm and I'm a hater of you, and it's so fitting. Um, um, if you message me back, I will explode. Um, so don't do that, or I will explode, <laughs> or do that. This is reverse psychology. He is so based for that. What are my so other closing words? What I'm hearing words? is I have to I have to find this man. There's. Not, not this cosplayer. This cosplayer is really cool. I'd love to no, talk to no. him. No, no, yeah, this this guy. I'm creeping him out. I'm sure I'm. I he got creeped out somewhere along the line, but if you find this man, I would be so happy. I I would not act normal. He's so cool. I have to stop talking about him now. I have to stop. Okay, Becca, what do you? Okay, Becca. Guys, clip clip the most like hype moments of her whole speech. Post it on YouTube as a clip. Use all of the tags that Funnel Bettle, like Bettle, Hololive, whatever, whatever, one whatever one like make it as findable as possible. Label too, it as like it some, some uh, clickbaity thing, like rabid fan goes me. rabid over Oshi or whatever. Get it trending so that it somewhere, somewhere across the way uh, lands on Bettle's plate and he consumes this uh, clip of Avi just Bettle-lifing, Bettle-flying. Bettle yeah. I just love purple VTubers. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> this VTuber says, what about metal? I was just like, oh, this clown guy is actually- Sorry, Jester guy was really cool on this debut. And now I spent so- I'm too scared to look at my credit card. This man owes me, owes me money owes now. You. Owes you. He owes me money now. Also, good night, Tunnel. Good night. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm God. gonna take all her parts of her saying she hates and send it to him, so he knows to stay away. That would also be really funny. Who gave me money? Oh my God, D'Angelo! Thank you so much for the two dollars from number Abby's number one pair. A beast pair. Thank you so much for the two dollars, Dianjo. You missed it. I actually ran out of fumes to talk now. I talked about my my coolest, the coolest streamer in the world. 
the 3D concert made me cry. Okay. I wish we watched this 3D concert at our hotel instead of what we actually did last night. <laughs> That's my biggest regret. You would have seen me crying and peeing and you would have loved it too. Aww. I'm okay. Done. Can you look at the... Uh... Can you look at the video I just posted of me trying to zoom in the video and let me know if that is okay to reward chat with? <laughs> I tried to zoom in as much as possible to censor you out. I know, I tried to look at the video too, and I was like... <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I would love to- MY CHIN! It's okay, we can live with the chin, a little bit of chin action. I was wearing a little, little bit of, of a turtleneck, you guys, so... You guys get a little chin action. Yeah. Okay. I would love... Oh! We got some little mouth action, too! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know exactly how to do this. I'll crop up the little bit of it. I'll probably just, like, try to, uh... Chin reveal a mouth. Okay, I this could be really good. Do you, do you want me to, like, speak while you... Fix it up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then afterwards, after she yeah, what finally afterwards? came back, <sighs> she doesn't remember because everything blacked out for her. Uh, I was hearing through the grapevine that there was another industry mixer. However, it was one of those unofficial industry mixers that was hosted by someone else. But you needed to get the invite for it. You needed to get the information and the invite for it. Um, and so, like, everybody knew about this mixer that I was talking to. Everybody kind of vaguely knew about this mixer, but also didn't know any details about it, where it would be, uh, or anything other than it was, mm -hmm. like, after 9 o'clock, I think. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to get information on this, because obviously we didn't want to return to our room and then have to drive all the way back uh, and all this other stuff. Um, and so, like... I was talking to a bunch of YouTubers trying to get the information. And the but after a certain too. while. Yeah, after after a certain while though, like uh when we couldn't get the information, I didn't want to risk just waiting around and then not getting the information. Um so like inadvertently wasting our time. Uh so I was just like, Yeah, screw it. Screw the industry mixer. We we can't get the information on it. Whatever. Let's go have food. Let's go treat ourselves. Let's go actually, actually treat ourselves. And so I was like looking up food restaurants and things like that. I'm like, what's good to eat? What do we want? What do we want? And eventually I uh, I, I landed on some ramen place. Uh, and I'm just like, let's go drop all of our stuff off at the hotel. And let's go to this ramen place. And and I picked a place that had like tsukumen, uh, which is essentially deconstructed ramen and the broth is super condensed and you dip the noodles into the broth and uh it, it's one of those things where it's like a lot of places will have ramen not a very not a lot of places will have tsukumen and this place also had something called brothless ramen as well which was interesting it was my first time seeing something that was just brothless ramen is for all intents and purposes literally just like pensit yakisoba stir fry noodles it's literally just that stir fry mm -hmm. noodles with a bit of seasoning um but yeah but yeah always never had sukumen uh and so we were just like cool mm -hmm. there was Be a wait time for it huh mm -hmm. becca was so cool to be the one to choose it we're in like san francisco we we were gonna uh get a lift to the heart of San Francisco and she chose the coolest place one of the coolest places there she is a big foodie when she told me about the, the separation of the broth and the noodles I knew we had to go there because whatever was in that broth was gonna feed us for today that night and tomorrow morning too because it's so dense in whatever was in there right like very very yeah. calorie not calorie what do you call it filling calorie rich yeah yeah Very filling. yeah so thank you becca for teaching me sukumen uh so she had some for the very first time we had mm -hmm. two sukumen and uh uh tako takoyaki 
<gasps> but I will say that the takoyaki was like really, really weird because they had they had like doused it in the mayo, but also mixed in with the mayo was like egg chunks, which was weird for me because I've mm-hmm. never seen it with the egg chunks. Um, but they were super duper filling, and they gave like the tiniest little bit of octopus. I will say that. Yeah. Was, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, that but, was such a scam. I would say it's a scam, <laughs> but the rest of the ball was actually delicious. Yeah, it was good. It was good. But like So we didn't even plus. mind it. Um, and then I I must have I, I took a picture that everybody kept harping on. Uh that must have been like mid movement for Avi, but she was like holding the spoon in such a really weird way. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to find it, trying to find it. For those of you who don't the, have Twitter, the, the meal, the meal experience itself was all very interesting. <gasps> it was interesting because it was the first time I was having the new. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so here so it is. She used her chopstick backwards. Yeah. Okay, here is the original takoyaki. Because like Becca was like, "Hey, we didn't take a picture of it yet." I was like, "Oh." Yeah, she started scooping immediately. She's like, cool food. I'm like, camera, picture. This is like the good stuff food. Let's take a picture. Delicious this looks. You're going to tell me you see this in person? And you're not going to go, I have it. So I top it. Uh, I don't know if you knew the saying before, but it went, the camera eats first. Yeah, camera eats first, always. Hi, Kony Toro. We're talking about. We literally went off of talking about my fangirl experience. Camera eats first. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Aggie knows this too. Hi, Aggie. I'm going to keep pursuing. But yeah, so like, I, I, I had to wait for Becca to take a photo and I was like, Ugh. She had to scoop it. There, there's already <laughs> one ball missing actually, in this yeah, picture. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> There's like one ball. She's already. She was in the middle of taking the second one, but like I was just like picture. You you were like the rest can be still salvageable. Oh my god, it's funny because actually <laughs> I did take a picture, but it was after I ate it. I was like I can still fix with it, but no, it was too bad. But look how I held this. Everyone called me out for it. I I didn't notice that. My nails Everybody was freaking out about about Avi holding the spoon the way she is. Yeah, I was like, oh, what's wrong? I don't know why I held it like this. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, but this is the photo Becca took. <laughs> my two fingers, a thumb and my pinky pointing finger weren't even touching the spoon. Yeah, what uh, is that for? <laughs> oh, but this shit looks so delicious. I wish we had uh, I want to go. <laughs> now I want to go back to my local place and get takoyaki. It's still open, so I'll be able to do it after. Yeah, I don't know what this grip <laughs> was. A raptor grip. Oh my god, it was so funny. And then let me take the other photo of when our broth arrived. Did you take a photo of your food actually? Because I remember you taking a photo think... of mine. Did I did I not send like every food picture that I took? Hold on, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. It's because you had to send yeah, them on I, like two seconds. I took bones, a so... whole bunch of pictures. She yeah. took so many. Unbelievable. A lot of Give me one moment to find it. I literally just saw it. Where did it go? Wait, I know how to find it. Don't worry, don't worry. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Hold on, chat. There it is. Becca Kidding replies. <coughs> oh, my face in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's another one that's just the bra. Yeah, so this is the food. One. Mm-hmm. Look at it. It looks delicious, right? I had to wait. Uh, those fucking takoyaki. You, you can see I was digging in. <laughs> okay, so there's this one. Oh, no. You didn't, oh, did you take a picture of mine? And then let me just pull up like the beautiful, beautiful setup that doesn't have my face in it. Um, God, my forehead is She refused to use the spoon. I will say this. What, what, like, whatever her reasoning. So, like, I, 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 I was eating the ramen... I would dip it in there and I'd use the spoon for assistance, right? As as you should. As you should. I look over at Avi and for whatever reason, she was adamantly refusing to use the spoon no matter how many times I told her. And okay. she would just like struggle to to put it on yeah. or use the spoon at all. All right. And I'm just like, use the spoon. Make it you easier wanna know for why? yourself. Want to know why? 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 
because hold on i got it because i wanted to use the chopsticks all the way and as some of you guys may know i was holding the chopsticks wrong the entire time <laughs> and it didn't take me till a while to notice it i was like no like, I'm halfway gonna use through spoon. the meal like my she's right like there. she's i'm watching her struggle so hard with the chopsticks like she she is struggling really hard with the ramen and i'm trying to figure out why and i'm like you need to use the chopsticks in junction with the spoon like it's it's not it's it's not bad it's not yeah i don't know it's not bad like you're not you're not being like like literally if they gave you a fork then you know that they're whitewashing you right <laughs> If they gave you a fork, if they saw you struggle with those chopsticks and were like, here, ma'am, and courtesily gave you a fork, then you'd be like, wow, you suck sort of thing. But no, it's perfectly normal to use the chopsticks in the spoon. The you heathen. <laughs> Thank you for the one hundred pence. But it was because I wasn't able to get anything with the noodle that I was like, fuck that bits. spoon. I'm just going all in. I don't I die, care. Make sure she never forgets this. Oh, my God. Thank you, Honey Fox, for the one you missed. Also, there's an advertisement right now. So, unfortunately, we'll take one more stretch with the story. I'm going to need a shoulder stretch. Yeah. My shoulder ached after telling the battle story. Oh, she would use the fork the wrong way. Too. Ha ha! Hey, buddy! Well, judging by how I hold spoons, who knows? Maybe I would have. Fuck, dude. I need to go to a ramen place after this. My uh, old... hand eater struggles. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh, my God. All right, I'm gonna use rest my voice. Spoon. Battle knows how to use chopsticks. Yeah, which who said that? Who said that? Again, I replied, but I forgot who said it. Yeah, um, Witcho. Witcho. So Battle, um, he went. He actually got the courtesy to not the courtesy. He got the fortunate thing to go to Japan. That's how he did a city concert. But during that entire, actually, there was also another one with Hollow Live that they also went to. A, um, just fl flew in just because everyone was there. Um, I don't know. I never went to the Hollow Live concert. Anyways, back then, back in the summer last year. Uh, Hollow Life concert. They went to Japan. They talked about how Battle is unable to use chopsticks at all, I believe. So it was so, so funny hearing that this pale boy, because he did admit to being a pale boy on stream, um, that he isn't able to use chopsticks. So which I was saying, because Battle knows how to use chopsticks, is super sarcastic. And I replied, I'm better than my Oshi. I will be better than my Oshi on the <laughs> spot. I'm using the chopsticks because Battle would have used the spoon. Like a pale Is guy. that it? Yeah, that's... The no, spoon. no, no. There's nothing wrong with using the spoon. <laughs> Uh, as an Asian, as the your designated Asian, there's nothing wrong with using the spoon. You're right. Oh, you're right. You're supposed to use it to make it cleaner. I should have. I should. And you know what? I did stain my Magni sweater with two dots. That's my. Yeah, she she splattered herself because she didn't use the spoon, guys. Mm -hmm. So she was right. And I should have listened, but I was stubborn. Wow, Battle doesn't know how to use chopsticks. Wow, he sucks. I wish him the worst. Exactly. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? What did I walk in on? Hi, I love Gavis Battle. He's my worst enemy. He's my Kamiyo. Failed as a teacher. How can I be she a didn't teacher fail if she as doesn't want to listen? Exactly. I, she couldn't help me if I didn't want to help myself. I can't get over the chops. Like, yeah, I held them the wrong side. Which is so stupid because I, I just, I don't know why that happened. I never do that. I just forgot. I was just so hungry. noticed it. Was it you? You were you. just like, am I hold? Oh, does it me? I looked down and I'm like... <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I think, no, no, no. I think I told you, I was like, these noodles are very hard to grip on because you were also struggling because they were super long noodles for the talk uh, something. Yeah. And then that's when you looked at mine and be like, oh my God, you're struggling. And then boom, that's when you saw it. I remember because I asked you for help and you, and you were struggling too, but I was struggling my own battle. Yours was 10 times harder than mine. And I was using the chopsticks properly. Yeah. I have no idea how you're even gripping it with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
everything fell off and then only one landed. Better start, eat better start eating Taco Bell with chopstick before you embarrass yourself in the next stage of dress shots. Oh my the, god. The fact that she was so stubborn about the chopsticks and wanting to use them and be proper and refuse to use the spoon because she wanted to do proper usage of the spoon or the chopsticks. I will say, uh, from the moment she touched those chopsticks, she <laughs> actually was uh, being disrespectful. <laughs> I wanted to mention it, but I'm just like, you know what? It's just me. It's fine. <laughs> You'll have to tell me next she, time we go out to she, eat. She took the chopsticks, broke them apart, and proceeded to rub them Wait. vigorously. No, 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 no. The, 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 this is the thing, right? I, I, I do that too, but underneath the table. She was literally doing it over the table, across the plates, across the dishes. Shit. And I'm just like watching her rub the, the wood. All up against the like, all all above the table on top of the plates and stuff. Hello, Vader. She just and I'm just watching in. this. I'm just like, oh, wood shavings all over the plates. Oh fuck! I might have eaten some wood shavings. Yeah. Yeah, Hello, Raiders. Can I give you? Can I get a shout out for the Raiders? Hello, Shakai. I saw, I saw your Twitter that you called um Shodo a uh, lesbian. First of all, hi. I know you, Tomboy Shark. If you guys would love to follow them as well, they called they they're colorblind. Hold on, maybe I'll be able to pull up the tweet because it was the fucking funniest thing ha that has that I saw on Twitter after I came back from Offcut. Uh, it's extra fiber. It's good for you. Exactly. If you don't mind it. <laughs> Shit, I'm logged out of my Twitter. Okay, you're safe for now, Shiko. Shake, shake. I'm gonna embarrass you in front of my chat. I can't. Hello. What are you guys doing? You guys should all follow Tumble Shark. Tumble Shark. Uh, shout out, shout out. Were you giving the second shout out as well? I lost it. Uh, no, I'm free. Yeah, you, you got want, lucky you this want the time. Exclamation mark. You want? Yes, it tells me okay. what games are, but thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Becca, for making you do both. Tomboy? Yeah, they're so cute. I love Shikai. I wish I could pronounce your name properly. Tomboy Bull Shark, yes. Um, but yes, we went into the convention off Kai. Um, this is my bestie, my wife, Becca Ganying. I love Hello. you. You look so Welcome shocking. Raiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this for, is for anybody that's wondering, yes, she did use the chopsticks upside down. Yeah. Yes, she this is her first time eating ramen sukumen. Sukumen. Uh she refused to use the spoon despite her Asian cat wife telling her to use the spoon uh and proceeded to rub the chopsticks over her plates so she has a healthy keeping uh serving of wood. This is embarrassing because I did it to my local place as well. I'm so embarrassed. I need to think about my life. Anyways, she probably slurped the loudest in the establishment too. Oh, absolutely. I slurped that shit. Can that... we show the video? <laughs> All right, we're going to see the video now. It's just for the sure of the raid. At least she didn't stick the chopsticks in vertically, right? I think no, I did that a couple times. No, 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 I need to do this. No. Chopsticks shaving is my favorite sort of fiber yeah but if you need to hop off raid and run understandable you did got off the stream i appreciate everyone that followed a uh, luigi a pale rider a vt uh that's how you get full of microwoods uh but if you need to hop off i totally understand uh i hope i can message you on twitter after this uh I, I I love your uh Pride Month post with the show note thing so silly you bridged them across though is that bad too shit who is this who what Jesse, Ocelot. Also, welcome, Ocelot. Feel free to cheat so, of course, of course. Oh my god, your Twitter post was so fucking funny. Anyway, sorry, I was just not over that. Uh, I'm lesbian, Shoto. <laughs> Making those, uh, oh yes, I also love women too, that some men made, but it was so, whatever. Uh, dude, I've tried chopstick. They're so hard to use. I respect your touch. Thank you. Maybe I didn't use the right way, but I did use them. Anyways, I'm done with that, Brad. Thank you. We're going to keep talking about our experience at Ofkai. I want to talk to you guys more about that for sure. I'm low on energy. Becca will do the happen for now about it. I just say Goto's really adorable. An anonymous yeah, user that's what I'm saying! I I I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm, li I'm, I'm scoping them out while you're yapping. 
Yeah, look, look, we can scope them out together. I love this outfit. Yeah. I love this outfit. I love the hair. Oh, uh, you had your little silly dumb model with the, with the, with the, I could have sworn you had a model. Yeah, you're so cool. We love your design. I accidentally put you on a pop up player. With, with the teeth. With the, the teeth. teeth. The okay, teeth. maybe that's a clip. That's not the best. Hold on, I will find you. These are clips. Sorry. Sorry. Hello, I'm new to Switch Talk TV. There you go, recent broadcast. Sorry to put you on blast. Oh my god, she's stalking me. <laughs> yes, I am. I love YouTubers. Yeah, see? That model looks so cute. Yeah, you look so fucking cute, dude. Yeah. Clandersimilatwitter.com. Just kidding. And I love your hair dye. And I love the way your hair falls. And I love your piercings. And your Like, I would partners. blomp this. Yeah, exactly. Um. What? What? <laughs> Eternal Return is actually pretty fun. Oh, you know this game. Nerd. Oh, I love the rainbow flag for me. She loves me plus. Yeah, you're so cute. Anyways, we'll look at the model together. No, <laughs> not C Dog saying I totally would start blipping the streamer. No! Don't say that. Because actually, a VTuber did get blipped. Yeah, they did get blipped. And it was kind of funny, sad, but funny. I mean, no, it's sad, of course. Of course, I wouldn't wish that on V. I didn't mean for to wish that upon a VTuber. Yeah, no. Me. See, you hear that? Avi wishes it for all of the normal people out there. Yeah, which, which is which girl. could be it could be you guys. It could be you chatters. Are you guys normal people? If, oh if God, you're not a VTuber, then you're not safe. She didn't deserve to get blipped. It should have been one of my viewers. <laughs> Oh my god, that's literally what she's saying! <laughs> Any one of her viewers that's not a VTuber. They're not cute, girl. They need to be punished financially. Far, everybody's far from normal. Listen, but if you're not a VTuber, you're not safe. A girl VTuber drools. I shall leave a look. Thank you, Pale Rider, for sure. Have a good job at day at work. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. You can't call me a nerd after Jester's at the fire. <laughs> But if off kind was so fun in the collection, it no, we know, no, uh, you're a cute girl, question mark. So I'll say that it's just because I don't know. It is Pride Month, I shouldn't. Um, I'm not safe, Kelby. Put on the maid dress and you might be spared. Um, dog, I'm watching VTubers. How am I doable? All right, now let's watch the okay. Auto, you're saved. So are you, Hydro and Artie. Artie, Artie and Auto and Hydro are safe. I'm glad They're I can determine famous. who gets blipped. Yeah. I'm glad all the blippers in San Francisco are watching and tuning into the stream. Be like, you got it, boss. <laughs> Can't believe every one of all these top gifters got blipped or could ever give. No. Okay, fine. Whoever's on the top three charts, but only the top three because I'm too lazy to press to extend the. Just kidding. That was a joke. I love all my gifters. Thank you. Of course. You guys saw me squeal and jump and visit and get really girly. Like, these guys think they got it bad for listening to me rant for 45 minutes. Otto was the one that hitched with the guys. He wasn't even, like, a Hollow Tempest fan. So he heard me, Artie, and um, Hydro geek out about a bunch of boys. And he was just like, I'm just here. <laughs> so especially to Otto. Yeah, I am I safe? I'll think about it. Yeah. It gave me one Pause million dollars. Even have a car. Do you have a car? No car. Don't get a car, don't get blue. True. Anyways, let's show the video. Tonka okay, guys. Okay, guys. Ready your seat belts to watch Avi consume some noodles. Bear for the good vibes. <laughs> and I appreciate you for that. All right. You'll be rewarded by not flipped. There you go. Okay, let me unmute it. So I saw Becco do this. This is how I did it. So I was like, yummy. Uh oh. Yeah, my spoon is right fucking there, huh? And I saw Becco do everything except use the spoon that I decided to do as well. So look, I'm twirling it, Chad. That's how Becco did it. I'm twirling it. And then I was like, wait, these noodles are a little bit long. This is how I jork it, by the way. That's my little chin there. You guys are not gonna see that. <laughs> oh, is that it? I cut it a little bit short. Oh, that's okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but that was so funny. 
how did you did it get kicked out? What do you mean? You're supposed she to do says that. She says she she watched me do that a little bit, but not to the extent that she did it. I literally did it for like maybe a couple of noodles to secure it onto the the chopstick. She literally wrapped over like three fourths of her chopstick <laughs> with the noodles. She's over exaggerating what I did, You're and so guess weird. what? I also used the spoon to help support the noodles. <laughs> Me yeah, meanwhile she was splashing the noodles everywhere. I think you can see a droplet in here. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, trumpet guy. The hold on, let me try to make um... cotton candy with it. Never <laughs> let her enter that place again. Oh my god, we yeah. can't. We that, can't. That, that, right there. Right there. I think that is where wait, I think that's a shadow. Yeah, I think that's a shadow. Never mind. But I did get splash. I did I wasn't splash. I was like after this, I was like, okay, I'm taking off the sweater. <laughs> Everyone's insulting me. Everything I do. Then spin that. Oh, that was so totally funny. Really human who isn't trying to end. <laughs> That was so funny. I had such a good time despite embarrass- I love embarrassing myself in front of Becco. That disturbed you. Why? Why do you like embarrassing yourself in front of me? Because I love how you describe it. It's so silly. Yeah, Trump and Man is back. Alright. I must be honored in the kitchen after that scene. Though, it gets worse. It gets a little bit worse. Yeah. It gets a little bit worse because, like, uh, you know how I said that something was unlocked in Avi and how she was on some high? Well, we are we are at a perfectly normal restaurant. We've left the convention scenery area venue. We are like literally 35 minutes away. 35 Drive. to 40 minutes away driving from the convention. So we are completely disconnected from the convention area and mm. and people and audience and she straight up starts talking to our, like our waiter is telling us like oh hey if everything's okay yada yada and stuff like that and what was what was the question that you asked someone Long said anime or something anime vtuber related i think he saw your sweater or something. Yeah, he was asking if there was a vent in town. <gasps> and long story short, she essentially, to this random waiter that was helping us, was like, Do you stream? Can I get your handle? And he's just like, I, I, I am just a human streamer, sort of thing. And she's like, I don't care. Give me your handle. Like, Let me follow you right now. Give me all your socials. Give me your, your human Twitch stream account. To this guy in the middle of working in the restaurant full of people and she's just like asking for his deets right then and there <laughs> i did i called him a flesh tuber fleshy sorry the trump is getting very loud i'm so <laughs> sad it's getting loud at this part but literally he also made uh i let him plug in some uh, um vtubers that he because he said he had a vtuber friends but he mm -hmm. was a streamer fleshy himself that he dabbled in save the waiter from the pain yeah she's literally asking this guy for all of his details and information and stuff like that it's fun seeing a flesh tuber streamer he was kind of scared though like after it i thought he was like into it like right now but he actually mm -hmm. talked about a little bit of his life i was like oh okay boring <laughs> sorry do i show I'll the picture a man at work what picture of what the feet the kidnapping a human Oh, okay. It gets worse, guys. You want to know how much more it gets worse? It gets worse. We take a little bit. We, we take so long to eat our food because we were literally the last ones in or whatever. And so it's lit. It's, it's literally closing. It's literally everybody else has left. It's just us. They're already cleaning house in the kitchen and whatnot. And it's just us girls eating. And I'm trying to like consume uh, as much as I can before storing things up. Uh, I pay for the meal. And then like out of nowhere, Avi continues to talk to this man about streaming and whatnot. As he comes by, he's just like, you can stay a little bit. Like, don't worry, don't rush or anything. Like we're already the last people. They're already cleaning up the kitchen. And he's like, don't worry, no rush or anything like that. And and like Avi's just like spilling her whole life story to this man. Like, oh, we're so far away from our hotel. We're so, so far away and stuff like that. And the guy, you know, like, 
eventually he's just like, oh, well, you know, um, yada yada I didn't sort of see the thing. hotel thing. I was like, oh my god, like, I wish We're I could so talk to you about away. this. I, like, about well, no, you. wait. You were like... I it was either you or I, one of us. No, I literally one was of like, us. let's hang out. And then he was like, we, I, no, no. Yeah, no, she's no, like, no, let's no. hang out. And then he was like, hey, I get off in 30 minutes. I was like, sweet, can we talk to you then? I didn't say anything about like us at hotel. I think that was well, you. Well, because I, you tried asking him about going to the convention sort of thing. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, you're like, we should hang out. But like one of those like throw out invitations that have no weight to it whatsoever yeah. and he's just like super shocked like uh uh and i'm like i already know what time it is she just threw out a random invitation i'm like what are you doing after your work shift yeah, yeah, i tell yeah. the man i'm like what are you doing after your work shift and he's just like well nothing really just going home and i'm like well maybe we can hang out I have no idea about, like, I assumed we would be hanging around other food places or things like that, but I didn't realize how late it was, too. Uh, and so, like, eventually, we end up waiting up for this man, this ra random human person, and he he impromptuly gives us a ride back to our hotel, and we hang out in the lobby, right? We just hang out in the lobby because I'm just like, this is some random human. I'm not bringing this guy up to our room. And so I'm just like, uh, we literally kidnapped this human to back to the hotel. And <laughs> I'll be with her noodles on her chopstick all wrapped up. I'll be getting high on human interaction. Absolutely. I'll be here trying to recruit NPCs. Quest. What is it? He had work the next day. He, yeah, he was the manager of the restaurant. And <laughs> how he didn't see the red flags. Oh my god, you know what's worse, right? We, we literally ended up kidnapping this man. He gave us a ride to our hotel. We're hanging out with this guy. And like, I we were talking about IRL streaming because he was slightly interested and I'm just like well let me go get my stuff you stay down here really quick I, I leave Avi with him to, to keep talking to him I go up into the room I grab my kit bring it back down as, as I'm approaching the lobby I see him by himself on the couch Avi nowhere to be found and I look at him and I'm like where did she go and he like points around the corner and she's literally abandoned this man who's just been kidnapped by two anime girls and Avi is literally like in the convenience store of the hotel chatting up two other whole new strangers I just they because they are, uh, are are openly from the convention you can tell they're from the convention because they have the face connect bags and she's just chatting them up leaving this poor abandoned normie fleshy human by himself on this couch in the lobby while she chats up hi. two other humans I wanted to say hi, and then I ended up talking to them so much. And she talked to them like... for so long. I stood there watching her talk to them while this guy is, like, twiddling his thumbs. And I walk over, as I'm approaching them, I walk over to Avi, and I'm hearing them talk about drinks, talk about after parties Yeah, because they like were that. trying to go to an after party, yeah. too, but they, they were trying to go, to go to yeah, yeah, I freaking, I hear this. I don't know what she's talking about. I tap Avi on the shoulder and I whisper into her ear, we've already kidnapped one man. We don't need to kidnap two more. <laughs> we don't need to kidnap more humans. I was going to. No, I wouldn't. They already had their own <laughs> hotel. So if they, if, I wish we could have brought them and said, or like switched, you know, what do we, because like uh -huh, they, were, uh -huh. they were in the same hotel. So sorry for the trumpets. Like if they were tired and tap out, they could just dip to the room. Oh my God. She, did you hear that? She wanted to swap kidnappies. No! She wanted to swap entities because it would be more convenient oh, he's a for her. Uh huh. That's, they were all strangers. <laughs> Sounds right. Becca comes back suddenly. There are three guys on the couch. 
No, so like one of them was a girl and a guy together. Yeah, a and, girl like, and a guy. It was actually kind of funny because uh, she kind of stormed into the convenience store a little bit ticked off. And I was like, oh, they're ticked off. Maybe they don't want to talk. And then I stood up. I'm like, I'm going to talk to them anyways. And then they like when they I approached them, they were actually really happy because they just came out of the concert where Kiara was there. And it was kind of funny because she told me that the moment that Kiara showed up, who was like her mega Oshi, she had to use the restroom. And so she missed Aww. the entire part of Kiaba. And I was like, no, Aww. poor baby. <laughs> the freaking Avi. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Avi is the type of friend to leave their friends at the junction. The unstoppable extrovert. Yeah, guys, you have no idea. Something just kind of flicked off with her and she was just like extroverted for the rest of the convention lesson of the day which morning do you remember the morning after when uh the lift people oh that's a little yeah. jumping ahead but i was just asking you if you remember oh, yeah 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 i remember the lift lesson of the day avi will abandon you did avi unintentionally lead this dude on avi is the reason stranger danger exists person has pulse avi hi my heart belongs to no man! Not even my Kamiyoshi! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm keeping my celibacy! That's nasty! How dare you! Oh, I lost my spot. Where am I? Hold on. So I abandoned that was the him in favor of other people, and then to be, she was like, you were staring at me in the convenience store. You shouldn't kidnap any. No one in the area is safe from her yapping. The guy didn't know what he put himself through. Obvious the stranger danger. Avi bullying fleshies. Now you know Wasp is mega parasocial. She wanted to swap abductees. Avi starting her party girl arc. Unironically, Avi, what is wrong with you? Why did you kidnap people? <laughs> she is the people my parents told me to worry about. Avi, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this is why you will never be a true Avi fan, Nick. So did the manager ever get home? The manager did get home eventually. Is Becca in the wasp slab? That's so cute. She's hiding behind me because she's ashamed of her behavior. <laughs> Admittedly. That was embarrassing. You have, to, you have to be okay with uh, our Oshi kidnapping people. Yeah, you have to be okay with Avi just inadvertently kidnapping people, abandoning them after she's used them for a ride back to the hotel and talking to the next thing with the pulse. She managing the real world like Twitch chat. Avi, the one that struggles to DM anyone, anything. That Avi, yes, this Avi, literally insane, talking to everybody that can breathe, uh, hopping and everything. I literally told her, like, she, she wouldn't leave them after I had approached her. I'm like, Avi, we kidnapped this man. We took him from his work. We asked him to give us a ride, and you're being a terrible host by abandoning him all by his lonesome self on the couch. Like, he has n has no idea <laughs> about anything. The literal, I was gonna come back to literal, him. literal use and abuse scenario I right here. I up and say hi to other folks, and then they had interesting stories, and I was like, oh, uh -huh. oh my god, I have to talk to them. Gulp. Uh, Avi will go to random people and say, hey, is that real chat calling strangers chat stay? Oh my god! Chat is are they real? <laughs> That's so funny. Avi goes super Never lesbian. Fall. Hell yeah! It's after COVID lockdown release. Yeah, this is what happens when uh, after I graduate high school, I never got a chance to be weird, to be a party girl or whatever. And then I listen, man. I graduated high school super awkward. I was like, I'm gonna change when I graduate, and then lockdown happened. Not surprised. You support mental people. <laughs> What? She really moved on after she get the drip for real, literally. We were just literally. hanging out at the hotel. That was funny. But yeah, so we, we, we hung out and it was kind of funny. So like we were hanging out in the lobby and um, he he didn't know what he was expecting. We didn't know what we were expecting. I was expecting to just hang out in the lobby. And then he's just like whips out he brings this alcoholic beverage and he's just like i got some uh, drinky drink and we're like oh okay it's that kind of it was hanging out really so funny because when you were upstairs he was kind of trying to hit that at me but <laughs> i don't drink i was really intense he was like so what are we gonna do after this i'm like probably sleep Maybe go home. Probably sleep. Like, go home and, and sleep. Well, we're just going to chat about your life. Because I was super interested in the streaming thing. But then he told me that it was actually just a small thing he did. And then he went to manage your job. And I was like, oh, 
<laughs> uh, okay. Um, but- yeah. So we we literally hung out in the lobby and we just like we I I brought down cups and we did the drinky drinkies in the lobby mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and and it hit Avi hard. The drinky drink hit Avi <gasps> pretty hard. Oh my god, dude! It was like the first time I like got hit with the the drinky drink. Because, like, I was like, okay, Friday when I drink the Jinky Jink, fucking no way is anything gonna hit me. And then I was, like, um, getting refilled while we were just... I felt so bad because I embarrassed myself in the lobby, dude. I was just like, I was like, no, no way am I a lightweight. <gasps> she literally started flub-a-dubbing on her words. She was, like, talking about a bunch of things, and at one point, she was just like, oh, blah, 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 words, but, but, uh, like, would have to say sentences, like, three times. She was flub-a-dubbing on all of her words. Yeah. She, she, when she's drunk, she becomes, like, uh, a yapper central, like, a hundred times more. I wanted to say a funny joke, but then by the time I said it, I was like, wait, this was funnier in my head. And not just that, I annoyingly got, like, the word slur. I was like, I hate this. I don't like this. I like the funny feeling it gives me. But I don't like the fact I already sound pretty dorky with my braces. Now with my word slur, I'm like, yeah. And so does my chef told me. Yep, great is getting better. Ah, ha, ha. Wait, that's funnier <laughs> in my head. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, just we just chill, chill, talk for like however long, and yeah. then like, uh, he left. He tried to offer us the sake, and I'm like, we only have one day yet left. We're not yeah. gonna have time to drink this alcohol and yeah. I fly and all this stuff. So we're like, nah, nah, you you keep it. I took a picture of the alcohol though, so yeah. whatever it was, if it was something that's good or whatever, we could we could look at it again. I'm but... gatekeeping it because um, everyone's gonna call me a lightweight. <laughs> what do you mean? It's sake. Hold on, let me let me uh close my window again. I think I have it in the browser. Okay, keeping it. Okay, keeping it. That show was delicious. You did take a photo of it. It actually. I did. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, it's a label. I figured. That's the I only know. time I've ever felt anything that weekend. Insane, dude. Like I actually felt it hitting me. Cause I drank before and I was like, okay, it feels funny, <coughs> but like nothing terrible that thing got me so wasted because the dude was nice he was super nice to us and the fact that like he had like you know manager courtesy he worked at the asian restaurant but the fact that like he um he did a really nice thing where every time like i was almost done he refilled it because he didn't know and i didn't know how much <gasps> i could hold That's my drink That's true. Yeah. he literally almost got obvi wasted because like i think i had just the 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 two tiny sippy cups I had the two tiny sippy cubs, and I told him straight up, I'm like, hey, I'm a lightweight, by the way. Um, yeah. and I'm at like- a point where I can't move my head anymore. And and Avi was perfectly normal, just constantly yapping. And he kept her, her cup topped off. He yeah. kept topping off her cup. She had at least like four cuppies of this. And I, when I say cuppies, like he didn't fill it up to the top. They were literally like shots. Like he was filling the equivalent of like a shot glass to her. Or sake cup worth, yeah. um, and and like just kept topping her off, and she just kept drinking it, and it just kept going worse and progressively worse. The slurring was just worse and worse. I could handle it. Cause I he was thought she could handle it. So yeah, because you, <laughs> after a while, I just got silent. I just started. I just like listened because Avi was talking too much. Uh, I just relegated to just listening and not moving my head. And like anytime I needed to nod or move my head, I'd raise my hand and like notion it up and down as if I was nodding my head. I'm like, yeah, I can't move my head, so just take this as me nodding my head, okay? Like, <laughs> yeah, that was super funny. And yeah, she did just nod her head a bunch, but for nod sure. Nod my hand. Yeah. Wait, head, head. Doesn't my sake hand. have less alcohol? That one had about fourteen percent when I looked it up. Something. I wish I had the Capri Sun. <laughs> Ninety proof, like it's Capri But fun. like, I I was enjoying the feeling of it. Didn't like the word slurring. I wish I could stop that. Otherwise, I would like love to be like to drink. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, I mean, well, how do I fine. wear this? Yeah, it was fine. I like the happy feeling it gave me. But then I also had a little bit of an owie feeling in my forehead. And Becca told me I needed to get yeah. water. 
after after he left and yeah. we returned to the room, she's like, "Okay, let's go sleep." I'm like, "Uh." I need to stay up a little bit because I can feel it processing and I need to drink more. And she's just like, well, I have a headache. I feel <laughs> nauseous and stuff. I'm no, like, it was you also need my to head drink. feels heavy. Yeah. She yeah. was complaining about her head. I was just like, you need to drink. You can't go to sleep like that. You need to drink water. So we had to detox a little bit. We ended up not going to sleep until like three o'clock in the morning because we were detoxing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. We were detoxing. Oh my god. Yeah, we were detoxing hard. So we just talked about life stuff at night, I think. Mm. We talked a little bit about life stuff. We talked. We talked about life I don't remember what it was. Stuff. Oh, and then like... You don't we... remember? No. A little bit iffy. Yeah, I remember some key moments, but not the other stuff that we talked about. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we also arranged... That's when we organized the... Uh, business cards too but that's the, that's the thing that i enjoyed about like alcohol when i did drink it a little bit that i noticed i was like okay i appreciate the fact that you can try to snap out into like cognitive sense reasonability if that makes sense like at least to yourself you, you can uh how do i say so i did organize my business cards that's what i'm saying <laughs> Uh, as opposed to my other not sober experience when I was in high school <coughs> when I did a drug that I didn't feel that and I felt just a panic attack. So I will say that a drink, that drinking and that like a little bit past buzz feeling because that shit creep, crept up on me. Um, mm. After that past buzz experience, I was just like, wow, wow. wow. Now she knows. She's like, now I know what it's like to be drunk. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the headache and that basically we're drinking toxin and it makes us feel funny. I, I, I mean, I think you drank too hard too fast. If you got to the point where your head was super heavy and it was hurting you, I think you drank too hard too fast. Probably. Did Avi know to drink water after drinking? No, she didn't. She wanted to go straight to bed. I, I wouldn't let her. I'm like, you need to drink water. You yeah. need to get that out of your system. That girl took care uh, of me. <laughs> That girl was so nice to take care of me when I got a little bit past buzz, buzz, <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. Bourbon, Hi, the drink you. Avi had last year is 80, 80 proof, 40% alcohol. That sake was a bit more than... What? Yeah, I, I only had like two two half shot glasses of the of the sake. And, and, I, and I was telling them like, yep, I'm already dilated and I can't move my head. This is probably the limit that I have, guys. Like I, I knew the moment I couldn't move my head, I'm like, yep, that's it. That's it. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I probably was a little... Because it crept up fast. I was just like, where am I? I was, I was drinking a lot slower because I... Uh, the first time was okay, but the more I drank it and the more I was scrunching my face how bitter it was. We actually talked about that. Uh, the guy, the, the manager guy was saying that I might have super taste buds or something. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why I don't like alcohol because I can taste it yeah the whole life ultimately. they yeah we had a super conversation cool conversation about super tasting because a dude was at a restaurant and um i was just like wow that's so interesting because that's why you're like a super foodie and then i think mm. we got a little bit of a topic of food especially during the car ride too that was fun uh the food part was fun to talk about uh what else what else what else but i'm gonna Without be honest Becco, avi would be found in some alleyways like a streak no i worry <laughs> I worry about you sometimes, yeah, Avi. Yeah, I regret yeah. that because I was like, I wish I could have watched Gavin's battle perform and showed you on the screen. <laughs> Our TV didn't have the YouTube. I was like, I wish I did that instead. Drinking was cool to experience for the first time, but I wish I watched a cool weave concert, especially the d with the day I had talking about Gavin's battle. Mm. And it was awesome. I wish I could have seen that live, but it was actually starting at eight. So we already missed out on it when we started eating. So I was just like, whatever. Uh, no, nah, I, I know. I wish we planned to eat out earlier. That's the only thing I wish we did, and then to the same place. Then That's maybe, true. yeah, but yeah. I we were looked... we were trying to figure out the where the party was, room was, and yeah. by then we were just like, whatever, we give up, let's go. We're, we went back eat. to the hotel, put our stuff away. No, we didn't put mm. our stuff away. We just got ready and then ate food. But yeah, for sure, it was an interesting experience. Now I learned I love being sober, celibate and sober. <laughs> being sober is nice. Being I like so being nice. sober. I don't, yeah. I don't understand alcoholics. Oh, you know. Make it funny. Funny weed. I can see why. Chicken told blade. me. Chicken told me that um like never drink alone. And after that, I can oh, yeah. see why. 
being in yep. a happiness with no one there would have made me sadness. <laughs> this is I why I don't I don't usually like drinking unless I have a, a, a what is it a designated care care caretaker. Yeah, I have to have a, a designated caretaker when I drink. Yeah, this time around I had to be your caretaker. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm glad Becca was there because I wouldn't have known to drink water. I had to drink the sink water because we couldn't didn't have water. <laughs> We, yeah, because we kept we, we kept missing out. I wasn't able to get water from from a convenience store. I wasn't able to stock up on anything. Costco was closed. No convenience store was close by. We could have gone to McDonald's. I'm pretty sure that was open. Uh, did they have water bottles? We were already wasted. <laughs> Whatever. I was like thinking like we could have stocked at McDonald's too, but nah. Then we would have might as well just go to Costco. Anyways, yeah, so that was my drunk experience. I was a happy drunk. I'm also a yapper drunk. Um, who would have thought? Yapper by day, yapper by drunk night. So then the last day, uh, we got ready at 8, did the breakfast thing. <laughs> I allowed us to sleep in a little bit since I knew that we were we didn't go to bed till 3. Mm-hmm. So I allowed us to sleep in a little. I allowed her to sleep in. Uh, and we did breakfast. And as we were leaving, instantly sees another group, a guy on a maid outfit, and obvious <gasps> just like, hello, instantly. Yada, 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 yada. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't really remember. But at one point, we were they were getting a lift, and we were getting a lift. And I looked at them, and I'm just like, hey, are we... Am I being dumb? Are we going the same direction? Are we able to just like share carpool your lift, like sort of thing? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense because the you know car seats up to four. Because I was looking at the icon that says seats four, and we are two different groups of two. Yeah. And I'm like, can we just share one? So they gave us a ride in their lift to the convention. Yeah, because I got yapped there. to them. Mm -hmm. Little, and yeah. I, I essentially, um, I can't remember if it was yesterday. Or if it was that day where I told Avi, I'm like, listen, today, this is the last day of the convention. I have certain goals. Um, I need to find certain people to have meetings with. And this is very important. And I apparently the people that I needed to have meetings with were at that mixer. But I didn't know that they were at that mixer and that they were these people or something. But I don't know what they look like. And Avi was like, I know what they look like. I remember who they are. And I'm like. I will I need to know who these are <laughs> and and it was like the third day was literally just me trying to find people that I needed to have a meeting with but I didn't know what they looked like have you ever done that where you needed to find people but you didn't know what they look like so it was just a bunch of me asking people do you know who so and so is and then trying to like, like because explain I asked to me yeah efficient networking nice yeah avi was the the supposed to be the bloodhound but i had i eventually just let her go with with uh archie uh and they did their their own random thing they spent a lot of time in the atrium trying to look out for like people in pink shirts and stuff like that Becca, or what i know what that's like because <laughs> i wanted to find the i love latinas dude <laughs> Oh yeah, the five hours she was gone, she missed the I Love Latinas guy. Yeah, he came to the table, and I had to shout out I Love Latinas into the game room. It's funny story. So that story. I could get her this badge. When we were at the vendor hall, I saw like that, um, and I was like, no, 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 at the party, mixer party Friday. I was like, I want to find that one. So I told Becca, I was like, we need to find I Love Latinas. It's real because she was there and she saw it. And then Sunday, she saw the people that were friends with the I Love Latina guy. And she's like, if you come back, maybe my friend will show up, right? Is that what happened? Uh, no. I thought you did because then you asked them to bring them to the vendor. It was. And I missed them both times. It was another person, but there was also like the I Love Latina one, right? It was the Saturday, not oh. the Sunday. Oh, never the mind. Saturday. So like the Saturday morning, you allowed me to go check out some places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where I ran into the Latino's friend. Yeah. And then when you disappeared for that five hours was when the Latina's guy showed up. But you were nowhere to be found. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it was so sad because you ran into him again and I did it either time. I was like, no, I wanted to see who he looked like. I was like, Becca, what does he look like? And he's like, let's you know. <laughs> Miku? Huh? Yes. Oh, huh. yes. He had Latino figures. Latino. He looked Latino. <laughs> Which is I wish I could have met him. With, I'm with really the... bad at remembering. No, he it's was okay. he was Latino. He had a black shirt, and that's what I remember. No, that could have been anyone. Okay, all I'm really <laughs> hearing is the though is that Avi is such a social clutch. She kept interacting with people with some sort of. I didn't mean to have some sort of benefit. I didn't mean that at all. I was just like, hi, we have this thing in common. We're in the VTuber convention. Let's geek out. I want to hear you geek out. And then it just so happens that I get some good things out of it because I'm nice. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. I'm a hustler! <laughs> you, can't, you can't be a hustler! What was it? On day one? You were just like, I'll find somebody with a vehicle. <laughs> I did. I told Becca, I was like, she, I might she know was someone. Like, I, I, will, I will find somebody with a vehicle. Because I didn't want to take lifts all the time. I felt bad because it was eating up both you and my money. So I was like, I need to find someone that will drive us. I couldn't find them because I was too shy. Uh, <laughs> but I had someone in mind. But it always worked out. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. See? But I did mm -hmm. want to find someone with the vehicle originally. I gave up on it, but it was a, it was an attempt. There was an attempt. Anyways, yeah. uh, what yeah, else? Um, Sorry, Sunday. Friggin, so I had I I was hunting some people down. I was networking, talking to people, and at one point, I forgot. I was talking to somebody, uh, and Avi was with Archie. And then Avi was like, I'm going to go talk to this person really quick. She always says really quick. And Archie and I are waiting around and I'm like still trying to keep on the lookout. And so then some time still passes and and she she still hasn't returned. She's taken some time with this cosplayer. Uh, and so eventually I go back to her and I'm like, well, I need to head back to the booth. Um, or whatever, and she's like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." So, so I leave her with Archie, and I forgot I went back to the booth for one reason or another, and then I went back out again to try to search for people for the these people that I needed to talk to, and um, I eventually find Archie, and Archie is just like, "Oh, uh, Avi is." Like I think that was there were there was three different events that I interacted with Archie and I can't remember. There was one event where you were in a panel and Archie was just like, She's in this panel. I'm waiting for it to end or whatnot. And I'm like, okay. And so like you were coming out of the event and I forgot what happened. I was messaging Archie because I knew he was with you. I'm like, where are you at? I need to find you. And he's just like, I'm in the uh, artist alley. Go to the artist alley. Where? I, I scope around the artist alley. Where the frick in the artist alley? And he's like, oh, I'm in the hallway of the artist alley. I'm like, okay. I stand in the hallway of the artist alley. There's like not a lot of hallway. He's not there. And I'm like, where are you? And he's just like, I'm next to the Vite Ramen booth, which is like literally on the other side of the convention. And I'm like, you're awful. Like when you know somebody's looking for you, how about you stop moving? Like... <laughs> He yeah. just wouldn't stop moving. And so when I finally found him in the Vite Ramen place, he was just like, oh, yeah, Avi's in this panel. I'm like, okay. And he's like, oh, it looks like it's coming out soon. And so, like, the people were leaving. But, like, literally, I, I walked up. I'm like, you are an awful person. I am trying to find you. And you will not stop moving. And, like, uh, he, Avi, Avi and him come out. They reconvene. And I'm just like, Okay, uh, what did I do? I, I, there was another part where we got separated. Yeah, I remember I all those parts. I, I found Archie again, and Archie was just like, did you lose the wasp? And I looked at him, I'm like, I thought she was with you. Did you lose the wasp? And he's just like, I don't know where she went. And I'm like, can you go find Avi? I'm going to head back to the booth. I just got an email that I'm going to have a meeting, and I'm going to have it at the booth. 
Okay. And he's like, okay. So he leaves to go find Avi. I walk back to the booth to prepare for this very, very intensely important meeting. Okay. I'm going to like have it at the back of our booth. I'm going to clean out a spot so that it's all private and everything. And I'm not too worried because I'm just like, we don't have a lot of stuff behind the booth to begin with. So there shouldn't be a lot to clean. It should be pretty simple. <laughs> and I, I go back there and I just see a lot of movement. And I find Avi behind the booth. <laughs> and she has ripped apart all of her bags and everything. And all of her uh, inventory is strewn about behind the booth that I was hoping to clean for this very, very important meeting. I didn't know this and I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like there's paper there's cards there's sweaters all of her stuff is all over behind the booth area that was moderately like like the behind the it booth was, pretty was never dirty it was never dirty until that moment when I needed it to be clean <laughs> the and I'm just like what are you doing it's okay it's and she's, she looks at me she's like I'm looking for a card I'm like looking at the mess I'm like, okay, uh, well, I'm about to have a very, very important meeting, and I was really hoping to have this back area clean to have the meeting. She was so nervous. She's like, oh, she oh, yeah. Scared. I was so sad that she was in there when I needed to make a mess for a moment. Okay, <laughs> so here's my lore, what happened when we got separated. Hold on, I got the picture of the cosplayer that I want to show you guys. You also get to see how fat my ribbon got. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me try to pull it up right now. But I had a whole side quest, that, like three I had to finish actually. So I don't know how much you remember, uh, Becco, but I remember about this. So <laughs> I, went, I dipped Becco to take a picture with a cosplayer. Uh -huh. Instantly, we started connecting because she actually knew me because I and also look how big this ribbon is. I wore yeah. just leggings in my shoes because I, I, I remember was it another this was, which... this was the cosplayer we left you with? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I actually told you that I was gonna get my bag because what was it? Hold, I was looking at my jacket. This is my boobs. Uh, I was gonna get my <laughs> bag, but then I got distracted because I was like, I'm gonna get my bag. I'm just gonna say hi. Mm. So I went to her and I was like, hi, I love your cosplay. And then we introduced each other. She actually recognized me. I, and then I got, I was like, oh my God, you're a member of this group. We should totally talk. And we kept talking and she talked to me a lot. And first of all, this is the first person I met that yapped more than I did, which I appreciated so much because I felt like I was a yap master, dude. And literally like, um, I was like, we're talking, talking, talking. Becca and Archie came up to me and they were looking at me like, yeah, get in your bag, huh? And I was like, I'll get it soon. Hold on, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. She gifted me her little card and we kept talking. I was like, wait, actually, let's go to where my booth is, where the bag is, so we can be productive and talking. Because I can do walking and talking, which I wish I did earlier. Because those, uh, Archie and Becca left, presuming that I was in that position. And we're just like, she's not going to go get her bag. But I was going to get her bag my bag i am good i was gonna get my bag i was like i'm gonna do it i've been a nuisance saying i'm distracted by every single cosplayer that i recognize i'm gonna be productive however wow becco was right last year Abby is well it just looked like that because my arm under it but thank you for the 15 bits mac lanky um what was i gonna say however when i was going after them i saw a cutout of a waifu of a card that i got because you can get trading cards of waifus when you go to the convention and i looked at them i'm like wait are you gonna do an auction for that soon he looked at me he went yeah i'm gonna do an auction and i was like i actually have the card of that character it was someone from flavor or something that pippa got uh did a whole thing about but i wasn't too knowledgeable about it so i was like i'll give you this card so so that you'll be able to hand it out to whoever wins the auction and they're like dude sweet that's super cool so originally i had those guys follow me but then i realized wait if i don't find it then i just fuck this guy's time over so i was like wait actually go back to the bite robin booth because that's what he was waiting at originally i will come back with the card to give to you to give to the auction guy the winner and he's like that's super cool so i talked to the battle cosplayer we will both yap 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 
up along the halls. I went behind the booth. I was like, okay, wait outside of the booth. I'm going to go get my bag. Lackiest so I go up to my bag and I look at my small bags and I'm like, okay, my card isn't there. It's probably in the binder, which I have it in. So I spread it about a bunch of my shit on the table thinking this is going to be really fast. I'm going to clean up after myself and I will be right back. And then lo and behold, at the worst of my mess, <laughs> I saw Becca walk in. I'm here so scared because you're like, Bobby, this was supposed to be clean. I was like, what, what did I do? What? Because I didn't know about the meeting at all. She's like, I need to meet someone here. And I could tell it was a really urgent person since I was making a mess. And I was like, I'm going to clean it up afterwards. I promise. And she was really mad. And I was really scared. Which she has every right to be, by the way. The wasps flew away. Who knows? God where. They were on a manhunt for me. And I was in the place she wanted to be least. <laughs> She was oh. gone. She, we had no idea where she had gone. Archie went out to go find her, and I was just like, I'm going to have this very important meeting, Archie. Let her know I'll be at the booth. And he's like, Roger. And he went to go find her. Lo and behold, she's at the booth already, oh. making a mess. Because I went to get my bag. I, I like chat's messages that you're like secretly trying to sabotage me. You want me to be oh, fired. <laughs> Why does Avi so... actually radiate black cat energy from these stories? <laughs> uh, but I felt so bad. I was really sad. So I made sure to clean up really good because this was really important to her, like genuinely. So I made sure to at least clean up really good. And I did. And I even got ready for when, like, um, no, I gave the car to the cosplay girl. I was like, I won't be able to make it back. I'm super busy needing to clean up my mess. And so I need you to deliver, finish the side quest for me. And she's like, Roger, Roger, got it. And so she went about her way away. And so I had to clean up my mess. And even then, I knew that, like, I had so much shit out that I could take this opportunity to get ready for when we left that day, actually. So I did. But it was so awkward. I was like, Pekka's really bad at me. I, I wasn't like, oh, mad. God. I was just kind of shocked that you were like, came in like a tornado. <laughs> like know. the worst possible timing. Literally like 30 minutes before this very important meeting I'm supposed to have. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh boy. <laughs> what timing is this? I was so sad because I didn't want to be in the way of your work though. <laughs> I was a booth girly for sure. It's Friday, Saturday day but but like sunday i went a little too over the edge i went a little too chaotic and like a like a like a thunderstorm she, she was feral by sunday the calm was, energy got to me she was unruly and uncontrollable sunday and i was like i didn't want to be another thing you had to deal with along with the stressors of meeting someone and everything the day before and after and i was like i'm sorry chat's provoking your booth babe badge oh i was not a booth babe i was a booth booth i don't know what the word is <laughs> oh i was like i didn't want to be another thing you had to worry about so i had to stop i had immediately stopped my actions being the little tornado i stopped socializing i was like no because like um <laughs> Actually, like when you went to meet the person, I mm -hmm. went ahead and like uh, went to the panel. That's where the story goes. I went to the oh, panel okay, and okay. then we met up afterwards. And that's how I met up with Hydro. I met up with Otto and I met up with Otto, Artie. Artie and Otto, and I was like, I'm gonna use this time to project my hollow stars, EN, Tempest love, Vanguard love, battle love energy out on it, because we were going to the panel for that, which is gonna be recorded, and I want to be part of it. And so I let out all my energy there and said, that's it. That's all the socializing I needed to do. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a problem child, and Becca <laughs> might not want to invite me next year. She didn't have to. Oh. I think next year the problem with next year is that the booth is actually going to be bigger and I'm going to have more staff Yeah. so unless unless you actively do work at the booth yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to get you a badge Yeah, I'm going to try to be a guest yeah. there instead to get the badge that way okay yeah that's what I figured I'm like that could solve our problems and the plus the one we worried about with pudding thing that could also be a thing that we could fix with that is mm -hmm. this stuff that was to be talked after stream but for sure I was just uh, like okay 
I messed up a lot today. I was too scatterbrained, and I acknowledged like the 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 problem with my impulse. It was funny Saturday, a little bit annoying for sure, but it ramped up to a thousand on Sunday, and I was like, okay, this is becoming a problem, and I needed to stop it earlier and acknowledge it. So I was like, okay, no more socializing. I will follow Becca's order. Um, th that was that. Was, what? I don't, I don't know what you did Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Like, like after yeah, the yeah. panel, yeah. I was just like, Aww. I'm going to not socialize because we are going to leave soon. And, and we we needed to hang out together for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, what else, what else? And you needed to have like your manhunt down too. I had to finish, yeah. So after having that very important meeting, uh, I had to go back to more manhunting, right? Because there was one other target that I needed to find. And so we, we kind of just kind of hung up the atrium searching for this person. And it kind of sucked, right? Because I kept checking back in with Kevin and, and he literally was telling me like, oh, you just missed them. Oh, they were just here. And I'd be like, ah, right? And I'm trying to like message the person and they're like, oh yeah, I'll be around the area. But doesn't give me a static time or a meeting or anything. And I'm just like, ah. Yeah. I know we're in ads right now. Yeah. Um, but like literally caught them as they were leaving. As they yeah. were like I found them on their way out catching an Uber. I yeah. literally jumped off the stairs. I jumped like five steps of stairs Jeez. to land right in front of them and just be like, hi, are you available? Are you busy right now? And they looked at me and I will say, oh my God, they have the smoothest voice. They were like, yes, actually, unfortunately, I'm heading out right now, but I will be back later. But you're leaving, right? I'm like, yes, I am leaving. And they're like, well, we can reconnect later. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Sadness personified. Oh. Mission failure. <laughs> half mission accomplished, half mission failure. But like, uh, it was kind of funny because it's just like at least I was able to get in contact with them and hopefully I can try to schedule a meeting with them. Uh, it would, would have been so much better in person, but at least I've established that communication at the very least is what I'm hoping for. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping for. I have. I, I have to make. I, I'm waiting for a response to be able to make that meeting. But, mm -hmm. but all, it was really all unfortunate. Not it had to go end up to be an email response, anyways. Yeah, but it, it's better than nothing. It is better than sure. nothing. You made an impression. I bet they saw you jump down the five <laughs> Just steps. Jump down Honk. in front of them. Hi, it's you me. Breath with like two people following right behind them. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I told you in an email. <laughs> also, also, base sleepy ladies. Yeah, I can't take this bitch anywhere. Me, I'm the bitch. Um, but for sure, I had to like sit down and help Becca for the manhunt. Serious mode. Yeah, mm. Becca did appear to them like a fucking boss fight mode. My god. It was crazy. It was really funny just seeing Becca be like, Damn. Yo! Yeah. yeah, we were just casually watching and I'm like literally standing there. I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed. I can't find this person. And all of a sudden I see pink shirt <gasps> and I'm like, <gasps> and I just like bolt and they're like behind me. And I'm like literally trying to like steppy steppies down yeah. the stairs without dying. And at the very last five steps, I'm like, I, I need to jump it now. Otherwise I won't catch up <sighs> to them. And I like made the leap and like landed right in front of them. I'm like, hello. It was so, I wish I could have seen it. Our, our, uh, Archie definitely made sure I didn't get left behind. Occasionally, like, turned around and I had to give a thumbs up, like, keep going without me. I can see Archie, so I'm good. <laughs> as long as you can see Archie. I freaking had to chase down this guy. Yeah. Oh my God. It was so intense how fast he ran. Hi! Literally, Gremlin pose. It was crazy. Hi! Hi! But yeah, after, after that, I was kind of deflated. I was just like, wow, okay. I'm done talking to me. <laughs> this is it. And so I was like, I talked to my, my booth hands. I'm like, hey, uh, so the event's going to end at this time. My flight's at this time. Uh, I would like to be able to have food before needing to go to my flight. Am I able to let you guys finish things up? And yada yada, told them like this and this. 
what they expect. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we can finish up here. So we we finished up, got our things, and we went to Jollibee's. And this this is another incident when I, that I'm telling you guys about how Avi unlocked something in her and how, like, the gremlin energy just kept growing and, like, there was an, a beast unleashed within her, okay? We went to Jollibee's to have have Avi try out some Jollibee's. Uh, and on the way there in the car, we're, like, telling her, like, oh, what are you going to get? Blah, 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 and things like that. And I'm recommending her things. I'm like, if you want to try a little bit of everything, you get this meal kit deal, whatever, whatever. Uh, we, we go in. We find a seat to drop off all the bags and whatnot. And Avi and Archie are like fighting for who gets to pay for the meal. And they're they're literally like, uh, we're around the corner from the way from the front, and they're like trying to race for the the cash register or whatever. Uh, and like Archie goes and even steals her phone, and she's like, what? No! Like, Bleh! like they're they're just kind of like being funsies, right? And um. I, I just kind of let them go at it. They both run to the register and they're doing their ordering. They know what I want. So they're like ordering everything. And I wait a couple seconds and I finally get up and I slowly walk to the front. And uh, I, I I know the scenario. So I just very calmly reach around Avi and proceed to pick her up. I was so scared. And drag like, her away oh from the front register. <laughs> You guys have to know, she crept up on me. I just saw hands appearing right in front of my stomach, and I was like, what's going on? Oh! Suplex! No, lifted! Just lifted. She could have I lifted me. her up and just started dragging her away from the front register so that Archie can cover the bill. Right? Because I know they're both determined, and I know, like, uh, Archie, Archie, I, I, I figured I'd give it to Archie. <laughs> 12 pound loss no but you know what's worse is that like she was in some kind of mood Avi was in some kind of mood I was ready to fight we're, Archie we, we were in the middle of Jollibee's I pick her up and start dragging her away she's literally screaming and kicking and like, flailing no, going ah, no, 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 literally catching the attention we're no longer at the convention by the way we're no longer at the convention we're, we're once again like 40 minutes away area. from the convention in a public area regular humans abound the staff behind the counter and i have this tiny latina in my arms dragging her away as she's kicking and screaming no, you can't! as if i'm kidnapping her at this point <laughs> And, and and I drag her like a good 10 feet and I whisper into her ear. I'm like, maybe you probably shouldn't make a scene. We are no longer in the safeties of the convention area. <laughs> right? And and the moment I say this to her, her body just flops down limp. Like as if she's acknowledging, oh God, she is right. She literally <laughs> stops making a scene the moment I whisper into her ear. And I proceed to drag this limp Latina body away. I was so, so embarrassed when I realized <laughs> what I just did. Because I was going to fight Archie. I almost could have gotten out of Becca's grip. And then I realized we were in front of other strangers. Because I heard about the people fighting in the cash register for, to pay. <laughs> My friend worked at H Mart. They would tell me they would see grandmas regularly battling out for the for the for the card insert just because and I was like oh, I get to be a part of that I get to fight Archie I get to, I get to take on Archie I ran past him first actually but then I looked at the video I was like um um I never saw a Jolly's Bee menu before so I was like what am I supposed to look at so Archie won that battle but I was still like ah. but when Archie finishes the order I'm gonna slip my card in I'm going to win I'm gonna ah! <laughs> She, she was, like, screaming so loudly that I could see all of the customers were stopping and staring. And there was a group of, like, three or four workers behind the register. Not even bother working anymore at this point. They were all huddled against each other, staring at Avi and just talking to each other, trying to figure out what in the world is going on and whether or not they need to call the police. And I'm just like, you know, in any other scenario, I'd be fine. I'd be okay. I don't care. Even in that moment, I'm like, I don't care. But also, 
I didn't want to be disrespectful to the establishment yeah. with all of the noise. And I had to like kind of nip that in the bud. I had to tell Avi, I'm like, listen, I I don't want to get thrown out of Jollibee. That's <laughs> fan, permanently banned from Jollibees. <laughs> but I just got there for the first time. Oh, that was embarrassing, honestly. I was just like in a moment, but I also she don't was... like being lifted. <laughs> That was, was definitely in one of the moments I was like, I'm going to just claw my way out of this woman's grasp. Yeah. Not claw. I don't like being lifted very much. So it also like, I was like, I'm going to fight my way out of here. I can do this. <laughs> Becca also can probably do jujitsu. Her grip was intensely strong. Uh, I, I don't think I was holding on to you that hard. You I really thought you were making ground. a scene. All I knew was my feet wasn't touching the ground. I had to go back <laughs> to the ground. I thought you were literally just making a scene the entire time. I didn't like being left. And I was like, ah! Bobby with that toddler energy. Get I her was a lollipop. She was getting the whole tantrum in public. She was, man. Oh, that was embarrassing. She had no shame anymore. She was like, literally, I'm a feral out. Rot, 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 rotted, 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 rotted. She was that feral dog gif. If Becca didn't say anything, uh, Avi would have had her picture on the news <laughs> for the foolery she was doing. This is unironically a normal Avi interaction, you would know. Are Shut you telling up. me you've thrown tantrums outside of this? No. I'm no. really shy on, pe on um, establishment before this. <laughs> no. Avi being out of control. Freaking, I am embarrassing yeah. sometimes in public, but who is it? Like sometimes I you, just you don't embarrassing. you don't give me enough allowance to be able to be embarrassing. I was telling Avi that my my personality and temperament usually balances out whoever I'm with. Avi Avi was uh, all sorts of the other extreme of the spectrum that I needed to be the more responsible. <laughs> uh... So like I think the only time, no, I think. I think all of your actions made me made me the responsible one because even when you were shy, it was still I still came in to be boldly responsible. Yeah. Meanwhile, I think when I'm with pudding, I, I think I'm still pretty tame with pudding. When I'm with Chia, Chia is a good example. When I'm with Chia, I I'm the Tom Fuller one. I'm the foolish like cat morbid out. Uh, and things like that. But with, with uh, Avi and Pudding, I think I'm the more tame one. Yeah. It was so embarrassing because I, I, like, before we went to Jollibee, to before we came out, I was just like, dude, Becca's not going to invite me out next true. year. I'm going to have to find my own way inside. I embarrassed myself. And then I was like, I'm going to learn for this. And then proceeded to not learn from it and embarrass myself in front of the Jolly Beasts. <laughs> She was like, oh god, I need to do better. It proceeds to go to Jollibee's, makes a scene. <laughs> Avi tried to turn Jollibee's into the next Waffle House with that <laughs> scene that she tried to pull. <laughs> oh, I was so embarrassed though. I'm looking at that. I was like, that was embarrassing. Let me have a chill moment the rest of the time. I got to exactly. try spaghetti sauce, Filipino spaghetti sauce. Oh my sauce. god, she was so adorable, guys. Oh. Let's, talk, let's not talk about how I embarrassed myself. Let's talk about Jollibee Meal. <laughs> Avi was trying to flex in front of Becca but failed. Do you relate to this Avi story so much? Based, Lots like, time, getting just, super yeah. hyper Don't while hanging with friends. It's like a feather trying to balance out a, with a car. <laughs> I can't wait. Avi is a cute this. little bug. Don't tell her I said that. Hope you both had a great time. Got tons of cool merch. Avi got a bunch of things. She spent a lot of money. Don't um, style, man. Yeah. So so we we got a bit of everything. I told her she had to get the spaghetti. She she went there for the chicken. Told her to get the spaghetti. It's a chicken establishment. But you you go further for the spaghetti, right? And Archie pulled up with all of the like accessories, accoutrements, was just like, this is how you eat it. He had like a direct how to guide of how to eat Jollibee. Um, and was just like, here, eat the chicken, take a bite of the chicken, now take a bite of the chicken with the gravy, now take a bite of the chicken with the gravy and the mashed potatoes on the chicken. And she was just like, mmm, like she, she took a bite and was like, mmm, right? But during, during the meal, she was inadvertently using her spaghetti bowl as a plate for her chicken so like she could place down the chicken and she placed it into the spaghetti sauce and halfway through eating the chicken she decided to flip over the chicken and and bite the spaghetti side 
the chicken that was covered in spaghetti sauce. And when she bit it, she I just remember the moment. She bit it and was just like, <gasps> what did they do to the sauce? <laughs> The song was so I goaded. I couldn't tell if she liked it or hated it with the, with the way she asked, what did they do to this sauce, okay? The, but she was just, like, super shocked as if it was this weird anomaly she was experiencing. And then, after a beat, was just like, I love this sauce. Oh, <laughs> it really was, was like, good. Ooh. I never had sauce that was as sweet as that thing, but still like really, really good. I the the Filipino spaghetti yeah. sauce was so good. She went on a tangent, uh, explaining to us how much she loves tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I love tomatoes and spaghetti. I love tomato spaghetti sauce. Oh, it was so good at Jolly Bees. <laughs> And then you gave me pineapple juice. You ordered. You recommended pineapple juice too. Mm -hmm. I actually like the pineapple juice. I loved it. It tastes like um, agua fresca. Just literally just agua fresca. And then Archie was like, "Well, you know what they say about like Mexicans and Filipinos? <laughs> we were both conquered by the Spaniards." And they started thinking, and the French, and the British, and and I was like, "Damn, damn, y'all had it rough." And he's like, "Y'all, I'm not Filipino." <laughs> I was like, "No." I failed the quick time of the the, the 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 choice. It was so funny. All so Asians look the same to Avi. Hi, Otter Time. Oh, that's true. One hundred bits, Otter Time. We had a good time. Thank you so much for your grateful donation too. I will be using that to pay off my credit card. This will be the start, probably um for the rest of the week and until the end of the month. I will work my hardest to pay off my credit card <laughs> and pick up many, many, many shifts. Because I know I lost some money for sure, like, not working this weekend, which I knew. I knew I would pick up some shifts, but, uh, my budget. The lift. The lift definitely mm -hmm. killed it. I hated taking oh. the lifts. Yeah, if it wasn't and you for didn't, that. And you didn't cover all of the lifts. You you covered yeah. the lifts that were non-work related. Yeah, yeah, non-work related. But for the ones that were, like, the like remember the trip back and forth? Oh, when yeah, I lost yeah, my badge, yeah. Your badge. Yeah. That one sent me back for sure. I was like, like oh. Um, but for sure, the lifts, the merch, I was like, okay. So this month, guys, I'm going to be uh, at my job from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. shifts. <laughs> Maybe 1 a.m. shifts, p.m. shifts. You'll be working all day. I'll be a work hard worker. I don't like asking Twitch to cover from the mistakes I made. I'll pick it up. I'm a, I'm a grown adult. Yeah. It's hard to tell the difference between a Mexican and a Filipino funny person. Funny you say that. Only one time have I have I been accidentally called Becco. It was really funny. And then yeah, did I tell you that? Not the one guy. Yeah, the one guy. He was like, "Oh my god, I saw you last year," and I was like, "Huh?" Because you went to the, use the bathroom. And then he's like, "Yeah, oh, yeah. don't you remember the, me?" Literally the one moment I went to use the go, use the restroom for like two seconds came back missed somebody yeah and they thought i was you because i'm brown just like you and i was like uh, and i had braces too i was like excuse me oh my god that was so funny y'all got one guy at irl we literally got mixed up and that was so funny was the artist alley chaotic uh not so bad since we had the vendor badge you can just walk mm -hmm. in. Oh, for sure. We had the fast pass and it was kind of funny. Do you look that similar? No, we were just brown. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just brown. It was funny. It was a white guy. So I, I felt a little bad. He got really embarrassed. We're like, I'm sorry. I think you might confuse me with the person that's actually supposed to be here. I didn't mean to say, no, that, that actually works here. I'm just a volunteer. That's what I would always say. And he'd be like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, it's okay. I get it. I wanted to say the brown joke, but I didn't know how cool he was. And I'll so he's just freaking, like, oh. how could you? Yeah. It was it's so okay. Silly. It's okay. It's been a year since we talked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Like anything could happen. Maybe you got a nose surgery, you had braces you needed to put in. Um, you had a hat. <laughs> did, did we do we have a picture of us together? No, we never took a picture of us together. We never took a picture of us together. We need to do that next time. I know last year I have a picture with pudding. I think we were just so exhausted and just so busy. Just in yeah. general. I'm, I'm looking at a picture of us three right now. Hmm. 
You're we don't look you're, uh, similar, but what? You you are. Yeah, we don't look similar. Yeah. <laughs> no, just the moment of he saw brown. Brown woman. Yeah. That's funny. Becco had a tragic trip for healing related. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, she had to go take a quick moment to get to the hospital. Uh, there was like a little place people could go there. Medic, medic team. There was a small medic team oh, yeah. in there. I heard. She had to go to the medic because uh, she she uh, twisted her ankle with the strip of heel. That's so funny. Ka well, Kaiju's the response is more what I'm thinking. <laughs> how dare you? We're the same height. <laughs> No, what? Do you do you see the picture I'm looking at? If you go back to Afkai tw Gen Two, if you go into that Discord and you look at the pictures oh. between Pudding and I, and you see the one of all three of us, I got. This. I like that you accidentally put the Gen Three photo in Gen Two. Yeah. Oh my God, you're so tall. <laughs> he was like, I was so tall. Oh my goodness. So I'm just like, wow. I wish they had that little banner with all the VTubers there, but I guess there was too much to do for one photo. Even your models disagree. She's literally taller than you are. <laughs> it's because I was hiding behind her and I was so like embarrassed with the story she told. You know, maybe I shouldn't go to the UK. I'm for Why? sure going to get banned and like, oh, chicken on those. Are you going to be, are you going to be, you know what? <laughs> Are you gonna be stereotyping all of the frickin'? What? 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 What am I stereotyping? You're 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 funny. I was just saying like maybe I'm too unhinged, and I shouldn't go to the UK because I'll get myself kicked out from the Nandos. For the Nandos. From Nandos. From a, from a Nando's. Oh, chicken Nando's. Uh, it's a place called Nando's. They serve some food. Um, oh, I heard oh. it's a British thing, but I wouldn't know. My friend said it was okay. It was mid. My friend, actually, my coworker, went uh, on a trip uh, last year. <laughs> Sorry, background noise. From Spain to Britain, and then they flew back home. And they told me the food that they enjoyed in Spain was the best food they had than the entire time they were at Britain eating food. And I just thought that was so funny. Chicken's already calling you a public nuisance. How would you get banned? You'd be a public nuisance at worst. <laughs> I am a public nuisance. I'm 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 so ha I was too happy. Yeah, Nando's was mid. Yeah, they said it was mid. I just want to go on a chicken Nando's run. A chicken peri peri for Nando's. I don't know what these words. Oh yeah, South African food. Yeah, but I know if yeah, yeah. Every, every, I I will say that like I don't know too much about like overseas culture and things like that i watch a lot of yogs cast so like i don't know the difference between anything but i hear it all mm -hmm, and me too and the only thing that i have impression wise like but the only thing that i have in terms of like stereotypes is that they have the uh what do you call it the the uh what is it like the crude humor or whatever yeah that's what i know too the crude humor and uh but I will say every time, uh, was it? I'll be, I'll be. You, you like talk a reference with the UK. Huh? You pull up, you pull up some form of an accent. Cause it's funny, Nando's. But it's like every single time. Yeah, Nando's yeah. doesn't sound as good as Nando's. No, it's because I talked to Perry. Uh, I talked to someone, and she was like, "Lift," and I said, "Lift." It's because I think it's so cute. I okay, maybe I don't think it's cute, but I just thought it was so funny how like I just forget our differences, and uh, that's why I said "lift." I lift, or I tried. It's, you make it's fun cute. of me for saying lever. Okay, but you made fun of me for saying salmon. What about salmon? Okay, but salmon isn't the same. In wait. You made fun of me for something. Was it Salmon? I think you're talking about your community. No, no. I remember we had a. Oh, I think actually you're right because I said Salmon. <laughs> everyone got mad at said Salmon. I was like, try and make Becco say B -O -L -O -G -N -E -S -E. B O L O G N E S E. What? Are you typing this to me now? What, what, are you, what am I saying? This is one, right? Uh, my chat. 
where? Oh, Balaganese? Yeah, Balaganese. What about Balaganese? Yeah, it's funny. I also just so think... wait, you're just making fun of me for a lot more things. What? You make fun of me for Lieber, you make fun of me for Balaganese, like what? Yeah, but I also say salmon wrong, and I say something, and you hold... You, okay, you make but fun of me But I'm not making fun thing. of you for salmon. You see my oh, yeah, food yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> so it's only fair. I... Yeah, it's only fair. No, I can make fun of you for your, your space cadet absent-mindedness, <laughs> using every item within the first 24 hours. Challenge, let's go. No. <laughs> Baba Booey, what were we talking about? Becca make fun of obvious or bad. No, she makes fun of me. Where am I cook? How I eat food? She, she recorded me eating food. I was like, are you recording? <laughs> you didn't even say anything. I was just like, okay. I didn't even say anything. I'm just trying to like stealthily record, but she could was, tell that I'm recording. It was so not stealthily, bro. You had your phone up held up the entire time. I was like, dude, it's recording, but I can't tell her to stop. Oh. <laughs> Two hour stream just turning into insulting each other. <laughs> I mean, after you the left, jolly you, bees. You, you left your phone at the pancake place and completely walked away from it. <gasps> wait, wait, I didn't tell chat. I forgot. Hold on, hold on. I'm looking guys, for you too. I'm looking I, guys, for you too. do you know, do you know the, the app on your phone? Whenever you lose your phone and you have the option to, to like find my phone app, like if you have a smartwatch or whatever, <gasps> we could we were literally existing in the hotel, either in the morning, anytime like during the day when we're getting ready in the morning or at night when we're getting ready for bed. Avi uses she goes and finds her smartwatch. She has to go find her smartwatch. So she can go find her phone. And and literally will use the alarm thing to go find her phone. I kid you not, five times within a span of ten minutes or so. I hear that thing go off. Like did it did it did it did it did it. Like I'm brushing my teeth and it went off three times in the span of me brushing my teeth. Just within the hotel room. I don't know how she doesn't lose her phone more often in the in the wild. Because I like, have that in the <laughs> Yeah, in the wild, though. Like, what? You put, leave it at some vendor's place? Will your watch guide you to it? Oh my god, I did leave my phone behind. I'm an IRL creepypasta when I used an app like that. Wait, that's funny. What happened? How do you get an IRL creepypasta of that? I'd love to know more, but that's so funny. Yeah, I literally lose my phone if I set it down and I just forget about it existing for just a second. It's really bad. I've lost my phone in middle school. I lost it in literally three days after I like got a replacement phone. Um, two times in the locker room. I, I had a really bad habit of losing my phone for sure. Um, remember and... guys, if she sees your face, you're marked for life. Yeah, yeah, but that's the weird thing, right? I don't remember right where my I put down my phone, but I remember people's faces and I remember their VTuber associated. And I re try to remember their names. I've never lost my phone. You're so much better than you than me. <laughs> what are you laughing at, huh? Oh, it's a smartwatch. No wonder you're financially struggling. Oh, my mom got it for me for Christmas. Anyways. Listen, you know what's funny about this? You pulled this up to make fun of me, but the funny thing is, the story turns around and makes fun of you. <laughs> no, I was gonna bring up that other photo. I was just looking for mine first, so I could have it displayed. Oh, and okay, okay. Literally, so, <laughs> I got this carton of milk, and I don't know what was wrong with this carton of milk, but it literally existed just to dribble on everything, yeah! and it dribbled on my phone. I picked it up and dribbled. Yeah, there's her leaving her phone at the pancake station <laughs> and walking first. away from it. I, I'm just glad that our seats were right next to the pancake station. I we both I walked away first. I left her there because she was getting a cinnamon roll, and I went to go get some juice. I went back to the uh, the table, which is right next to the pancake station, and I look across there and I see her phone just sitting there, and she's walked away from it, and she's already on the other side of the breakfast area, getting some other thing, and I'm like. <gasps> She, she just walked away. I think I was. I was debating on whether to get orange or juice. And then you were just like, your phone! And I was like, ah! God. No, I, I picked up the phone and just sat down at our table. I picked up the phone. She just 
she came to the table and I'm like, you literally left your phone there. And she's just like, oh, no, it was I did, didn't you I? The table, you put it on the table and I was like, oh, there's my phone, thinking I left it yeah. with you. And then you were like, it was actually right here. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no. So I didn't leave it with you at the table because like I thought I did, I left it here. No. And I felt pretty embarrassed mm. because I was like, oh my god, we're gonna hang out together, you and me both bunking. And I feel like this was like a sign of me slipping. And I was like, no, I didn't want to do this embarrassing shit in front of Becco. It's so bad. And I, mean, I was a little embarrassed. Can you imagine the things that she would have lost if I wasn't there? This phone, the my passport, passport, those two incidents that I have witnessed. Heaven knows what she lost when I wasn't around her. Just oh, that's head. right. She lost her jolly bees. <gasps> <laughs> I forgot about that. We left her with all of the jolly bees leftovers. So after eating jolly bees and we all parted our separate ways, we gave her all of the jolly bees leftovers so she could take home the chicken and all the other stuff. Uh, on her ride home, she took her little bus thing, and as if it was utter karma for her wanting somebody else to be blipped within her vicinity. Somebody went and rummaged through her stuff and took her Jollibees. Yeah, funny story. I actually did manage to take a public transportation to go home, but it was so messed up because I had this bag of Jollibees. This is around the time I told you I realized I look very muggable because I had food with me and I have so much shit that pointed me as a tourist. I actually did manage to go to San Francisco by myself and I looked the part and there was like a crackhead like an across the street uh <laughs> so anyways we were in this place i met up with them i no, i met up i saw a person i yaffed with that person um they sat next they were not the robber by the way don't get it wrong they sat next to me in the bus because i was like hey i'm gonna be in this place i've i traveled this way before but alone and i and we're gonna have like an overnight uh trip so like you're you're able to sit next to me because if you choose like if you just decide to sit wherever next to a stranger most likely they're gonna like fall asleep on your shoulder you don't know who they are you don't know how they'll act around you and they'll or just they'll just be unhinged so i put uh it was very crammed in there but like i for sure was still able to bring my food in um it wasn't as strict as the airport where the airport like, you're gonna have 50 pounds of this thing we gotta make exactly all your luggage and shit they're just like oh you have things you can hold get in that's it scan the ticket go on clanky marks just cheered 10 bits <laughs> How funny you wanted to see a bleeping. Yeah. They come with a 10 bits back, Lanky. But she yeah, for sure. Dead. I put my bag on the floor of that seat. I put my Jollibee on the floor of that seat. I was sleeping. I was sleeping a little bit because I did yap with the person I just met and uh, started talking to. But like it was becoming nighttime and I was like, okay, we need to head off to sleep soon. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to sleep. So Archie! I. Does Archie know? Does Archie know no. you got blipped? I, no, Archie doesn't know that I got stolen Archie, like my Jollibee. Archie! Avi got blipped! My Jollibee got fucking stolen from me. Yeah. It was really funny because before I hopped into the station, I did get a couple bites of my delicious fried chicken. Cold, but delicious. And that was the last thing I I knew I would eat. I didn't know I would eat. At least it was only the Jolly Bee. Oh yeah, for sure. Because the funny thing is, the Jolly Bee was small enough so that when the the bus started turning around, it slipped and fell in front of the person in front of me, and I didn't know. I was so sleep deprived at that point. I heard like rustle rustling, and I heard some like little. Ch -ch -ch I was like, huh. And even the guy next to me was like, wait, I heard something weird. Did I drop something? And I was like, no, he didn't drop something. I think it was just the front. And he's like, okay. And then he went back to sleep. And then I heard the rustling and then faded into sleepiness. Then when we got out of that bus, um, I hopped off. And then I was like, wait, where the fuck is my Jolly Bean? I, I know I have my Jolly Bean. It just wasn't in front of me anymore. Turns out... I walked past the guy that was in front of me. He looked at me, hid his shit, and I saw my white bag he was holding on to. You can't have fucking shit in San Francisco. He took my Jollibees, and I was too scared to confront him. <laughs> what was I gonna you say? You wanted to see somebody get blipped. What's it like to get blipped yourself? I got stolen of my Jollibee. That was my <laughs> That was my breakfast.
I this was... is why you don't wish flipping on other people, obviously. Yeah, that was my karma. I got stolen <laughs> from. My passport was in HLV. Thank God nothing important was in there besides food. Is yeah. It really, uh, is it really a blip if her car was intact? Yeah, my car was um, un unlocked, windows down. It slid to yeah, the next point, person. Point oh. is, she was stolen from. Yeah. How? funny it is for that guy to be like wow Jollibee's just appeared in front of my foot it hit behind my foot and now it's my breakfast yippee is it bipping it's bipping by the way blipping. well now we're re oh, we're rebranding it to blipping flipping i don't even know the we're word anyways bipping Bip yeah blipping. get bipped yeah get bipped if someone's so filming me i would ask are you okay do you need help console control them because I looked at them, I stared at him, he fucking knew what I was there for. I stared, I didn't even care that I was staring, but I couldn't confront yeah. him. I figure if the only thing they stole from you was food, I figure they probably needed it anyway. Uh, I'm still mad though. <laughs> like was... if it was the food, I'd be, I'd be sad, but also like, man, if they really needed that food. It just fell in front of them. It just fell in front of them. I just, I just knew. I just had to let go. I was like, "Oh well, it's okay." I, I guess I could get food somewhere else. Pudding's gonna pick me up soon. And then I fell yeah. asleep at the train station, and Pudding had to like literally pick me up from where he like was in the area of. Anyways, it was kind of funny. Pudding to got to enjoy the spaghetti. It, yeah. yeah, at least I got to enjoy the spaghetti earlier that day. But yeah, stealing someone else's half-eaten food seems pretty desperate. Yeah, but what was I going to do? Does blipping actually exist as a word? Bipping? Yeah, not blipping. Bipping, no, yes. Blipping. Kaiju said they looked up blipping. Eww, I can't look it up. I don't and know it's, if it's, Becca wants so her eyes tainted. It's, it's different than... I'm sure Chicken will tell me tomorrow or something. Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. Sorry, you saw the Twitch thing. I'm just like, I should Feeling get ready to fight till trade. Food seems pretty desperate, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I should find someone to raid soon. <laughs> I actually think I have one person I would love to raid that I saw at the convention. But mm -hmm. for sure, this was such a nice stream, Becco. Even if the stories were interesting. They were gonna be chaotic. I was very chaotic. But you, you had a wonderful weekend, right? It was a wonderful event. Thank you, Becco. <laughs> it was because of you I got to embarrass myself in three different days. But I for sure had a lot of fun. Remember, guys, I told you she's unlocked something within herself. She's unlocked beast mode. So if so, if you guys notice the changes henceforth, you can't blame me. You can blame off Kai. Yeah, I love Beck. <laughs> I got. I wish we got to hang out more outside of that. But for sure, when I get to go to where you live, you'll have fun. Yeah, camping, I camping. I'm gonna show you food. Take you to some sushi places. I'm scared of who I became. Beast mode, Avi, gonna be so lit. Yeah. Oh! And the last thing we saw before we left, I didn't get to see Bippy, but I saw something I, cool. I was like terrified when I when I looked outside the window. I was like, what the frick? So. Becca didn't know about Carl, but I knew about Carl from a video I saw. It was like, Ted Dick did it in San Francisco before I, knew, I realized we were not in San Francisco. Funny how things work. Anyways, here it is. I was like, I need to get the shot of the fog in Jollibee's. It only makes sense, but it didn't show up as good. So we turned around. Well, Becca turned <laughs> around. Look. There is actually a plane that took off in this picture. Can you see it? <laughs> Neither could we. We met Carl, San Francisco's local fog. I also took a picture too, but it didn't look as cool as the fog. But for sure, the fog is still there. Carl, the biggest white entity. <laughs> this was the fog. It was very dense, terrifying, but very fun to witness. I love that little house today, but I'm so glad we were able to spend one time for sure together. Lesson? Mm. Pudding. Archie, thank you so much for helping us for sure. Um, we appreciate the time you took to do a bunch of stuff with us. Thank you. 
For sure. You saved. Thank God yeah. you had an escort. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, who who knows where we would be without our Archie? And I'm glad you got to get your Hazum Hazuma Hazuma card. That you get to flex oh. on the haters. Uh, Archie said, remember who you're fighting. Uh, no, Archie, I remember Archie said to me, remember who you're fighting when he was holding my card. And I was like, four, right? You're fighting for me, right? He's like, no, remember who you're fighting. It's me. Archie, she didn't tell any fish stories because she no. wasn't sure she'd be okay too. Yeah, I think we'd keep that safe and locked. And that's to be a precious memory for us, Archie. I have a couple of precious memories, I uh, for sure. Bree for sure was like, hey, find me, find me, I'm here. So I knew she was totally okay. Um, I'm so scared to DM her. I did DM her, but I was scared to do afterwards. But for sure, I, will, I DM'd a lot of people after the event. It was fun. Thank you, I still Becca. have to do that. I have mm -hmm. to. I have a bajillion business cards to you go through. You do, and you know what? You had so much things to do. I felt so bad that this moment couldn't be enjoyed with the two of us for sure. <laughs> so I hope, I hope by the time I get to meet you, workload will be a little bit nicer. Well, if we ever do guest events where it's not related to my work, I think that's the better experience. Because that's what I did with Chia. Aww. We were guests, so we didn't really... I didn't I didn't have to work work. We just had to give a panel, right? And then yeah. we were just regular attendees. So, yeah. like, I think being a guest is the best experience. Yeah, and uh, I, hope, I don't know. And I hope the next con that you're a guest, Dad, you have a bunch of fun, dude. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Public speaking, oh man. Public <gasps> speaking. Ah, that was super nerve wracking. So, did you like run to the hotel and like connect to your computer? No, nah, no, nah, I just did it live, man. <gasps> Whoa. Just did it live. Exposed the human host body. Uh... Presentation mode. Oh. But uh, you should you should make your presentation. You should work on your PowerPoint. I should. So that we have it ready. That's probably okay. what we'll do at Yomacon if I get invited again. Yeah, all right, for sure. I will do that because I think it's really funny to do that. I still need to learn how to draw the line between what I want to talk to and what I don't. But presentations, I love them. What do you mean, mm. good? Oh, oh, Becco punched me a thousand times, by the way. Is this two, Becco? No, I didn't get to hang out with Archie nearly enough. Uh... Archie get one good punch. Maybe that was worth a thousand punches. Uh, uh, Archie is so cool. What a good friend. What a good homie. Watch Avi procrastinate. No, as as your self divulged manager, you now have you have homework. I have homework now. I'm okay with we this. Need, we need to discuss uh, a business card for you. We need to discuss. Uh, uh, I want to get ready uh, for off Kai next year to go yeah. cooler. I need a budget for you to have stickers again, more more stickers with actual branding. Uh, and we need to discuss that white label coffee so that people can wake up to a cup of you. Mm -hmm. we, we need, need to get art made for it, the barista yeah. hobby. I don't picture. mind it because it's with you. Okay. <laughs> ah, what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. Did I shook you? No. You're just like, okay, Avi. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm manager. I'm used to this. Okay. <laughs> when is Yomacon? Uh, I think it's like November, but I need to speak to my contact. I got mm -hmm. angry at them. I got <laughs> I got angry at them, and I haven't talked to them since. Ooh, I see. Well, not an ooh, but an oh. My condolences. Sorry, this uh, Trump is in the background. But uh, that's so funny. What's Archie crying about? What Becco dot dot dot? What did I do? The coffee. What you learned from this stream, Becco needs a hold back on punching. Avi needs a tracker, and that Gavis battle is not safe when Avi is around. Did you see the? Uh, have you seen? Oh my God, Lenka actually drew something really amazing. Where is it? Uh, if you go into, let me, I'll post it to you directly. I tried describing the event. And Lenka kind of drew a perfect representation of it. I felt so. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel so bad. I came in genuinely not wanting to do this, but I ended up doing it. 
I was literally uh, wasp needs leash <laughs> picture. I need to show this. Becca was a tired working woman and she just had one thing to deal with. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I truly was. No, amazed. you were a trooper, I will say. Like, <gasps> when you helped out at the booth, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. You were amazing. Watching you actually, like, interact with people as a booth babe, you were really great. I was... You had so much vibe and excitement that you gave them. It was great. Good energy levels. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I know Becca talked about how they were understaffed, and I was like, oh, I can't tell that. My customer, my customer service working, like, came in to grind because I, I know what it's like doing retail and being like, fuck, where's the other person? And then everyone gets kind of a little bit back loaded or whatever it's called. And I was like, I can't do that to Deco. I need to save her. So I hopped in, shopped in. I mean, I knew I was there to work. I So I tried to work for those I mean, days. I, I was complaining to Avi was one of the things because my, uh, my helper at the booth that was supposed to be there so that I could do networking uh would disappear on me they disappeared on me like on the first day uh literally five plus times without even telling me for lengthy periods of time as well so it's not like i could leave it's not like i could use the restroom i was literally all by myself at the booth and like i needed to be able to network i couldn't be tied down to the booth and they were literally abandoning me multiple times throughout the day and I'm just like, I can't have this be the way it is for the entire weekend. I do need to talk to people. Like, that is the point of me specifically going to this event. And, uh, like, Avi helped out by manning the booth so that I'd be able to leave a little bit. So she, she was very good at that. We had bananas and I had granola bars back there. She was asking me, like, why are you bringing so many bananas? I'm just like, bananas are good. Trust me. <laughs> Hire Becco Minion instead. They would support you more. <laughs> It's Avi on a leash. Mm. Yeah. Having one other person man the booth was helpful afterwards. The, the guy, the helper, ended up asking their friends to come help uh, in exchange for a badge. Uh, so there's somebody out there with, with my badge. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, like, that was a thing. And uh, it was it was helpful. It sucked because they, they weren't as great. But it was helpful because at least I could have them man the booth while I would have, like, some people would come in to network me. Uh, so I needed to step aside because obviously trying to network and mana booth is not good. So. <laughs> mm. Now to steal Becca's identity. La, la, la. Am I muted? Oh. Did you mute me? I muted. Oh, she muted me. Chat no, never I muted me. Oh. Let Did me you steal your identity real quick. My my the badge that I gave away was just my work name. Yeah, it's, it's the the name that I use for work. She got to keep her Becco Getting name. I got to keep my Becco Getting name. Mm hmm. For sure. Did you have that a thousand times year the entire time? It was for sure. For me? Yeah. Wait, me or her for the uh, booth babes? 
I loved helping York out my booth. The booth, sorry. I loved helping out the booth, actually. It was really it's cool. Huh? I, 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 I told Avi that between having gone to conventions with both Avi and Chia, I don't think Chia has the energy capacity to man a booth like Avi does. Avi, Avi has, which is surprising, right? Considering how many nappies the wasp does. Uh, Avi has the energy <laughs> capacity to literally convention uh, and and has unleashed beast mode and be super extroverted now to everybody that that breeds. Um, so she she has I, I appreciate that she has the capacity to keep up with me uh, as yeah, I was sure. all over the place. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good term to say for the booth. Yeah, I definitely kept up with it. And then Becca was all like, you're really good. You really caught on to the pitch so fast. And I was like, oh, that's okay. It's yeah, simple. she remembered. I never even trained her. She just remembered from hearing me say it to other people. I saw it. I read the signs around of what to do. And I was like, okay, I know what to do. And it was really fun. I liked it. It was for sure. Like I said, customer service. I've been the kind of like been in places where I'm forced to be in a situation, helping retail, even if I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm like, wow, vending was really interesting. I gained a new appreciation for what Becco does and for what everyone at that convention has done, especially. Also, I've systematically ruined conventions for you, though. How so? <laughs> well, because as somebody that has gone to conventions as a regular person, right? There's that experience and that high. And then I went to uh, vending at conventions, which is a different kind of experience. And it's all like back end and you get more involvement and more things. And it's super tiring, but also super like uh, fulfilling at the same time. When you're going as a guest, so think about it when you went last year. Mm -hmm. You were just like, I'm going to go attend panels. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look yeah. at that. Right. But then when you're vending, you, you're also there and you have a directive. You need to... The people come to you to talk to you. You talk to more people because they come to you. You have to interact with them. You have to set up. You have to break down. You have to have shifts. You have to have teamwork that you have to mess with and all this other Whether stuff. Whether or not the other person's cooperative or not, you still have to have yeah. that teamwork. Yeah, for sure. But, um, but on top of that, being a vendor, you also have access to places that you, that you wouldn't be as a regular attendee. Uh, and she got to experience that because, guys, the freaking the vendor's hall was a two hour wait. Meanwhile, Avi just got the coast right in, right? I appreciate if she, that. If she was a regular attendee, that two hour wait out of her her busy day schedule trying to ex, uh, experience the convention. I have now systematically ruined conventions for her. She can never be a regular Literally, I was like debating. I was like, I should help out people at the artist alley. But they had way more complicated setups. So I knew it would take more time for them to explain to me than it would for me to like help, be able to help them, if that makes sense. Like, they, it'd be more of a nuisance for me to like be like, oh, I want to help. And then they're not, like, I'm a stranger to them. They don't know whether to trust me or not. Plus, they have a whole memorization system. Like, if they're like a sticker person, poster person, and inventory, they for sure had a lot of like... But I felt bad because I'm like, what are you, have you taken a break? And I also knew, like, one thing I will say, like, the ruining experience for me, I, I knew getting into it, I'm going to miss, like, every panel and events that was going on. But the one I did make was all worth it. I made the Gavis battle Altair, Regis Altair, and that's how I met the boys. And I was like, this was worth messing every one of them. It's okay. This is what I got. I was here. And I was, yeah. But it was worth it because I knew, like, like, of course, Becca was the reason I was there. Of course, I was going to try to help her out as much as I could, as much as my uh, scatterbrain could. Um, boop babies, boop babes. Yeah, I didn't mind. But mm -hmm. it sounds like it'd be fun at a booth. Staff and vendor badge is so powerful. Yeah, it's it's. I forget that there is a curfew, like time out for like attendees to leave the vendor area because I'm so used to seeing the before and after of the vendor area from having been so much. Uh, it's crazy. I will say though, I think my favorite is the guest badges. You get access to everywhere on top of the green room as well. That's and crazy. And I don't have to work and set up a booth or break down a booth. Yeah. That's great. I love being a guest. I'd love to be a guest more. I just need to be more popular so that conventions can invite me to be a guest. <laughs> we will do guest. 
podcast for the for the Vexpo. Maybe one day we'll be a guest for Vexpo. I think I'm, I'm I'm going as an industry guest, and I need to ask him if that requires me to do a panel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to negotiate if they can uh, sport sport me a, a room. Yeah, but uh, fuzzy. So Becco's job is sending her to uh, the UK, which was like last minute like oh we found out about this let's go well we knew about it we knew about the the v expo convention we knew about the uk uh convention for a while because face connect had re recommended it to us uh the problem was it coincided the exact same weekend that i was supposed to be shipped to canada uh for a different convention however that convention never responded to us about giving us a booth so i'm technically available to be shipped out so my boss is now heavily reconsidering sending me to the uh, UK VTuber convention because of how beneficial it was to send me to this one. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm game for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, so I'm super excited for Becco to go to uh, the UK for sure. That's like a very exciting one. And I hope it goes really well for you. And I, I hope you got time to, to see to see chicken and the other. I'm gonna kids. see all the chicken. seagulls. Yeah. I'm gonna see all the seagulls. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so sad that trumpet's playing right now in the background. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited for that. I, I hope you see everything you want to see and more. I hope your work lets you stay there a couple of days after the convention. Eagle, she's been attacked by birds. You can predict it. Hopefully not. I sure hope not. I have no idea how rabid the seagulls are over there. I just know that they're fairly rabid. This game is so rabid. I love the the picture that Lenka drew. Lenka gave me short hair. Yeah, I noticed. I was like, oh, you're wearing a short hair dress. So cute. Drop kick your local seagull, everyone. Let's go. I don't. I don't know what else to expect. Right? I don't know anything. True. The only thing I know is from like Yogg's cast, which the, all they say is, um, uh, what did they say? Lewis is from bruh, Birmingham? Bruh. No, not Birmingham. Bristol. Bristol. That's the only place that I know, and I don't even know what is in Bristol. I bet I know the state Manchester because that's where my YouTubers like were from. Before they met each other, they're like, "Oh yeah, he was in Manchester." For every for every bench you you Avi, for every time you bench Avi, I'll give you a punch, Archie. What punch you though? You're gonna bench me? I hate being lifted, but but if if, if you work out and you can bench me, maybe. Every every bench, I'll I'll punch you. Yeah. Okay. I'll make one exception, Archie. Wait, that's, that's not a good trade. What? <laughs> So get you Why not? Why not? If you're trying to show off how strong you are, that means I have to show off how strong I am, right? So that means I need to work out so that I can punch you really good in exchange for how good you bench Avi. Right? That's how that works. We're showing off our strengths. That's that's how I'm understanding it, right? We're showing off our strengths. I think I thought you were gonna say punch me. No, that'd see, be really funny. Sense. I get benched and I get punched and I get benched and I get punched. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insanely funny, but no. That means you have to work out your core, your abs to I, take punches. Oh my god, that's true. I can't be like my dad. Anyways, see, Archie, I, everybody says it's a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really, amazing. Anyways, I'm going to. <laughs> to you aren't being hit by a bug girl. I mean, what? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go raid. I have a target to raid. I'm gonna snooze the ads that are gonna start soon. I hope the UK will be great solely if just to see chicken for sure and everyone else you want to see. I I hope you have a good time for sure. I'm gonna, gonna work off. Yeah, I'm gonna work off of uh, paying my debt. Oh, me too. Yeah. 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 Bee, 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 bee. I okay. need to prepare for my birthday coming up soon. Yeah. Can I hide in your luggage? Yeah, Fuzzy can hide in your luggage, Pecco. Just kidding. Fuzzy wants to hide in my luggage? Yeah. Oh, well. Ow, ow, ow. Hide. Ow, luggage. Ow, ow, ow. 
I want to go to the UK one day soon. Definitely not a convention season, just a visit. Yeah. Yeah. But I hope you have a fun time. I actually think I want to go to Spain. My friend did that too, and I was like, I should do that too. Anyways, um, of course, Becca, have a good time. I hope you see things. I hope you don't die. I hope this cute girl's there. Yeah. All right. Anyways, off Kyrie conversation is done because I need to eat. It's been like seven hours. Yeah. This is probably the longest street to date. 2024, seven hours. Have any final words? Hmm. Hmm. You're scary to travel with. True. I wouldn't want to travel <laughs> with me either. I prefer traveling with you, but you're also scary to travel with. But, uh, yeah. I prefer traveling. Guys, between the ABC group, I prefer traveling with Avi. What? What about Between funny? Avi and Chia, I prefer traveling with Avi. Yeah, that's what so you meant to say. Between Chia and Avi, I prefer traveling with I'll Avi. I'll get my act together. I think I might and have the ADHD. <laughs> she's still a scary mess. Yeah. Both references Afkai and the bug spray. I love that. Off wasp. I love that. Did Chia try to strangle you guys or something? Say you made H. Uh, I'm unable to meet Chia, but Becca and Chia traveled together for a con. All right. Yeah. Hi, Bloodify. I lost my stuff in. Yeah, for sure. I'll get my act together. I'll get meds. I don't know which is worse. I would say, so like between you and Chia, uh, it's, it's mainly that you had the energy upkeep. The the fact that you had the energy upkeep definitely was was the good thing for the the thing. You kept losing things. She was the opposite. She was uh literally like a hamster and n nabbing everything she could pack and hide. Oh my god. And store for later. Oh my so god. So she actually would end up using me as a pack mule. Oh no. Uh, yeah, she would you would use me as a pack mule to hide away all of her things that she would end up just throwing away. <laughs> so so she was Chia was very wasteful. Chia was very uh... wasteful. Um and then also required nappies, afternoon nappies, energy, and retired super early. Yeah. Uh, which would inadvertently miss a lot of things. Uh things happen at night for sure. Things happen at night, that's for sure. A lot of things happen at night so i'm just grateful that avi avi had the energy upkeep to keep up with me <laughs> yes for sure i do have a lot of energy but it's also dangerous energy it's like a mm. ball of radiation and it's gonna go everywhere it wants to go she sounds like a club though she'll she will pack mule things to save for later and then end up not using them that, that's that's uh, my experience at least i wish i could have eaten the cinnamon EP hamster versus hyper wasp. <laughs> she was showing the most hamster energy. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. Hydration for sure. Thank you so much for you three, two, hanging out here. You didn't have to see after me. You guys did. And you guys got to meet my lovely wasp. Yes, her name's Speckle. Yeah. yeah. Um, I so think also auto. Um, big ham. Oh! Yeah, okay. Yeah, I actually followed her yesterday, and she was like, oh, nice. "You just followed me yesterday." And when I <laughs> first, and she was like, "Oh my god, Avi, oh, first time chatter. You never came here to chat." And I was like, "Oh my god!" So when I followed her, she was like, "Oh my goodness, Avi, you think fan?" And I was like, "I know," <laughs> but she was just kidding. It was some night jabbing for sure. But I love him. I lost lost my stuff raid. Yeah, either. I think it was the off wasp spread. Either one is off -wasp good. Off wasp spread. Off wasp spread. Off wasp spread. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat food, Taco Bell. I hope you get some wonderful food, Becco. Yeah. Whatever bus comes first, the Taco Bell one or the actual local Mexican place. Bye. Have a nice night. Yourself. Yeah. Also, Becco. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'll Me? be lurking in Oh your god, I have messages to respond to after stream. <laughs> <laughs> <So laughs> <bad laughs> I never end. Socially. It's okay, Becco. If you get scared of Jax, you can tell me in my DMs. How do I respond? What do I say? And I'll get And then you'll just tell me respond. Yeah. 
Yeah, Avi, don't have someone blip your Taco Bell. Oh, I'm gonna get robbed! Don't get blipped, please. This is a curse. You forgot to pat Becca and Avi. No, it's okay. I appreciate the pets. I gave Archie a hug, dude. He was such a homie. I just had to. Backseat DMing for Becca. Bye, everyone! <laughs> Bye, you guys! Bye. That was a really fun weekend. Definitely will be attending next year. Yeah. Uh, most likely will be working, unfortunately. <laughs> but that also means I'm probably easy to find yeah. unless I am rolling. I don't know where I'll be. I'll try to be a guest, <laughs> plan more things for, to make last, next year even better. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Ania. I don't have an end thing to tell people at the end. Discord, socials, no movie night tonight. <coughs> da, 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 da. I'll probably stop again. Let's go. Oh, how do I do that? Do I do that? Do I do like the shout out? Shout or... out. La 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 like that. What do you like think? That. Shall be follow yourself. <laughs> follow sweet. your own twist. Um, if you're not following to me by now, I'm by now. now. How do I do your socials? Is it exclamation mark socials? I think so. Oh, yeah. Exclamation socials. There exclamation go. Discord. Socials. There's yeah. all of her socials. Becca's learning. It was done a little earlier. Oh, Actively no. unfollowing. No. No. All right, it's gonna go into ten seconds. Goodbye, okay. everyone. I'm gonna Goodbye. hop off the top of Bell Becco. Take oh, a shower, no. chill. You could love yourself more than that. Oh, but it's right there. And the scene.